Welcome to the Cultaholic Wrestling Podcast. If you like a lot of wrestling on your YouTube, join our cult. Give me the green light. I'm, I'm ready, ready to go, oh, Matthew. Oh, oh, I'm, oh. I'm so ready. I'm just, it's oh, the road oh, yeah, to oh, WrestleMania. We're nearing the end of it now. Right, hi. Next stop, driver. Hi. Yes. Are you there? Dallas oh. Stadium. Dallas Stadium. A lot my uh, a certain little place. You got some on time, but I'm ready to go. Yeah, you, you said time, time again. You cast upon time. I didn't. You bloody you did. 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 You bloody did. did. This is not a way to start Newcastle a podcast. Newcastle upon time. What does the Dallas Stadium time. look like in Newcastle upon time? What? Where? What is it? What are you comparing it to? The Sage. Yes. That's the only thing I can think yeah, of. Yeah, that's the only thing. It's all mirrored. Don't like St James's Park at all. No, it doesn't. What, you, what were you saying then? What's going on? I don't care anymore. The joke's <laughs> out. I don't say time. <laughs> you just did. I said time then because I said the word time. Yeah, you did. Yeah. It's the Call of Holy Wrestling <laughs> Podcast. We're all in agreement. With three people who love each other. It's not being a busy week. It's fine. It's uh, all right. Yeah. Tempers are free. Yeah. <laughs> I think this has been the, the most stealth build to a WrestleMania week I've had as mm. a working man mm. covering the professional wrestling. We've, uh, got, we've got our SHIT yeah. together this time. What was your first WrestleMania as a worker? As a worker? Uh, well, because it, it would have been 2015 for me, but I went to England away at Italy on the same day, so I didn't cover that oh, one. Yeah. <laughs> mine, uh, was, mine was the aftermath of 31, but I, I think I, I think I joined the week after. Joined the biz the week after. Yeah. Uh and then the first one properly, 32. Because mm. yeah. people were saying this like, on the stream last night, like, is this one of the weakest builds of WrestleMania ever? And I was like, this has been a frequent thing the last few years, like post-30, where there has been a weak build. Because I remember 31's build being very remarkable, but being a, an amazing WrestleMania. Oh, yeah. So I'm looking at that going, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, 31's build was like, they, was bad, and they saved it. Like, they plucked victory from the jaws of defeat. Whereas this one's just felt a bit... Uh, even mm. though Austin's back and probably Cody Rhodes as well so it should be big this one has Oop. the most uh. matches that don't feel like they should be on a Wrestlemania mm. card but are on a Wrestlemania card yeah. which is a pitfall it's one of the pitfalls of a two night Wrestlemania but I'd still rather have a two night Wrestlemania I'd say than the a one first night. two night they did with the COVID thing uh, that blows out the water. but I think you know it being COVID actually uh, we'll give that a, a pass yeah right? but I agree because you know you do need some filler it's not all killer, no filler. It's some killer, some filler. Excuse me. So, I, yeah. I mean, I'm not looking forward to... And I hate to pick on the, the lads themselves, because I like them both, but Drew versus Corbin, for example. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, resemble I'm looking forward to that match. Are you? I think it's one of the more sure. interesting ones on the card. <laughs> okay. Because Mad Cat Moss has been putting these jokes out of, to Happy Corbin, and Happy Corbin's not been liking them. So yeah. I think there could be a turn there from Mad Cat Moss. He'll become Scottish. <laughs> Good and proper. Okay, the new, and other things like that. They don't like that, do they, when they say that? They no, don't like that, they do don't they? Like that. they don't like that. No, when they hear that, they go, see you, Jimmy. And they get very mad. <laughs> they do not look happy. No. Speaking of looking happy, this is Jack the Jobber. Hello, my Hey, friend. the star of the hit new Cultaholic video series, the weirdest episode Are you enjoying of... the weirdest episode? Mate, you've, you've never looked better. Thank you very much. I, I really appreciate that. Thank the, you. The is that because you've never watched them before? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you also never look worse by that account then. That's true. But yeah, the tag team of you and... Uh, which era was it again, Luke. please? Luke. Mm -hmm. He does a great job on the them. two-man power trip. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's Austin. And I'm the game. <laughs> of course you are. Because no, you, yeah. you think better. We know this. Yeah. <laughs> but no, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying doing them. Yeah. Awesome. But um, how are you anyway, I'm Matthew? doing great because I'm uh, in the corner to my left, already there, is the star of the other hit Cultaholic series, I Straight to Hell. I might get cancelled. Um, I'm all right, though, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> Watched you and Jarek can at it, and he was uh, impressed by how quickly you were powering through because you had that tight time. Yeah, I managed to get a fair bit out of him for the time yeah, constraints. Yeah. Punch my microphone over. I, I, I love that you kept that in. Yeah. Well, you got to, aren't you? Who cares? I'm sat here wearing a Greg's bucket hat. I'm not taking myself too seriously. It would be it would be easy for Jeff Jarrett, after all his years in the business, to be just really jaded and phone these in. But he was so engaged. He was. I was really, really, like, impressed with him. Sounds weird. But you know <laughs> what I mean? I was really, like... He was a fantastic guest. Yeah, like, yeah. Played along through all, all the British stereotypes at me. Yeah. You know, Ross, you should be all good and proper. He's a, southern, he's a southern gentleman. Uh, he, I don't know. he said, sorry about the Duke. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Appreciate that, pal. <laughs> Tip your hat. And yet, if more impressive that, than that is the fact they managed to get a Greg's bucket hat. Where did you get that from, Don't say Greg's? Uh, no, I got this from the uh, the Metro Center shop because I was oh. one of the 
complete tossers who went there for opening time yeah. and had the hindsight to go up stick. You know, Greg and Met- uh, sorry, Primark and Metro Center has two levels. Mm-hmm. So I was going at the upstairs one because I could see it through the door and there was all these marks downstairs <laughs> waiting for it to open. I'm like, <laughs> Greg's marks. <laughs> Greg's marks. <laughs> So I bust in there, and there was one pathetic, tiny little stall, and had bugger yep. hat on. Mm. Got some socks, and got some socks for Richard. Got the got the socks in for the boys. Oosh. I'm good though because I got I wasn't able to get the hat, but I did get the Greg's hoodie, which I've spilled food on every single time I've worn it. <laughs> and I've got into <coughs> it, but now it's at the point where washing it isn't get rid of the stains. Uh, and I go, well, it's supposed to look like a, a Greg's pasty packet. So I'm just saying this, but I'm, no one's believing me. <laughs> <laughs> like, you dirty specimen going out with all this gravy spilled on you. I need to thank Luke as well out there because a couple of weeks after the launch of all the Greg stuff, he, he sent us a message saying, oh, do you want a pair of shoes? There's some in Greg's right now. Oh, yeah. he, got, he got the shoes in for the boys. And that, that'll be on my, that's my WrestleMania drip this year. That's why I'm oh. wearing it today. Got my own custom T-shirt. Twins. Oh. It's like Greg's. Always fresh. Always tasty. Trademarked. You've trademarked it. Yes, that's No, nice. they have. I, I haven't. I might be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but little, la- little laughed, and I use their stuff. So hopefully, Greg's has got a sense of humour. Laughed. Not a lot, but a little. Oh. <laughs> yes. Uh, before we get in the news, can I plug a video, please? Sure. Do it at the start of the video rather than at the end. Why not? I just thought I'd get, on, it, get it in there because it because I want people to catch it because it'll become less relevant as the days go on. So I've done one of my um, uh, ten must see matches from WrestleMania weekend. Oh, it's the more, of course, the more like right. indie ones. So do check that out if you haven't already, please, please. Yeah, because I checked there's four indie shows happening tonight. Oh, it's it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And But it's not <laughs> crazy, though. It's not as crazy as it has been the last few years. It's actually nice that the indie company's gone, oh, okay, this isn't like, we'll, we'll just go there. Like Dick Whittington, we'll go there, huh. and we'll, <laughs> we'll strike it rich somehow. Because it's like, no, we'll go there and lose our ass and fold. There's some big companies doing shows as well. Yep. New Japan, Impact, Ring of Honor. And then you've got, I think, like nearly everything else is GCW <laughs> affiliated. But the, the collective bundle, mm. hundred and forty dollars for twelve pay per view events. Because mm. I started writing a video every event happening this WrestleMania weekend, Ooh. and I got to roughly th- half an hour's worth of content, and I stopped writing it because nobody is going to sit through half an hour of me going, "Well, coming up on Thursday, it's GCW." Blah, 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 blah. No one's going to watch that, are they? So instead, I said to Adam, "Let's do a Chris Rock versus Will Smith." 2K thing mm. with me and Tom doing commentary. And that's what we did. And I think everything turned out for the better. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, bless you. Whoa. Gesundheit. Oh, sorry. You know, I was really good this morning. And I went, made my porridge as I do. Get ready to watch AEW. Take two bites out my porridge and just go, look down. And I didn't realize porridge could go off. Oh. oh. I don't know how long that was sat in the back of the cupboard, but obviously long enough. Oh, mate. Had, Are you all right? Oh, I had to run out. Oh, like, man. I was so disgusted. I've never had porridge turn on me before. How are you feeling now? Oh, fine. All right. But, like, okay. I'm not having to stop sneezing. My body was like, oh, red alert, red alert. Oh, man. I was going to say, the exit route here isn't the most convenient if yeah. you do need to. You don't have to vomit now. You have to action roll across the table. And this is like your Hall of Fame pick this week is ready break. <laughs> but, oh, God. Shock the system. But you know what's shock the system? Obviously, this is very old by now, but it happened on the Friday. We do our thing. We call these on Thursday. Triple H announces his retirement from in-ring competition. Mm. Being on ESPN's first take with Stephen A. Smith. It's so weird seeing him in a non-role where he's just yelling and screaming. Yeah. Um, Triple H announces his retirement from in-ring competition, confirming he will never perform inside the squared circle again after having the oh, cardiac well, arrest. Sorry to interrupt there, Matthew. Hopefully that's being picked up on camera. Uh, right now, I was doing this. I'm Campbell streaming the Cult of, Hol- uh, Cult of Mania. Cult of Mania on Twitch, yeah. Well, the 2K22 and uh, greater wrestlers it's a, of us. It's a, it's a curtain sellout. It's a locker room sellout, yeah. whatever you call it. All the boys are watching. Yeah. I hope that gets yeah, picked yeah, up. Yeah. As we're talking about this. He sounds like Jim Ross, Andrew, when he laughs. Do you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember that. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> the Vince McMahon impression. Jim Ross has to impersonate people laughing because I can't remember what Jim Ross <laughs> laughing sounds like. Sorry, yeah, sorry, the Triple H news, yeah. Yes, uh, speaking of the incident, 52-year-old revealed he suffered from viral pneumonia. And she started to cough up blood. Checked out by the doctors after his wife Stephanie noticed. Um, and it goes on, 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 but it's quite grim. Yeah. It's amazing. In the no certain terms, he's done. Well, you know, he died, but he died. I don't yes. Know. I yeah. forget what the term was, but the, sort of, is it the power yeah, of. Yeah, I was going to say, the, the went through the percentages heart. and stuff. A healthy ejection fraction uh, in your heart is 50 to 70%. His was low as 12%. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he was very lucky to be alive. Yeah. So no more wrestling for him ever. He's so. got a defibrillator in his chest. So yeah. fair dues. You know? I mean, 
Yeah, and he, he did say one of the, I mean, not a positive, but one of the sort of better, nicer parts of the interview was when he said it hadn't made him any less driven, but it had just made him appreciate the things he had more, yeah. like currently. So I think that's a like a not a good outcome, but it's like a, a positive side effect, I guess, a little bit. But um, I just feel bad for him, obviously because of the health side of things. And because after years of being called like the most selfish man in wrestling and the ultimate politician behind the scenes, he'd built this thing. <laughs> Right, that was like a, quite a selfless thing. It was getting all these people over who deserve to be, and now it's all been taken away. And I just feel bad, I feel bad for him generally. But you know, never the mind. timing of that is still weird, isn't it? How he, he did get it's what just after when the heart thing happened in the summer. That's when NXT all changed. Yeah. I still find that incredibly weird. It's a bit callous, like yeah, do we? And callous timing. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't sound like them, but but at least he's he's, he's obviously pulled through and whatnot. And, mm, mm. Obviously, I just wish him the best, isn't it? He's, mm. he's lost the most matches ever at WrestleMania for crying out loud or something. I think that's mm. true. Yeah. Well, give a few more years and Sasha Banks will be... be <laughs> How bless her. very damn. <coughs> we should clarify as well that was not a Cultaholic Wrestling podcast curse taking effect. Because even if we did record it on the front... <laughs> Anything bad happens on a Friday. Oh, well, you'd be surprised the amount of people that tweeted me going, oh, is this the curse? Oh, what oh, are you doing recording God. on Thursday? We still would have missed it if we recorded on a Friday morning because it came up Friday afternoon, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it so it wasn't a curse. That's the most important thing. To yeah. Say. <laughs> I tried to, to I tried to do that and look into the camera there to be like it wasn't, and I looked at the light for some reason. <laughs> How many years have I been doing this? <laughs> Can't find the camera. <laughs> Aye, that's right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, sorry if I dab my nose. By the way, I'm I'm, oh, I'm dripping like a knackered fridge. Lovely. Uh, Sami Zayn revealed that the. If there was any blowback to him mentioning AEW on Monday Night Raw in 2019 after the, the electric chair segments, I mean, I would, I would assume that since we're sat here in 2022, there wasn't much. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that they're called the electric chair segments because uh, they died a slow death every time because they were actually asking. Was this the Bobby Lashley feud, or was that a different one? I can't oh, remember. you know what? I don't know who was feuding with at the time. When was it? It was. So remember we got the monkey bars out and then the skit with the, oh, right, the right, sisters right. where was it Max, oh, Ca- Max Caster was one of them was he I'm sure it was Max Caster the, who was Bobby's sister the sisters thing was yeah. badly thought out I felt bad for everyone involved yeah yeah but anyway there, no there was no bloodback and but that was exclusively revealed by our very own Tony, uh, Tom Campbell Tony Khan Tony, Tony Campbell <laughs> um, Tom Campbell which you can see the full interview of Shout out to Radio Newcastle as well, because we wouldn't get those interviews if it wasn't for Tom's no. radio work. Yes. I think it's important to say that. Thank you, Radio yeah. Newcastle. Yeah, thank you, Radio Newcastle. For working with us. Yes. Up the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Up, up oh, the, no. Up, the Newca- up, up Radio Newcastle. Yes, yeah. there we go. We'll look at it that way. Keep, keep, it, keep, it, keep it local. local. Yeah, keep it local. And Sir David Attenborough. Uh-huh, yeah. Of course. Not Mrs. Brown's boys, though. No, 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 no. no that's no, a definite no, no. down. A brown down, some might call it. <laughs> <laughs> brown down. <laughs> Next week, Ross reveals if there was any blowback from him mentioning <laughs> <laughs> Seth Rollins thinks AW talent mentioning WWE looks and reeks of desperation. Mm. And now people have gone, hang on, let's get the 4D chess game out. <laughs> Is this him <coughs> talking smack to set up a hot Cody Rhodes feud? No. No idea. I just think no? that Seth, Seth oh. Rollins doing press is a bad idea. Um, <laughs> We've gone over this how many years. <laughs> yeah. Was it 2019 as well when he, it all fell apart? Oh. He was not organically the biggest baby face they had, yeah. I think, mm. for a period. Mm. Got the title off Lesnar, and then he started doing interviews as the company guy, and all goodwill left. At least yeah. he's a heel now, Yeah, I guess. But I, I don't know. I, I don't like either side doing it, me. I know some people do, some people don't. It depends what tickles your pickle. Yeah. I don't, it, it's just funny now in the bit of hindsight, like Cody's smashed up all those thrones uh, and gone, not the only family in wrestling. And I was like, gives a job. <laughs> Speaking of that, um, it was rumoured that Shane McMahon's being brought in. I was going to say that mm. at the end. That'll be the, oh. the funny bit at the end of the news. <laughs> all right. Comedy. Because <laughs> bloody hell. I hope and pray it is. It'll be funny. Imagine the entire 100,000, definitely true, capacity <laughs> is chanting, Cody, 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 here comes the money. Here we go. What noise would that be? Would I have a new pop name? The Shane McMahon <laughs> pop. The Shane McMahon <laughs> pop. Like, oh, oh, oh. Just a bag be, deflating noise. It'd be like a, a, like a black hole. It'd be like, science would go weird. That's a hole. I don't know how. <laughs> and then Shane would start doing a promo. Well, uh, you uh, are <laughs> <laughs> expecting some... <sighs> <clears throat> else <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing segment that was that was I was worried about I was genuinely mm. worried about it in that segment yeah. and he's like I'm fine 
I'm just playing the guy who's all coked up. Uh, <laughs> Shad Gaspard received the Warrior Award. Good. Yeah. Good. Not sure why they didn't make more of a deal of this. This was just a social media thing. I don't remember yeah. seeing any of the TV shows, but still. Oh, no, they did, they did promo. Pa- was it on SmackDown they did one? I'm sure they did. Though it got mentioned on one of the shows. Yeah. But oh. I feel like they should have made maybe a, a yeah, slightly yeah, be a bigger deal, but yeah. what do I know? You should rename the awards, the Shad Gaspard Awards. As far I as think we've, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of people have said that. Probably a, probably a better legacy in hindsight. Uh, yes. So, see, good times there. Uh, I mean, th- I think now, because I, I hope people don't obviously complain, because it's it's relevant, but, like, you know how it, it was meant to be the award for, like, the unsung heroes, but now it's become more of, like, a more of like a humanitarian kind, like, more, or more like a... Yeah. That's not the right word, but you know what I mean? If you're if, if being cynical, it's more like a a, a, a positive press award. I but guess I'm obviously so, shy, but, obviously, not gonna but I do think... About that. I do think there should be... If they're going to do that, that's cool and everything, but there should be a separate one for its original purpose. But, like, mm. I can't think of anyone more deserving than Shad this year. Mm. It's really... It was a, such a tragic story. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it's just... I don't know what else to say. Mm. But you know what? Because that's what Warrior wanted. We know that he's getting annoyed every time <laughs> oh, he yes, gets it to someone else. So that, that is, that is another positive. That is very true. <laughs> Was it him? It was him who wanted the award to be. Oh, well, then he wanted it for like backstage people's oh, stage yeah. hands and that. For some reason, yeah. I thought it was like Jake Roberts or someone who said that. Oh, well, never no. mind then. No, oh, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paul Heyman signed the new WWE deal, which doesn't feel like news to an extent because you can't imagine him not being with the company now. It's been this his longest tenure with them. Mm. It's been off and again, off again, but. I don't know. I think it is big news because he could up sticks and live quite comfortably with the hustle booty temp tats. You know what I mean? Remember that from back in the day? No. So, uh, yeah, I, the Heyman Hustle thing. The God. start of the 20 th- 2010s, the, the, yeah. the ladies with their hustle booty temp tats. That just the, became its own thing for a while. Was it a podcast? You have the, the hustle women. Joe and... Weller. Was it Joe Weller? Went around the swim pool and did wrestling moves yeah, in the swim pool? Yeah, that's right. Oh, my God. God, what a time I to be alive. I just one. completely blotted that out of my mind. <laughs> that's all coming back. Well, and it's all coming back to yeah. me. Yeah. Tell um, you what, Joe Weller, who, as far as I can tell, is like a casual wrestling fan or a lap, uh, used to be a wrestling fan or whatever, got in, like, got in, no, we live and breathe this, and he got to interview The Rock just because he's big and famous. <laughs> uh, well, true Geordie got one with Undertaker. Just because he's big and famous. He should, he should have asked him, like, so is it real or fake? <laughs> <laughs> no, true Geordie's a wrestling fan, he knows. Are you really time. dead? <laughs> <laughs> we could have been friends with him. We could have been friends I know, with him. I, that is a... Every time I just wonder. What that is been. at the levels of... Um, Nintendo going with Sony, he says, can we make a new console, Kevin? Yeah, so it's like, sure. And then Nintendo going, ah, it doesn't matter, we don't really need you. We could have saved... Well, we better make our own product then. <laughs> we could have saved the world from Lawrence. Uh, I don't want to talk about Lawrence. <laughs> Why? It's true, you're already psychic, and I just don't really like I him. hate me. So... <laughs> Any reason, or is it... Oh, yeah, yeah, just yeah I've, got, I've got a personal one, but yeah. Oh, oh have you? you? I'll give the general one go on. first. Oh, he, go thinks, on, then. he thinks he's Ricky Gervais, but he's not. Yeah. And, and, what a thing they want to be. You Come know on. when, and I've got no issue with someone who's not really a football fan watching football with a group of football fans. That's uh-huh. totally fine. I'm not one of those gatekeepers. But he doesn't admit that. He'll pretend he knows loads about football and is as a lifelong Liverpool fan. And inst- you can tell when he watches the match, he's like, it, he's putting on every reaction that he. Anyway, the, the point is, but I was once in a an NBA fantasy league. It was called the Influencers League, right? I was probably the least, I was probably the least followed person yeah. on it, right? I only got invited into it because the guy setting it up knew that I liked basketball. I think I barely remember this. And yeah. I finished joint top on points with Lawrence from the True Geordie. All right. And then there was like prizes and that, which yeah. I never got. I've got Ooh. ties with the bloke who set it up now. Okay. But You've um, got ties with him. You know who he is. Do I? Yeah. Oh. Just have a thing. You'll, you'll probably the guy who always used to have things going on and Lawrence's I mean? dad. <laughs> no, so um, does his name rhyme? Oh with god, that? oh no, I'm not gonna bother. no. Um, so anyway, uh, not I never saw any of the prizes in that. Top prize was like a trip to Paris to watch like an NBA preseason game in Paris and that. Wow. And I finished joint top with Lawrence, right? Never yeah. saw any of it, and um, he was on Twitter crowing about winning this NBA fantasy league. So I started replying, saying like. Hold on, mate. And he would delete the tweet. Never followed me back or anything. Oh. You're a coward and you're a snake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I've never, in fairness, don't know what the bloke's like as a person. Wish him well. I just want to just want to say that now. No one's going to remember that part. Imagine if we made it onto True News, where they sit and take the piss out of people who slander them. 
Tell you um, who, tell you who True Geordie has no. helped out, who definitely deserves it. Like um, Tom Ransom, who we used to work with, who's now MMA on points creator and owner, I guess. The um, that's right. Handsome yeah. Tom Ransom. <laughs> and a handsome man he is. It's amazing all these splinter things coming from what... Uh, you can say what culture. Is, whatever. Yeah. I know, sometimes to do something. It's like Bobby like, Robson, isn't it? Oh, no, I'm not comparing what culture to Bobby Robson. Like all these different players who went on to become managers. Oh, but, oh, oh right. I was wondering where that was going. Yeah. Like, okay. I yeah. don't want to compare them with Bobby Robson. I love yeah. Bobby Robson. Yeah, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I can't believe I've just... I'm going to get... He's... I, I'm gonna get the mob are gonna come for me. The Lawrence, the Lawrence. Mob. I hope so. Then we'll get. Then you can beat him again at NBA. No, it was a draw. <laughs> you should just fight him. Oh, so you finish when you no, say you finished on he top. Might, he might be. He get might, a celebrity boxing no, match. Oh, no, he's probably he's in good nick. He looks like he runs. So think of the pay, <laughs> yeah, think, think of the pay. He'll run from ye. Think of the exposure. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Just gonna get could, sparked out. Yeah, That's and guy. be a gift forever. <laughs> <laughs> KSI, no Logan Paul bounce back. Look at him. He's at WrestleMania now. Yeah, but he didn't get knocked oh, out. Yeah, that's what you could be. You could be Logan Paul. <laughs> you could be on WrestleMania 40 if you fight Lawrence in a boxing match. That's right. I'm not gonna fight Lawrence in a boxing match. You'd be watching Shadow Max balls. <laughs> Got your glass ceiling in life. Anyway, I brought the Paul Heyman news because that's one contract thing with WWE. And a rare little bit of, ooh, AW contract news. MGF and AW president Tony Khan had a, quote, heated discussion over the weekend with it being noted that MGF is frustrated with his AW contract while Khan had an issue because MGF organized an interview with Errol Hawani without notifying AW's PR team first, which is standard protocol for the promotion. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, by God. Uh, hmm. Yes, um, it is. Uh, by the way, Errol Hawani did his list of, uh, speaking of uh, people giving opinions on things, but they might not be an expert on, Errol Hawani listed his top 10 WrestleManias. Was it oh, WrestleMania 9? Like number, number, number two, oh, no. WrestleMania was X7. Oh, okay. okay all right. What's he going to have for number one? Can I guess before you, you say it? Can I guess? You'll can never I guess, guess, can I guess it. You'll never well, guess it. The ones that spring immediately to mind for me would be 30. No. Do you, you know what he said? Okay. Yeah. All right, 30. Yep. 20 was good. Oh, I not mm, even that one. Twenty-four no, that, was good. I wasn't even. That one. I agree, but it's not that. No, that's another good choice. You're a but classic. Keep going. Good one, but not it. Uh, keep no, going. no, okay, that'd be way too. Are you ready? Are you sat down? <laughs> yeah. Are you sat down? Have you put all the hot beverages away from yourselves? Uh. Ariel Hawani, above WrestleMania X Seven, is the greatest WrestleMania of all time. Or his personal favorite WrestleMania of all time. Four. Four? No, that's not even... I thought it's you were a gonna tournament. Say, I thought you were going to say, like, nine or, like, a, a comically right. bad one. Because not even, Yeah, not even a ho ho that horribly awful just one. A, just a boring and bad one. Just a boring... He loves Macho Man. I, I was going to say, is he a big Macho Man fan? Because that was his be. big moment. Or he loves Terrence Hogan pissing on people's parades. <laughs> oh, I watched that back this, this week. He's a what, big the celebration? Of, uh, no, the, oh. the finish of the, the, the title oh. win. Hogan gets involved a bit too much. Isn't Hogan, off, it, to up five. Isn't Hogan off to grab the belt as the refs make like a one count? And yeah. Hogan's like, oh, hey, come on. <laughs> Stuff with a chair as well. It's like, get yourself yeah. out there, Terry. Mm. Terry, Terry, Terry. <laughs> that's it. That's why Macho Man's doing the... Mm, give him a good old side eye. Who would have won in a real fight, Macho Man or Hulk Hogan? Well, oh, was quick. according to Hogan, was quick. He was, Hogan was able to shoot with uh, Ricky Choshu in Japan. Uh, right. <laughs> Macho man. He's a quick man. He was quicker. Yeah. He'd just wrap his ass to death. He would. He'd body him. He'd tell him, be a man, Hulk. Just be a man, up. Hulk. Uh, and, yeah, he was also very complimentary about Bruce Pritchard. Who's this? NWE. MJF. MJF right. in an interview with oh, Hawani. So, because I only read it in text, I didn't see the interview. I thought he was being sarcastic. I Isn't think it's all a big thing because the 2024... The water, the contract. Contract to, thing, yeah. yeah. Just people getting people talking and that, but... Yeah. It's about more money, isn't it, I think? That's what uh, it yeah, because other people to. come in since he's day one AE dub. He's like, oh. all right, cool. All these old lads are putting, I'm still at their level. Can I get paid their money? Yeah, he's like a footballer who's playing better than his contract. He's like a youth player yeah. who's come through and is... Yeah. And yeah. he doesn't have that... Um, oh, what's it called? The contract that... Uh, Kevin Nash had when he joined WCW. Favoured Nations. Favoured Nations, that's it. <laughs> is that where you match the... He says, yeah, when you come in, ask for more money because they have to pay him. The Alan the Shearer money. clause. That was right. it. It was Alan Shearer as well. I think. Whenever Newcastle signed someone on more money than him, he would go above ah. them. Deservedly so, by the way. Um, well, but... the only favourite person I can think of signed when he was there that was paid more, wasn't it? Michael Owen. Mike Lohan, yeah. Oh. Uh, Patrick, uh, Patrick Cliver got him a boost as well. Oh my God, Cliver! That's besides the point, anyway. But MJF should be up there, and I'm, I'm not, yeah. I'm not having a good MJF at all for, for wanting more money. The stuff he's done for AEW since it started, yeah, consistently mm. as well. I know it can hum and har a bit about the the booking decisions and him losing to Jericho and stuff like that, but the p performance wise, mm. no one's been be been better over that mm. period of time. Yeah, yeah. It's Mark. surprising that he's saying it publicly. 
Oh, no, sorry, that wasn't publicly, but obviously got out to Sean Ross Sapp, star of Joey Janela's Spring Break Battle Royal. Yeah, uh, what? Anyway, yeah. Uh, why not? He is seven foot tall, though. He'll oh, do he's well. tall, man. He'll do well. You can't teach that. And uh, Marco Stunt as well, got to mention as well. He's who, seven yeah. foot tall. Who, despite our news title this morning, was not released. His contract ended. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, we, whoever did that title made a mess. And I'm calling <laughs> them out now. Yeah. Boo you! Yeah. <laughs> uh, I these contract came up and they just said, "Oh, we're not, we're not re- renewing you, pal." But you can handle that in a nicer way. Well, I mean, it was doing. almost like revealed before it happened because Janela was saying, "Like, hi, there's guys who te- Tony Khan just is too busy with to talk with," which is mm. surprising to me. He's eight. Oh, Tony Khan has a lot of hats to wear. Or like so four. Yeah, where he's doing the talent as well, and if he's doing that along with, I actually don't know. Is, is do you actually know his job rules? He's but he's the, the co-owner of Fulham. Oh, I mean, just an AW. Oh, just an AW. Still yeah. got a lot. Even I didn't even think about the oh, external yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. What is his job as an AW? Fulham, head, head, smashing it by the way. Head Booker. <laughs> mm. Um. What else is it? Well, he'll he'll Ring he, of Honor. He didn't. Well. He didn't used Keeping to bad booking ideas. From he didn't the book. used to book, did he? He used to. Well, he used to help. He used to be one of the bookers, but then he kind of took that. Yeah, he took it away from the wrestlers. We realized they were awful. Well, they were, <laughs> most of them were just trying to get themselves over. Mm. Who would have thought? No, <laughs> who, oh, completely unexpected. Yeah. But then, yeah, like like. There's no guy underneath him doing it. So it's like, hi, hi, TK, am I still employed? Message seen, November. You're like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah. is a shame. Um, and that'll get better over time, you'd assume, because you'll build a thing around him. You still, you still get the feeling that AEW now is like what Vince was in the 90s. Like right. A select few. Yeah, actually. And it gets bigger them. and bigger yeah. and bigger as time goes on. I assume so anyway. Yeah. Hopefully, because it does sound like a really bad way to do the business. It yeah. So, but... yeah. Yeah. Maybe he needs like people who aren't wrestlers to help him out but then do you get into how do you find yourself in a WWE situation when you've got people who don't know wrestling right in the shows you don't want that mm. Mm. oh no you do mm, do you a different perspective that not wrestling perspective that Hollywood draw in not wrestling fans yeah yeah that, that that's always worked doesn't it <laughs> and finally the biggest news the Steiners are being inducted in the W Hall of Fame now it wasn't that long ago when Scott Steiner was on the "If you see this man, do not let him in the stadium" <laughs> yeah. posters around WrestleMania time, and now he's been invited in to tour. Uh, first of all, it has been streamed live I on can't the Peacock, wait, which I can't. I'm like, great. Now, and it went from mildly interesting to very interesting. Do. <laughs> and second of all, it is hilarious though because they like the Steiners being inducted, the official WWE graphic. What images do you think they used? Of course, it's photos of their WWF run. Because oh, that's what you associate with the Steiners, no. that magical, <laughs> amazing tour well, they did. A, as a tag team, you probably do, don't you? I guess so. Wait, no. when, I, when I picture Scott and Rick, I think, of, and I think of Rick in the thing, yeah, yeah. And, and Scott Steiner, how anybody would picture Scott Steiner ever. The the blonde and the... But yeah. they, weren't, they weren't teaming with the they freaks. Was the blonde, were they? No, they weren't, but... Mm, <sighs> no, because that became... This, he, he was... He uh, cut his hair and grew a goatee out, and then he turned on him, and then he changed his look. I but, do get I do get it. It was their WWE. It's like it, Scott Hall, isn't it? Like, he went in as Razor, didn't he? Or Razor, Scott Hall, Ramon. Did Diesel go did in? He, wait, did he go in as Razor? I'm sure it was Razor, Scott Hall, Ramon. Okay. A bit of both. Okay. A bit of column A, a bit of column B, as mm. Richard would say. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> as Richard would say. That's what he does. Bit of column A, a bit of column B. Do you? I think I've done that a couple Oh, a it's, a, it's a Simpsons line. It's at yeah. least 10. Oh, uh, little column A, little column B. Yeah. But no, when we were back at, uh, at What Culture, was it a five star wrestling? It was somewhere backstage. We had an interview with him. And he was with calling who? Scott Steiner. And he was calling Stephanie McMahon what? the C word and Triple H <laughs> wait, the wait, C wait, word. Wait, 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 wait. We didn't conduct the interview. I do not remember. I wasn't there. Yeah, five, f- I wasn't. I don't think five star I ever had. It Scott was somewhere. Was Scott Steiner over in the UK? It was a wrestling show here in Newcastle. I was there. What? I don't remember this. Why? When would that have happened? That can't have been five stars. It was very, very early on. Maybe even before Jack and I were born on YouTube. <laughs> it might have been before I joined the company. No, no. You okay. were there. I was there? Yeah, yeah. But go back and watch it. He calls... I've only what? ever... I've, in my mind, anyway, I've only seen... It's happened. I watched it this week because I was going to share it on Twitter, but I couldn't for reasons. I've only remembered me and you... I think it was. I think it was you. I was walking with around WrestleCon, and we walked past Scott Steiner, who ate like three quarters I of an apple. An on, on, I thought it was an onion. Because the noise it made. Yeah, just like a massive red onion. <laughs> Me and Ross walking around our first ever <laughs> wrestling convention. Yeah. Like it was a zoo. Come and, <laughs> come and see the Steiner. Come and see the Luger. And um, Scott Steiner ate a good three quarters of an apple in one chomp. Oh, it was massive. Yeah. 
Big he's, Apple as well. I was scared. But I, he's, he calls, he's not very complimentary about Stephanie and Triple H specifically. So it's going to be interesting because they always um, put that no. little thing out from behind the scenes, don't they, where they get the ring from Vince and Triple H and then they do a little oh, photograph. Oh, yeah. Well, I hope they've released that bit. That's the bit I'm most interested about because they're going to somehow get on top of the... Well, will Triple H be there? Because obviously, if he's trying to you know, stay healthy, you'll keep away from that. I know. It's be a lot of stress for him. Uh, yeah. That's, it's crazy how unexpected some of these, like, oh, they'll never come back. They'll never never say never in wrestling. Had Bruno come back after decades yeah. of not liking each other. Well, that's Triple Warrior. H. Warrior. Triple H is the bridge builder. Certainly is. That leaves, mm. who are the other do not ask? It's Ole Anderson's. Punk. <laughs> Surely. Imagine. What, they go, hey, <laughs> we both champion by then. Hey, world champion Punk will be the Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> Mate. I don't think that'll ever... Will it ever no, happen? I don't think we so. sat here for There's years and no said Punk will never come back. The, but to WWE, though, yeah, that's a different kettle of fish. Yeah. As Richard he came back for that rubbish show that people watched off and went, oh, this is awful, but that was with Fox. That was weird. It was with I Fox, it was with WWE. That. It'd be like, oh, it's going to build up to mine. It didn't. At least Punk went, no, I'm doing this for the money. Yeah, he probably got paid a lot for it, to be fair. God. There we go. He but changed yeah. the culture. <laughs> that was... And they it? all went... The, Overproduced that. Oh, look who it is! <laughs> <laughs> so rubbish. Yeah, yeah. CM Punk, what are you doing here? He's redeemed himself now. No, he has. That show was rubbish. Yeah. But you know what? Show isn't rubbish. The Hall of Fame yeah. segment, which is coming up now. God, that new segment went on for a while, but got a lot of good stuff out of it. Three percent wrestling news. Ninety-seven percent Lawrence. No, 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 no. <laughs> Mint. I'm sure he's lovely. Everybody get excited for the Cultaholic Hall of Fame. Ah, it's moving casually on to the most hotly contested thing about this podcast. Since Jack's little list of what's going to be the most anticipated WrestleMania indie match this weekend. Thank you. Let's see, in condescending order, Jack's Tesco man. Yeah, but I felt bad, so I had to include him. He's nice, 90%. Nice, nice man. That might be the most rubbish. <laughs> like... Hang on, I've clearly forgotten a Hall of Fame pick this week. No, because I mentioned what I was going to pick instead, and then I went, but I'm going to go for the Tesco man. 90% is pretty impressive. Uh, <laughs> Jeff Jarrett, 27%. It's a shame the poll went live before the Straight to Hell did. Did it? Because the 15,000 people who watched that interview... The millions! ...will have <laughs> changed their minds by yeah. the end of it. All right, if they haven't all watched it, they'll soon think, oh, no, not Jeff Jarrett. He was a rubbish horseman. <laughs> anyway, but the clear winner... I'm very happy and expected. Juan Carrito, the big bastard biscuit bear. The bear. 54%. That's right. What I've realized now is that bear news is big news. Because I keep on getting inundated with bear news by the likes of Matt McKnight and the other cool people who DM me. Stuff. You could say bear news is bear news. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've bear, got bear some news. bear news. B-E-A-R. B-A-R-E. Bear, bear, bear. Did you bear, wink bear at me? News. No, <laughs> might be having a stroke. I don't know. <laughs> I, I feel like bear. bear. You're, a, you're a bit <laughs> of a. Ross. You're a bit. What's the term? Because not. It's not like womanizer. You're a bit of a bearerizer, aren't you, Matthew? <laughs> Soon as Frank's, you bear Frank's, nonce. Frank's old news. <laughs> no, no. Frank's old God. news now. Oh, you were all about Frank the Tank, weren't you? Until this yeah. new hot young thing comes along. From, oh, yeah, from I see. Italy. Oh, maybe I am one. It's like yeah. one of those romance novels that people read on holiday. Oh. The hot young Italian bear. <laughs> I love you, Frank, but Suddenly. I'm thinking of Juan yeah. Carrido. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I think I uh, applaud the uh, the good people who interviewed for that that newspaper. Paul, like I put the the biscuits on the side and I turned around, <laughs> Mamma Mia. Done it again. It was Juan Carrido and <laughs> Brenda Bush. <laughs> All right, so moving on, taking a break. Can't overexpose the bear. Yeah. Um, this week Please is. Please be a third bear. <laughs> One of which, which side is he on? <laughs> is this magnificent Twitter account? And you may think it's a bit cheap just having a Twitter account okay. as a Hall of Fame pick, but wait. Oh, Mr. Tubman, may you click? It is exactly what it says in the tin 80s footballers aging badly. Oh, Ignore the no. fact that I've misspelled aging. It's okay. Let's have a quick scroll down. It's a good thing if you're on the bus. Um, they'll be doing a tournament, and these are the, that's a pinned tweet. The final. Aaron McGar there on the left, 36 years old versus <laughs> Nivaldo, allegedly 29. No, he wasn't. I, I'm 29. <laughs> this will make you feel so good about yourself. You're on the way to work. You're like, oh, I can't be bothered. Look why, at you. Why, Father time giving you a good kick in. Don't worry. Why, you know, when you, why do 
older people. Why in the eighties and seventies and that did did young people look so much older than we do now? I, I, that's what I you on the pit. Is it picture, picture, is scroll is it down and you see some of these. Quality, yeah. I don't know. Let's see. This is uh, oh. Lars Bastrup of Hamburg, oh. twenty seven. Oh. To be fair, he's got quite youthful skin. It's just the mustache and the. The receiving yeah. hairline. The mustache, that, that one's not that bad. Really that one's it. not that bad. Here we go. Oh, wow. Dave Fogg of Oxford United, 34. No, no, no. It's like Mark Lawrenson from Wish. Marlena. <laughs> and uh, here we have Jacques no, he, Rose no, Laval, no, I'll, I'll defend 32. Him. I'll defend him. You defend, I'll defend him. him. He's not. As, he's not the worst one we've seen. He's Look at that hairline. Oh, aye, but he's still got sharp features and that. You can't help with All your right. hairline. Yeah, oh, yeah. here we go. This will make you feel proud. Keith Kettleborough, <laughs> Newcastle. That's an NXT UK name. And AJ <laughs> 30. Aye, but from his era, they were working down the pit and then playing football at the weekend. You kind of blame them for looking a bit older. This photo was taken last week. <laughs> uh, the whole team. The whole team. The entire team. The Saudi Arabian under 16s versus the Democratic <laughs> Republic of the Congo. <laughs> 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 they do all look like dads. They do all look like dads. Allegedly 27. Good God, uh, that man's seen a lot. Oh, well, that's no, 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 no. <laughs> Come on now. He Come looks on. 32 years old. Yeah, he old. does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, no, no. Around here, he does. Those eyes. Those are old man's eyes. <laughs> like a doll's eyes. Uh, and uh, here's uh, our man Kulka of Poland. 30. No. That's just Timothy Thatcher. No, he looks, he looks like he could be an 80s heel, him. He looks fantastic. He's, oh. he's the subject of a Netflix documentary, him, isn't he? No. Uh, <laughs> there's Branko. It's about 30. God. Do I'm surprised Father Time had any... That's why we all look youthful by comparison to these people now. Father Time's just knackered after being you know a bother footballers. Do you know what the terrible thing is? Oh, what? The, when, it, when, they, when the age begins with 20, I'm far more shocked than when it begins... Even between 29 and 30. Even though there's no difference. When someone's 30, I'm like, I the do look 30. When no. it says 29, I'm like, no. Yeah, there's some hard 20s in this. One more and then we'll call it. No, I just mean psychologically because of the... Oh, here we go. Germano of uh, Benfica. 29 years old. That's our friend Bruno Samaritano. <laughs> eh? He looks, he looks good. He looks fantastic. He looks like a like a, a golden era of Hollywood. He looks brilliant. Uh, he, he looks like he's about to say, I say. Yeah. <laughs> Ding dong, rather. <laughs> so there you go, I'll cheer you up. All right. You know, uh, 80s footballers aging badly. A yeah, magnificent Twitter account. I think they do a few tournaments. Folks, who looks the roughest? So, just for anybody only listening oh, to this, God. Matthew showed us a collection of men. Oh yeah, that must have sucked the audio people. Who, I do apologise. Who had receding hairlines and <laughs> weathered faces from having a harder childhood than we did. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Very mean. Very I, I, mean. I don't have indeed. an excuse for very, a, look. a very privileged pick there from Matthew. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Oh, you're right. Go um, on then. Well, uh, oh, sorry, who's second? Oh, that's right. It's yourself. Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to stick to the age theme now you've brought it up because I'm going to go for. I don't know if Richard wants to find a picture from that awards due last weekend. I'm going to go specifically for the complexion, the skin of your man, Chris Rock, because I think the thing that's been lost in all of this controversy is that man is 57 years old. He looked fantastic. He looked mm. like he was a. He could have been 29 on old. He could have played for Bayern Munich, playing back in the day. He could have played for Saudi Arabia under 16. Yeah. <laughs> look at how youthful this man looks. 57 years. Look at yeah, that's, not that's a, the best photo. Of the not show. a crease in sight. I do have to, and Will Smith also looks really young. He does for his age, but well, he would have ironed him, I guess. Well, uh, but what I will say is, they're really rich men. They are. They've lived a life of privilege for a lot. Well, they've not their whole lives, obviously, but. Well, they've worked hard to get there. Of course, they? of course. Yeah. Not, not, I'm not, fresh I'm not, I'm not doubting that. I'm not doubting <laughs> that. But they're, they're very, very rich. Maybe maybe Chris has had some Botox, but it's not noticeable is maybe another point we should bring up. Until, so, not until his face, like... <laughs> maybe if he walked in the room right now, he'd be just going, oh, there's Botox, Chris. That's why he didn't really sell it, because he didn't feel <laughs> like it. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know so he hadn't. <laughs> couldn't physically feel it. Did you think it was fake the first time you saw it? Because I did. No. Yes, first time I saw it, I did. He and, saw it went like uh, that, didn't he? Did the old... He, it was such a, like... <laughs> slapped his thigh. It yeah. was all... It was text, but it was like... It was too clean. Yeah. But... Yeah. No, I, I thought it was a legit thing. Um, you I thought it was legit I love that all wrestling people like, ah, it's a work, baby. I'm like, wow. Mm. <laughs> I thought it was fake just from the... Uh, well, I saw it because I'd seen just Will Smith trending. So I saw it. and I, So then your brain immediately goes, that's a skit. And then I saw the full version with him swearing in the crowd and that, and I thought, yeah, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought, he's not, he's not well. Like, it's just not, it's not a normal reaction. 
Wayne yeah. Barrett loved it. Did he? NXT this week, oh, commentary. I forget which match uh, was on. He just yeah. shouts, uh, that big cook energy like Will Smith. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I heard big cook energy. Like, like this, Will Smith. Not a lot of subtlety there. <laughs> From that sexy cowboy, Wade Bored, Barrett. horny Wade Barrett has been <laughs> a, for any, a little highlight of NXT. For any like Americans watching who think that British people are really classy because of Regal on comedy, going like, "Oh, Mr. Ross" and all this, <laughs> then compare that to Wade Barrett. <laughs> Big cock energy. I think the other other thing that's come out about this, uh, and I know everyone's already talked this to death by the time this podcast comes out, but minutes before this, Chris Rock did compliment Denzel on his performance in the Scottish play. All oh, right. And did he name it? Did he name it by name? He said it by name. You should never say that in a theatre. And I nearly did it then. Um, when I'm in a theatre, you can say Macbeth. Macbeth. Oh, what it's are bad you? Bad luck to say Macbeth out loud. Oh. Mr. Macbeth was a naughty man. Do 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 do. He went and killed another man. I'm so do there. It. Do, 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 Is that a real do, song? Do. It's from Little I've Britain. I've got a good idea. It's from Little Britain. Just thou Britain. keep me near. I'll be so good for you. Scottish, Scottish play. Britain. Yeah. Ah. So it, anyway. Thank you, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Ross is there linked Macbeth to David Williams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, so, sorry, he said that, he said Macbeth out loud and then got slapped by Will Smith. Yeah. The curse wow. continues. The curse is real. Yeah. It is. Wow. Uh, so you're, Maybe he just didn't oh, know. Yeah, maybe he didn't. So your Hall of Fame pick is how good Chris Rock looks. Chris Rock's youthful skin. Okay. I, I think he looks know. fantastic for his age. Well... Jack comes to you, the most youthful and skin, uh, skinned of all of us. That sounded better in my head. I do apologise. Uh, Jack, what have you got for us this week? Well, Matthew, I'm a film buff now, obviously. Um, you're right there. I'm Carry on. So, for context, Matthew didn't. I'm getting text in the middle of the podcast. For context, Matthew. Um, Who from? I'm outside from a certain podcaster. I've got. From uh, messages on iMessenger from Bethany, and oh, then text, you text from my mum as well. Why would oh, I read you? Why would I read? What's my mum saying? <laughs> Go on. Um, Jack's well thought out. <laughs> Matthew, I'm a film buff now. <laughs> uh huh. Go on. What are you doing? You messaging me? I'm, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to put my phone in my pocket yeah, on silent, so we All can't. Right, this can't carry on. Go on. Um, because obviously, I, I I used to read plot synopses of films rather than what actually watch them. Because I couldn't be asked, and I just wanted to know what everyone was <laughs> raving about. Mm -hmm. um, I know that just by reading the plot, you miss out on every other aspect of the film. But I watched a highly regarded film the other day for the first time, Ooh. and I really enjoyed it. Genuinely oh. really loved it. Oh, great. What was it? It was Lost in Translation. Oh, okay, cool. You were expecting something crap, and it's not. Uh, <laughs> I, oh, you watched it all the way through. I... It was a just a of a of an evening at about eight p.m. Stuck it on. Nice. Before I knew it, it was ten, and I, I loved that. Well, the passage of time because you did something. It's a lovely film. It's a lovely. Have you seen it? Yeah. It's a love. What do you think? I like. I I didn't like it to begin with because it won. It was the best comedy. Oh, it's not really. There and are, I went, there are funny, the hell? There are funny went, elements, but yeah, it's not. yeah, but it was something like that, like best comedy or whatever, like that. I was the best. It won some award. That went. Nah, but then if you take that out of context and watch it now, it's like, oh yeah, fine, mm. yeah, like them. Have you seen it, Ross? No. It's Bill Murray and Scarlett Johansson, a very young Scarlett. I think she was only like seventeen. A wonderful so. comedy duo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and they're in Japan, but they don't know each other, and then they meet each other, and it's it's almost like they're they're both lonely and they're both in unhappy marriages, and they realize that they're like soulmates, but it can never happen because this one's much older. And of course, it can happen. Age doesn't mean anything. Well, well, how old is Scarlett Johansson in the she, film? Well, she's in in, in, in film fa <laughs> in film fabe or in real life because I think she was seventeen when it was filmed. In film, well, she's it, in a her character. She, she's just film. graduated from uni. Oh, so she's of age. You'd assume. Yeah, but you, they can't be together for a multitude Bill of reasons. Bill Murray's what sixty in that? He's he's playing. Uh, yeah, he's probably in his fifties, maybe. Yeah. Stranger things have happened. Aye, but Ross. Anyway, the point. Anyway, is, moving on. The point is, it's. I my, think, I think, my, I'm only saying because my girlfriend's mom and dad have 20 years between them, so it happens. It Ooh. does happen, but it doesn't happen in this fli the film. I think the plot of the film has been lost in translation. It's but... not about that. Yeah, it's about it's about loneliness and and longing and you know mm. all those things. It's oh, it's, I thought it was really good. Really enjoyed oh, it. I'm glad. I know some people don't like it because nothing happens, but that's fine. Right, you don't need explosions and helicopters to enjoy a film. Mm. That's why I said it in a French accent. <laughs> you just need good writing. You do. And it was um, I never, I always forget whether it's Sophie or Sofia Coppola. 
Who directed yeah. it anyway? Sophia or Sophie? Sandra. Sandra Coppola directed it. I'll call her El Hio del Coppola. Yeah, <laughs> El Hijo. Oh, girl. right, I'm yeah. sorry. But um, no, that's my... It, not, nothing funny about this week's one. They don't all have to be bangers. No, you, you peaked early on when you said I'm a film buff. I'm a film I read buff the, now, I read Matthew. the plot synopses on Wikipedia, so I, <laughs> I really what? enjoy my films. I'm like, that's it. Take so it home. Upstairs Fraser, who genuinely does upstairs really Fraser. like genuinely does really like films, um, he's never seen it, so I keep being like, well, a real film buff like myself would uh, would have seen Lost in Translation 2003 or whatever. <laughs> You're reading off the Wikipedia like <laughs> One in a box. Citation two. needed. Yeah. <laughs> That's mine. Just lost in translation. Okay, cool. Brackets 2003, I think. Whatever year it is, Richard. It is 03. It is. Yeah. Thank you. Because I also like to read Wikipedia pages when I can't sleep. <laughs> uh, okay, a weird variety. A dodgy bag of revels you found on the side of the street. You kind of tempted to bite one, but... Maybe offer your friend one instead. We have 80s I've never footballers. never wanted to eat sweets from a Revels back on the street. <laughs> <laughs> 80s footballers aging badly. My new favorite Twitter account. Ross is picking the, how will you word this, sir? Chris Ross. Uh, Chris Rock's youthful skin. Chris Ross. <laughs> Charlie Brown. Chris Rock's youthful skin. And the film Lost in Translation, in brackets 2003, in yeah. bracket, which I think is uh, the, the average age of the, the people were born who watch this show. So I'm no doubt will appreciate that. Fantastic. Oh, wow. as in, oh, that, they were born in 2003. Yes, I think that, when they were 2003 years old. That has never been displayed more blatantly than this week because we've been doing oh. a few a few polls on the Twitter machine. of the group. We've had a sort of like a World Cup knockout style. I've noticed that. The greatest WrestleMania theme song. Yeah. And some of the modern day, the, in the bangers in their own rights, knocking yeah. out bona fide thunder bastards of yesteryear yeah. is shocking. It is, yeah. Greenlight yeah. got knocked out. By by what? Uh, Blind and lights was it? The weekend, one of the yeah. weekends ones. Yeah. I know there's not much of a gap between. Oh, that. I mean, as an actual, good song. As an yeah, actual yeah. pop song. Yeah. Obviously, the weekend is better, but as a WrestleMania oh, theme. Right. And you get the rest. What was the WrestleMania one theme again? That's the one I always forget. WrestleMania one. Easy Lover. Easy Lover. Phil Collins. Yes. Oh God. Oh, that got yeah, knocked yeah, out yeah. by something. That got knocked out by something bad. Yeah. Maybe like another weekend one. Maybe the same. You want to see? I can't remember. Oh. Um, you kids. Didn't the ACDC one get knocked out? Probably. The shoot the thrill. Kids again. Uh, all these kids watching. Wait, um, shoot the thrill. That's the SmackDown theme. Not shoot the thrill. Whatever it was. Whatever the War Machine. I think from uh, oh, no shoot Knight. the thrill was one of them. It's in the poll. I don't know what WrestleMania it was. Wait. It was lost mm. on me. Was it? Oh. Uh, wasn't um, the SmackDown one? Are you ready for? Oh no. A... Yeah. Yeah, they'd have shoot the thrill randomly. Are you thinking of Thunderstruck at North Wrestling? No. You know, it's because of ACDC so much, I don't really associate it with WWE. So mm. I'm just like, all right, sure, just a good ACDC song from. Decades ago, yeah, that's our theme. What, but what about the greatest theme? Oh, WrestleMania's, but 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 big time. Oh, that knocked out the ACDC one, I think. Well, oh, oh, I'm alright with no, that. No, no, what I'm happened right was that. that one was put in um, with something Come else, but we, everyone was going, wasn't that big time by, by Peter, Peter Gabriel? Gabriel? Yeah, you won't culture it, swines. No, it's by Soundtrack of Our Lives. Oh, different two, different big, times. two oh. different big times. Oh, what? The one oh, you used is two big. You, you went b -b 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 big time. We're all partners yeah, in yeah, time. Yeah. That, that soundtrack of our lives. Yeah. And big time. I'm on the way of being marching. Big time. That's Peter Gabriel. Two different songs. Wow. Oh, no. From two different WrestleManias. Or oh, is it the same WrestleMania? Don't know. You're right. They're around the same period of time, aren't they? You're right. The sound of our lives sounds nothing like Peter Gabriel, but I've been calling <laughs> Peter Gabriel for years. <laughs> oh, no. You're right. Oh, that's so bad. You uncultured swine. Oh. Who's soundtrack of our lives? A band. Just some bands. That's the only song I know about them. You know that... Um, oh, that's bad. That's embarrassing. Uh, Let's move on. It took me years and years to realise that two songs were different songs. And I was aware of both songs, but in my mind I'd never separated them into two separate songs. Yeah. Um, Run This Town by Rihanna and Jay-Z, I think. And um, the other Rihanna one, Gonna Be, Shooting Star, Live Your Life. Oh. Keep on chasing that paper. That one as well. Didn't have Sean Paul in. No, I wasn't. I was doing that. That was Come Rihanna. Come on, give it to. Come on, give it to. Rihanna's got a big range. She's got a deep voice. That's how she was. Like Paul, then what you just did. Okay. Do you know we're not tempted just to add like next year's WrestleMania? Is that whatever song you like? Like Temperature by Jean Paul. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that's oh, a great song. He came in Newcastle a couple of years ago, but or was it just before the pandemic? Forty nine quid a ticket it was oh, for the back row. I remember. I remember his back row. Bitching about it. Forty nine quid. Oh. I'd, I'd be thinking of his back catalogue though. But for the back row. Get busy. Like glue, temperature, we be burning. Shot I know, I know. You, you, but no, I'd, I'd have to get busy just to afford the bloody ticket. 
A blue cla- blue can was there. Give me the light. Me the light. Maybe. If, or mm. Febreze. Febreze, yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's how Chris Eubank says Febreze. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. That's it. That's the end of the Hall of Fame segment. Those three picks and those three picks are yours alone to go and vote for if you go to patreon.com forward slash cultaholic. That says this week in the wrestling. It's this bloody week in the wrestling. Ah, ah big news before it starts. Dave Meltz has been on news, Wrestling right? Observer right. Radio saying the plans for Shane McMahon have been revealed. So skip ahead 10 seconds if you don't want to hear him. Ooh. Basically, he's just going to be at the Hall of Fame. Oh, great. Oh, he's there to defend Triple H from Scott Steiner. <laughs> <laughs> that so is they're calling it. the day a heater. So there's no, Shane's the heater. <laughs> there's no chance in hell that it'll be a, a fakey Cody opponent thing. Seth, the opponent thing. Cody and Dave Meltzer of the yeah. Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Who's on a terrible run of form. Oh, do you think? Uh, yeah. mm. I think he's flapping. Ooh, the Dave. Dave. Dave, yeah. Mm. I think he's in his bedroom again. Or his office, yeah, whichever one it is. It makes me sick. I, I'm, I'm a clean person. And seeing that room makes my skin itch. Someone just help the guy, for goodness sake. Uh-huh. Papers on the floor. His chair's rolling across papers. Mm. A floor of paper. I'm loving the... Uh, <laughs> the floor is paper. The, the wrestling news industry now is like its own form of the wrestling business. Like the drama, really the storylines, the character. The characters are better than half the characters in wrestling. Yeah. You've got Dave, who's like the Bruno. You've got all these upstarts trying to Short snap in his heels. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Scott you've, Keith as uh, Buddy Rogers. You've got you've got <laughs> you've got Louis Dangour as Brutus the Barber Beefcake to show us Oh, Probably the nicest thing anyone's ever said about him. <laughs> um Oh, but then who are our news hounds? They're obviously uh Aiden. Yeah, but I'm trying to think of who they are in wrestling then. Aiden is like, he's a heel. He's like Jake the Snake or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Aiden is somehow, he's in his mid-twenties, I think, but everything about the man is 75 years old. <laughs> he goes to Greg's and gets a corned beef pasty. You've said this before. Who, There's nothing wrong with that. Who below the age of 75 goes to, or maybe 60, we'll go 60 in a push. There's who n- below the age of 60 gets a corned beef pasty? Me. Oh. Terrible. Oh, sorry, you get the hat and now you're the... The GM. <laughs> Emphasis on the G. <laughs> oh. AW Rampage. The can't be no, past down. The... Yeah, get it right, Matthew. What? Oh, oh, oh no. Jesus, sorry. Oh, but... Is it not on there? Oh, it is, but... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to have skipped it as well, because it was a filler. It was a filler show. Yeah. Honestly, really let's see was. if I can remember anything that happened. Mm. Smackdown. A backstage interview with Brock Lesnar opens a show. He says, WWE... <laughs> Management have <laughs> told him to have no contact with Roman before WrestleMania unless he's provoked. So he decides to head into Roman's locker room and wait for a provocation, smashing a coffee table the process, a la Pat McAfee. That was yeah. a riot touch, that, because that Roman is the head of the table. So oh. He smashed it. Yeah, and he Good doesn't fast. drink coffee. Uh, later, Roman and Heyman send a video message from the back of a car <laughs> saying they're having a great time around New York. What was the point of it? We've been for a lovely steak. We've yeah. been, we've been it's because Madison Roman Gordon. is trying to hide how rattled he is and how terrified yeah. he is of Brock Lesnar. Oh, got you. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it, yeah. That does make sense. The reason why he is rattled gets revealed during the SmackDown because I was perplexed, thinking this man, in God mode, is scared of a man who's a cowboy and a farmer. No, no, he said he wasn't scared of him. Uh, he said, you know what it is? He's doing a politician thing, which is why he's such an amazing heel. Yeah. yeah. I'm not scared of him. I happen to be driving around. I'm a yeah, fan but you, of... can you come back? Because your car can drive towards the step. No, I can't do that. I'm a fan I... of West Ham and Aston Villa. Oh. <sighs> Roman in this... Head. Let me pull a Guinness pint. Ooh, <laughs> 50% head. There we Roman go. Roman in this claimed that he ordered five grand worth of sides. Not just the... St- I'm sure he said about five grand worth of sides. Now, even assuming the users were there as well with him and Paul. Five grand worth of sides. He said side. grams. Just a mountain of grams... <laughs> Five grams is a tiny amount of sides. <laughs> Not with <when> it's coke. <laughs> <laughs> it's very filling. <laughs> but what? how can you possibly order five grand worth of sides? You In eat. New York, very easily. It's, ooh, Oysters. It's Auburn. What Oysters, yeah. Couscous. Um, I guess caviar. There's caviar. One. Oh, okay, yeah. Chicken wings. Ch- Boneless. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're really expensive. <laughs> With his cocaine and chicken wings, you're really spoiling us. <laughs> hey, the, Jack Atkins showed me this takeaway down in Bristol, which made the news. I don't know when, oh, when it was. Oh, it's so good. Oh, no, cocaine in the burgers. 
Like in the burgers or like on. Like, they, it was a fun. It was a fun. Oh, that's fun. great because I can't eat cheeseburgers, but I can eat that. <laughs> it was like a front for dealers. Yeah. Is it the one with the interview with the lad after? Yeah. Shocking. People are shocked on the streets of Bristol as <laughs> as they oh, learn, yeah. and then it cuts to this lad. He's like. <laughs> No, he just sort of. Half, <laughs> I never knew that. I never knew that. He's half turned round. So he's like the reporter just gone. Hey, listen, there's cocaine in the burger. He's like, no, what? I never knew that. What? <laughs> I need, I'm going to play the audio. It's oh, too please, good. that sounds amazing. It's too good. Sorry, carry on. It's a lot more interesting than this. Uh, if Lester doesn't leave Roman's locker room, he's going to get his skull cracked open. Ooh, lots Le of blood mentions, which mm. makes me think of Res uh, sorry SummerSlam 2016. In fact, Brock said. He oh, bought... I was going to say last time wrestled at WrestleMania when yeah. Roman bled everywhere. Right, not going to finish like SummerSlam 2016 though. Brock that, said, oh, oh, okay. There Brock we go. said earlier yeah. on, sorry, that he bought a red SUV, blood red for Roman, which was nice of him. Very generous. Great don't bleed. I found it. <laughs> oh, am I playing advert first? Oh. No, it's, I'll talk uh, uh, while it's load up the advert. Uh, oh no, it's not. It's not great. Burger buns. Whoa, whoa. Nah, I never knew that. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Would no, you like never coke that. with that? <laughs> New speak and puns. Imagine walking oh. around the world just saying, that's how you say bacon butties. Mm. Bacon butters. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> Ron Atkinson. They <laughs> put cocaine <laughs> in the burgers. I remember the build up to the last election when they asked Boris Johnson a very similar question what do you do in your spare time? And he somehow. <laughs> Said they painted cardboard boxes in the as London buses. As London buses I, I yeah. paid cardboard boxes. What are you on about? Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. Why, that. when you ask a, a politician what they do, like yeah. Theresa May was like, "What did what's what did, what the naughtiest thing you've ever done?" I oh, uh, ran through fields of wheat. <laughs> they're like the, all aliens. Like the brain goes. Ah. They're all alien. I, I remember yeah. watching Boris Johnson get a cup of tea for reporters who were outside of his house. He goes around saying, "Would you like a cup of tea?" <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea? So but did he make it himself? I don't know, probably Surely not. No way. He, he somehow managed to carry a tray of like six cups, though. That's good for him. Okay, well, no, I'll point for that. <laughs> My somebody Best he's done in years. Yeah. Uh, moving on from horrible politicians, the wonderful drama-free world of wrestling. Nakamura beats Jimmy Oso in a singles match, while Rick Boogs takes care of Jay on the outside. Wow. Viking Raiders going, you know what? That's what we should have done. Yeah, this probably. was another filler bit for me because obviously yep. we're the two genetics of the teams mm. going at it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> after Who <laughs> Jimmy first of all? <laughs> ah, but he's not the right hard man, is he? Mm. And also, it was a bit pointless, I thought, after last week because they got their match by Pin and Jay, didn't they? So this was a bit like, oh, we'll go through the motions. Yep, mm. the motions. But mm. they have a lot of momentum in their sales, which is crucial on the word to WrestleMania. That's right. The and word. I heard the, how do you say it? It was very good. Yeah. They've got momentum because you get momentum with the four wheel drive of the new Toyota, Toyota Tundra. Mm. Tunta Tundra. <laughs> Tunta Tunta. Tunta Tunta. <laughs> Kofi Kingston is scheduled to face Ridge Holland. Boo his. Baz a surprise for him. He's facing the returning Xavier Woods instead. Woods wins for roll-up under a minute. What? Damn. That's uh, the ring announcer. I think it's Ricochet's good lady. I, I don't know what her name is. I'm very sorry. But she was like, and now come into the ring alongside King, or with Xavier Woods, Kofi Kingston. And then oh. Kofi's like, oh, who's going to face you? Who, who is it? It's him. <laughs> King Woods. <laughs> she ruined it. <laughs> How dare she? Although, I bet it was a last-minute change of plan and she just wasn't Probably, notified yeah. or forgot. Hey, they, apparently... According to Louis Dan Danger Door, that this episode of Danger SmackDown Door. was re re rewritten minutes before we went on the air. Did he actually report that? No, I'm just saying we get that every bloody be, week. They, out of all of the recent episodes, this was the one that felt the most hastily rewritten. Yeah. Did you say Lewis Danger Door there? That's a good this, name, if isn't you don't remember, this is how Matthew reads his name. It's how oh. he jumps off the page at him as Danger Door. Yeah. Matthew, who previously thought he could read before he started this podcast. Uh, Ronda Rousey calls out Charlotte Flair, but Charlotte appears on the Tron and says she isn't there, and the crowd erupts. Ronda says she first <laughs> broke somebody's arm at 14, and she's lost count. Of stop, army. stop being so enthusiastic when you say Ronda's lying to you. <laughs> Ron, <laughs> Ronda says she first broke somebody's arm at 14, and she's lost count of how many she's broken since. She says she'll do the same to Charlotte at WrestleMania. Tick, follow, talk, follow, tick, follow, talk. <laughs> and the fat drum, <laughs> beat the drum of all of that. <laughs> this one's for you, Ahab. Uh, yeah, this is just like every the match before. This is just a thing that happened. Stop them speak. I know it's not pointless now, but on this week's SmackDown, just don't have them speak. Just have mm. them wrestle because that's what they're good at. And this promo once again from Ronda. She sounded bored. 
Yeah. And we've seen for her before, she can do what she can do with a good promo. Well, she can do a good promo, but last few weeks she just sounded like, hello, I'm here on the road to WrestleMania and I don't really want to be here, but I am. Bomb, yeah. Bomb, 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 bomb. <laughs> yep. I don't know what to say about that. No, nothing else. I, I think that Ronda really thrives when she's being organically cheered and can't really handle not being... And it's a tricky situation when you're a babyface, I imagine, and you're not getting as cheered as you should be. But just do it. Go on. You can do it. There you see that beautiful smile. She probably... Yeah. And now she's had a kid. She probably just wants to be at home with a kid. Yeah. Beautiful I mean, smile. It's not her fault that she was, you know, oh, you, you won the Rumble. All right, okay, okay, great. And then it's like, yay, all these all-expected cheers aren't really happening, even against Charlotte Flair. Mm. So it's like, mm. She's over in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Great. Um, <laughs> but I imagine, though, WrestleMania, they'll cheer for her. They'll be like, yay, oh, Ronda, yay, yeah, because it's the casuals that are no, up there. Like, yeah, all right, cool. You're, forget, you're forgetting the Matthew Gregg rule, which is that Charlotte what? always gets 50-50 reactions at every pay-per-view. Oh, God, I. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah but there'll be some people cheering for her. You've got Gregg's theorem. <laughs> God, so far, I've been right. No, I've you are there, Matthew. <laughs> Dude, be like, Stop it. Last week, I burned down your house. Then at the pay-per-view battleground. <laughs> Yay, Charlotte! I don't watch Raw every week. Come There's on, nothing awesome. wrong with appreciating greatness. <laughs> okay. And that is Charlotte Flair. Oh, right. why, why wouldn't you eat corned beef pasties, then? Because <laughs> uh, they're crap. Yeah. Oh, why? Do you not like corned beef? No. no I like normal not? beef. Because I'm not a pensioner. Get a steak bake instead. You don't have to be old to eat or be appreciate young and corned rad. beef. Get a steak, get a chicken I'm speed bake. running life. I'm eating corned beef now. A vegan sausage roll. <laughs> I said that like that. <laughs> It's not like that um, delivery advert or just eat or whatever it is where he's like, chicken legend, large fries. It's very really weird. Vegan sausage. <laughs> Angel beats Ricochet with a ro- Oh, oh the right, segment. Right. You know what? This is a pretty forgettable SmackDown until we've had Ricochet looking great the past few weeks and you half-jokingly said like, ah, oh, he's the number two baby. He actually is now the number two baby. And he was. Yeah. All right. Mm. Angel beats Ricochet with a roll-up after distraction from Humberto. Ricochet challenges Humberto to a match immediately afterwards, but loses again, this time via count after interference from Angel. This sets up a triple threat match next week for the IC title. Which Ricochet requested, by the way. Yeah. What would you do that for if you're the champion? To Against prove, tag team to partners? prove that he's the better man. He's an idiot. But he lost twice he's in a less than five minutes. Idiot. Oh, mate, wait until Raw. Oh, I know, right? It's like sometimes Vince remembers that Ricochet's fairly short, and he's like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why has he got a belt? <laughs> Who the hell hired Hornswoggle? <laughs> she sees the one on the promo she's in with. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> Every in WWE must be doing that. <laughs> this was another thing where the, the announcer had a mare because she was like uh, accompanied by Angel, Humberto for the original one, but it wasn't. It was the other way around, which is what the graphics on screen said. Everyone was having a mare. I think she couldn't read her notes because she had tears coming down her eyes. He's going to lose oh, again. <laughs> We're not going to have tea tonight, not without the winner's purse. (laughs) (laughs) I'm married to a loser. (laughs) Another match that didn't go over two minutes, though. Had me stop watch out by this point. Yeah, again, wait for more. (laughs) Like Melter. Yeah. Oh, him and, do you see him and Wally's little argument last night? Melter and Wally. Oh, great, go on. You have to get it up there, Richard. They're they're, they're friends. They are friends, and that was proven how civil this... um, Okay. This argument was on Twitter last oh, night. Oh, there they are. I forget. <laughs> I forget that word. How civil this argument. <laughs> no, not too far. You'll see, you quoted someone saying, um, he's my friend or something like that, and you'll see it from there. Um, there you, you've missed it. Not true. There you go. There you go. Dumb. Not true. Not oh. true. Oh, yeah. So click on the quote sheet there of Melton. Scroll down a bit and you'll see Wale's reply. So Wale is like, this is Wale Mania 2. I hit J. I hit a J with Jim. He hit a J with Jim Ross. He hit a J with Jim Ross. <laughs> Smoke weed every day. And Dave Meltzer told me he never met Vince McMahon before. Good times, eight-star classic. Dave has put not true. Yeah Dave, has, yeah, Dave has met him a bunch of times. Can't remember what he... If you go back not or read the quote tweets. And then go quote tweets again. Ah, oh, oh, doesn't oh, matter. What was the gist of it? Wale said one thing Meltzer said the other thing Wale was like no no Dave, uh, Dave he definitely said that to me Dave was like I can't remember they must have been on, on the J's as well mm. but, I, I trust Wale's <laughs> memory more than Meltzer's Me- Meltz, was... Meltzer's memory to do with anything other than wrestling if he was on the J's with Jim Ross maybe some yeah. things have gone ask Dave Meltzer what year it is I'm not the first I mean, one on the J's I, I've <laughs> could mean anything it's ambiguous I've been backstage like at Wale and there were no J's in sight so I don't know what they're talking about good for you yes. liar 
They, That's just job interview, Chuck. <laughs> Anyway. Uh, Do you Aust- need a publicist? <laughs> exactly. Austin Theory sneaks up on Pat McAfee and slaps his headset off. Pat gives chase, but Theory hides in Vincent Mann's office. Good that. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's the thing that happened. Yep. Next. Again, it lasted less than two minutes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Queen Zelina, Sasha Banks, Rhea Ripley, and Shayna Baszler have a four way match. Sasha wins, submitting Zelina. This is the thing that happened. Sasha Banks was good <laughs> yeah. in the limited time they had. Rhea Ripley I took I thought a- you said summoning Zelina there. After the match, <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Zelina rises from the canvas. Sorry, yeah. I thought Rhea took a sick bump off a of hurricane rana right on her head. Good enough to be your no, no, not oh. at all. Um, finish was a bit quick, okay. but as were all the matches this week. Mm. Yeah, this was like the proverbial Iron Woman match compared to the rest of the right. card. It was like all the writing team and Vince had been busy doing other stuff, and this was like the homework that they'd done mm. the day of. What like planning WrestleMania? <laughs> well, Imagine yeah. That's oh. What it was. oh, oh, oh. Actually, that was their noise. Oh, it's <laughs> WrestleMania. Imagine every match at WrestleMania is two minutes long. Oh, I would love it. Oh, I would have to be that. if they want to get the trains. I'd be home on by 2 a.m. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was an issue. Oh, yeah, if you are going to that stadium, <laughs> don't bank on public transport. Don't bank on no. Ubers. There's not a chance in hell you're getting an Uber. No, just walk. Yeah. Back in, oh, my God, six years ago now, but feel the need to shout out once again, Carlos and Eunice, a fantastic couple who drove me and Ross and the others back from back from the stadium into Dallas. Oh, it's very nice of them. Lovely people. Hitchhiked. Yeah. Did you? had an allergic reaction to the dog. I did. Wasn't. I was in the back. I was in the back <laughs> because there wasn't enough room. There wasn't enough seats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was a spry young man at the time. Like, I'll get in the back. And um, started really itching and like crying. And I was like, have you got a dog? And they were like, normally, yeah. I was like, oh. And oh. Ross, I remember found it really funny. <laughs> He's a sadistic man. He's a God, sadistic he man. Also, speaking of shout outs to people, a special shout out to... Um, Stacy, uh, maybe Stacy M or Stacy eight zero zero two for the lovely ensemble of uh, Easter eggs. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. it's Thank torn the office upstairs apart. <laughs> oh, can we call one minute about drama? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Uh, Jack Atkins is a socialist, power to the people, and he thinks that the means of or the whatever should be. He wants more even distribution of uh-huh. chocolate. Um, so yeah, it was well, he was, jo- he was joking. Get one? He was joking, but it was the way that. The presenters got an individual Easter egg each. Thank you very much, by the way. Yeah, thank you. And um, he got, he got, and then there was like a little one of like the odd cream egg or caramel egg. It was like, this is for the rest. <laughs> and we, I felt so bad. <laughs> hey, I think they were lucky to get anything. No! no! They are the spine, the foundation of this company. <laughs> we're just the, the window dressing. <laughs> We are the wind beneath <laughs> the ring. Thank you very much, Stacey. Not only yeah, joking, but you, drama Stacey. as well. Oh, must be Easter. I got a dairy-free one. Did you? The only chocolate I've had in mm. years. Nice. Ah. Ah. More news. Oh, no. Bloody hell. Tidbit from David Meltzer once again. <laughs> I, while, did be, I did meet Vince McMahon. Honestly. While he does believe Cody Rhodes will be at WrestleMania, he said people close to him are saying it's possible that he will back out of it. Imagine. Either it, will, either it will happen or it will not happen. Just That's a clearing up, Dave. No, Cody's but... sat in the back of the car like, hmm. No. It's just like, come on, get him. Time for wrestling. I'm not getting out of the car. Imagine. I, I, never mind that. Like, we were saying beforehand about the wrestling journalist scene being like Bruno and all that stuff. Never mind that. He's the Chris Kamara. Hey, can you clarify what's happening? I it, don't know. He's either there <laughs> or he's not there. All right. When Meltzer retires, we'll miss him. That's what I'm, that's all I'm saying. Like Wayne Rooney. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we haven't missed Wayne Rooney, have we? Um, We've had great success without the guy. Yeah. Always good to be home, getting booed by your fans. Oh, my God. Wow, what a time. What time that was. (sighs) Roman and Heyman arrive, and Roman tells Brock to get out the... (laughs) Get off the... Get off the... (laughs) (laughs) Couldn't even say it. Get out of the bedroom. No! The Tron shows that Lesnar's actually in the car park. He destroys Roman's car with a pickaxe. Brock heads down the ringside through the crowd, but is stopped by a team of security. That always works. He beats them up with a chair as Roman and Paul run away with the Usos. Brock poses on the announce table while backstage Roman says he'll make Brock acknowledge him at Mania. This was the bit that explained why Roman's got doubt because he's never beaten Brock at WrestleMania. Mm. He's getting stage fright. Mm. He's getting performance anxiety Mm. and other terms from A-level PE that I've forgotten. Um, So, yes. You need some blue chew. Yes. Mm. Yeah, just a... I take an episode there. Brock's by the way, about move a week in this segment.
Oh, what's it called? Brock Lesnar's four-year-old-esque karate kick off the announce table to someone. <laughs> where he just sort of flies with his knee bent going like, hi Yeah, it was cool. I hope he made the noise. hi <laughs> Sword on Power Rangers that night. Yeah. <laughs> it was very childish of the man, but also yeah. fantastic. Mm-hmm. We can get away with it when you get big. I remember his... Um, it's like running, flying knee that he did in the mm. no DQ match with Cena, I think. Was it the one over oh, the top row? Oh, that thinking, match. Oh, my God. Oh, God. I remember thinking if any other wrestler did that, it would look stupid because it's Lesnar. It looks terrifying. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Hi-ya. <laughs> <laughs> AW Rampage. Oh, we need to mention as well, Balor and Priest were announced in the Battle Royal mm. on this SmackDown. Which is odd. And the but then internet th- melted. Are they still doing a Battle Royal? Yeah. On SmackDown. It's tonight. Yeah. Oh, yeah, mm. yeah another WrestleMania Battle Royal, that one. Yeah. Are, yeah they doing, are they doing a women's one as well? I don't know. They've not mentioned it. They're definitely doing a men's one. It's on SmackDown mm. this evening. But, Along um, with uh, the triple threat match for the IC Championship, where Ricochet has to lose for being so damn uh, silly. But yeah. but the, they need to fill WrestleMania, right? And we've mentioned no, they need that, to fill the crowd. We've mentioned there's matches like New Day versus Sheamus' lads yeah. and Drew versus Corbin and that. But they've left the US title match off, which is weird. Especially for Priest. The year he's had, he should be on the WrestleMania card. Maybe if Bad Bunny was available, they'd be on the card. Mm. Soyon White, Campion, Booker T. Oh, yes. Mm. Mm. <sighs> AW Rampage. Mm. Dustin Rhodes surprisingly beats Lance Archer with a little help of an exposed turnbuckle. Archer beats Dustin down afterwards, as well as a few of his students try to make the save. He ends it by putting Dustin through a table. Weird, almost WWE finish here, where, yeah, I won, but then got absolutely plastered afterwards. Uh, apparently he got a, what's it, a thingy'd eardrum. Five stitches mm. in his head and a busted eardrum. Busted oh. eardrum. There we go. But he's not going anywhere. That's what he said. Mm. Yeah. People are like, oh, you must be going because your little brother's going elsewhere too. He's like, no, I'm not going. It's weird seeing Dustin get... I'm getting, not leaving. <laughs> it's weird seeing Dustin getting beaten up and it not lead to a feud with Cody. Yeah. That's usually yeah. part of the Cody feud. Yeah. Cody's yeah. not here. Send his brother. Mm. Yeah, who doesn't sort things out from no. not fulfilling the big brother role very well no but uh, look he's got all those lads from the Monster Factory to oh he's dead isn't he the Monster Factory I was just saying that other wouldn't they hang out with him my misremembered things wasn't just the a Nightmare Mode Factory part? yeah what's Monster Factory that's the down, it's here isn't it the Monster Factory What's the... Oh, no, that's the 80s training thing, Monster Factory. <laughs> what's yeah. the... What's the... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what was the WCW? Factory. Oh, the Power Plant, the Power Plant, the Power Plant, the Power Plant. No, that's the one from the 80s. Um, I got that job of that trained every... Oh, I'm, yeah, blew, blew it. Sorry. Was this meant to be a Texas death match? Wasn't it? Was it? I was trying to think what makes a Texas death match if this was supposed to be one of those. Is a Texas death match not a... When you're down for 10? Yeah, a traditional one. When you that. get pinned and then you're down for 10, but now I mean, does it just mean a hardcore match in Texas? I think <laughs> yeah. so. Okay. This was, I or thought a last this, man standing match. Yeah. It's another name for it, I guess. Yeah. Wikipedia reckons you get you get pinned and then there's a 10 count. You got to stay oh, last man standing, there's no pin. That's like the old match where you get pinned. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was a bit crap, really. Mm. <laughs> it, it just <laughs> was there. Yeah. yeah, it happened. At least Dustin's sticking I like Dustin, it. yeah. I like Lance Archer. Oh, yeah. Mm. I like wrestling. <laughs> I like Lamp. Uh, Fuego del Sol cuts a promo in the ring and says he's Fuego ready to fight. Fuego del Sol is the stupidest wrestler in the world. He is ready to this fight. This was a strategic mishap. The lights go down and suddenly all three House of Black members are in the ring. They beat Fuego down, but as they leave, the Dark Order come out and stare them down on the ramp. Ooh. So Fuego, just to recap, Fuego del Sol went, I'm ready to take on the House of Black. And then they appeared before him and he got battered. <laughs> yep. What are you doing? But the fake crowd at least went, wow! <laughs> that was real. That was real. That was the more fun. I like the visual of the spotlights. It was like Westlife. <laughs> <laughs> it's Brian McFadden. <laughs> Uh, Do you remember Brian McFadden said he could chin ISIS? What? Do you remember this? Yeah. He was on Twitter saying, like, ISIS better be glad I'm not over there. Yeah, I remember that one. God. Nice one, Brian. That's the, yeah. sec- the second worst thing he's ever said, that. Do you remember his, oh. his solo hit? It was just one of the lyrics in that song. He was like, I'm going to drink, uh, watch football and, uh, no, drink my English tea and watch football on TV. That was one of his lyrics. And it's always stuck with me, that, for some reason. Poetry, that. Yeah. Oh, it was wow. all about him leaving Westlife and wanting a normal life. Mm. Oh. So he wrote a song about it. He wrote a song about it. He wrote a song what about it. What was it called? Oh, it doesn't matter. Who cares? Yeah. I'm a fan. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What are we doing? Five and ten of the Dark Order lose to Ho Ho Ho. Red mm. Dragon. Red Dragon. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. 
O'Reilly and Fish beat 5 and 10 down afterwards until Jurassic Express run out for the save. However, this allows Adam Cole to steal the tag belt. Oh, <laughs> what is he like? Hey. Oof. Hey, man. Yep, it's a means to an end. Alan was good in this match. Alan? On the, Five Angels? The little skater boy that he is. Hmm. Is he a skater boy? Right. He wears he's a cap sometimes. He's got those belts with the... Like the, the studs on it. Oh, oh, oh I'm actually mm. a skater boy. That's right. Yeah. I used to. I wish they were still acceptable. I've probably still got it. So I had the checkerboard skater right, belt. Right. Loved yeah, that's it. a skater Alan, board. That just makes me a scene kid if you still wearing them. Used to wear it all the time. If well. Alan Angels can wear it, Jack the Jobber can wear one. That's I'm not I'm sure. Saying. I'm not sure. How old are Angels? It's five. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's oh, sorry, it's Got too mixed up. Um, he is a young boy of the Dark Order, and us here at Cult of Holocaust. Mm, they're the old men. Yeah. So I don't think I can. You can definitely. All right, Alan Angels is 32. Just a stab no. in the dog. No. It's got to be in his 20s. You reckon? You're 32. The Rebo signed him. <laughs> 32. Alan Angels. This is exciting. Come on, Alan. This is great podcasting. Yeah, yeah. 24. 24. Yes. I'm not wearing that checky belt. I can't. He mm. should be on that uh, 80s football, as Adrian terribly thinks. Oh. <laughs> he's he's like, got, he looks he's bad. Just, he just shaves his head. He's, he's just got, yeah, a, no, he's got a young face. I'm not shaving yet. Not saying Are bad. Just say he looks a bit older than 24. Yeah. Uh, I know it's ironic for me to say. I get that every day of my life. You look 47, Ross. Oh. Yeah. I get the opposite. So if we... Have, if a, baby, out, have a baby. Oh, yeah. If we have a baby, it'll be... It'll look the perfect age room. at all times. It will hate wrestling. <laughs> uh, Nyla Rose and Vicky Guerrero says they're going to show Thunder Rosa how dominant Nyla can be. And then Nyla squashes Maddie uh, Rinkowski. Yeah, I think so. Okay, great. Nyla Rose called us a bonehead and I like that. Old-fashioned... Mm. Words yeah. like Nitwit. Head. Yes. Yeah. Um, she doesn't need Vicky Guerrero at all anymore, so I reckon she should trade them up. Can, you, can you go away, Vicky? Yeah, Nyla doesn't need a manager. No, you're right. She can talk. Uh, I think Maddie, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but might be a trainee of Thunder Rosa, which would make sense for ah. this feud. So, yeah. It was a point, another pointless match, though, I thought, because like, unless we've got f- droves of new people watching Rampage, that did nothing to further develop Nyla Rose at all. No. It didn't no, need to happen, did it? We no. didn't learn anything new, apart from the fact... She likes to use the word bonehead. <laughs> <laughs> Got <emotional>. Bonehead. <laughs> bonehead. She likes to. Yeah. You are right. Benai Rose has a strong Twitter game, and that's what's she important really in life. She really does, yeah. Uh, QT Marshall and Aaron Solo present Hook with a certificate of accomplishment. Oh, well done, pal. He's in his 25 meters. Hook <laughs> isn't impressed and slams Solo's head into it. He leaves, but Dan Housen curses him on the ramp. Hook isn't affected and just walks past him. So Dan Housen's finished. Buried. <laughs> so massive heat. <laughs> so the the certificate of achievement thing wasn't a trap. I could I would have put so much on it being a trap. Aaron Solo tried to get him, didn't he? I thought. Well, before he hit his head and do it. Yeah, and he sort of dodged. Oh, dodged yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the okay. momentum took. So his it maybe head. it was a trap. Okay, fair yeah. enough. It was such a sports entertainment segment, though. I wasn't the best. Yeah, not pro wrestling. No. Such sports entertainment. Yeah, that's that's what we do on this bit. We need to mention, by the way, Dan Lambert, as you like to call him every time. Yeah, yeah. Um, You know how a lot of people are saying the prestige of the TNT title has gone after Sammy and Ty admitting to shagging on the thing (laughs) and getting their juices all over it? Uh, No more open challenges for the TNT title. Mm. Restoring some prestige because now people have to earn their Mm. shot. And I think that's a good move. Yeah, you always hear baby (laughs) faces. Excuse me. You're all right, Paul. Yeah. Get emotional. I am again. I'm getting choked. Just like Ross. I love those open challenges. You always see baby faces um, declaring open challenges, but you don't, you rarely see it the opposite way yeah. when heels go, no. So I like that. And it would have made more sense as well. Like, I'm not sure, like, the Scorpius <coughs> guy, Dan number Ethan Page thing works. It works great for Dan, but, like, the other ones are almost, like, secondary, which is weird. But Scorpius guy should have gone, hang on, I didn't get any. Mm. Like when it was open challenges, I didn't get a shot until after Wardlow won the second uh, the thing yeah. the second year. So why would I give Hughes one? Again, and he just went ha ha. Two wrestlers who I don't think need a manager either. No, Scorpio no. Sky and Ethan Page. But anyway, someone needs a Dan Lambert though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who is that person? Oh, Nyla Rose. No. Dan Housen. <laughs> oh, Dan Lousen. Yeah, Dan Lousy. But Dan, Lousy Dan's Dan. actually trying. <laughs> this guy, you I mean he's um. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> nothing about him. <clears throat> what do you do? <laughs> ah, I eat teeth. Just like uh, Larry Zabisco did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's right, yeah. You know, we used to eat teeth. Larry Zabisco. <laughs> Ricky Starks beat Shane Strickland to retain the FTW title with help from power, b- 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 Powerhouse Hobbs. After match, Starks' entourage bring out a banner to celebrate his victory. But Keith Lee arrives and throws one of them through it. I mean, it's 
That it's reveal, there. that reveal was, Chekhov's was banner. Was wonderful. Cool. All right. Then Keith and Strickland team up to beat up Team Taz until referees come out to separate them. Ooh. And this means uh, the time it's recording tonight, getting hot. It's not funny. Huge getting Hobbs, Hobbs versus Lee. Okay. That's going to be a good match. Yeah. Two big boys. Uh, have we seen Starks' Zondaraj before? Or were they just for the purposes of this segment? Because I was, I thought at first I was like, am I meant to know these lads? No, I, don't I think, think there we was a, I think it was just, hey, we need to hold out a banner yeah. so someone could put through it. Okay. Yeah. So I think it was all right. Fair enough. Couple of fire lines from Ricky Starks. The last house you were in, you were evicted from. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And then he did the move, didn't he? And Chris Jericho called it double chop coffin drop. And then Taz called Chris Jericho Fozzie Jones, which I like. <laughs> Fuzzy Jones over here. Fuzzy Jones over there. <laughs> I was shocked to see Swerve lose that match as well. Mm. In the way that he did. I was as well, because I I'm think... Money. Oh, sorry, I was, I was swallowing <laughs> the, my coke. I think that um, I would have probably predicted a title change, to be honest. Yeah, so would I. Yes, never mind. Yeah, I'm all right with it, because it means feud's going to continue, it's going to build up, naturally, it's all right. Hey, finally teaming up after being a bit, should we team up? Ah, uh, oh, yeah, let's team up together. I think Jim so, Lethal might join Team Taz soon. Oh, God. He cut a promo, didn't he? He kept saying, like, there's a better way. There's a, surely a, a better way. way. Yeah. yeah. Who's um, who's the wrestler in WWE that they always say is so fun to watch? Is that Ricochet? Could be Ricochet. That was true until this week. Well, Cesaro was always that one. Mm. Uh, well, Shane Strickland legitimately is so fun to watch. Mm. Yes. I know it's not news. I know it's, yeah. I mean, we've known this. It's not, nothing wrong being positive. Um, yeah. Ah, Monday Night Raw. Brock Lesnar cuts a promo to open the show. What? He says that at WrestleMania. What? Here's a Roman's titles. What? Ha <laughs> ha, that's good, because Steve Austin's going to be there. Good one, lads. You know who? He beat everybody, apart from me. Oh. Good one, Brock, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we all know why. Going to get married and have a unified baby. it didn't make business sense, okay? <laughs> yeah. Steve wasn't scared. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I like, rather like you and Jack, who can have that unified baby. Yes. Uh, the Brock and Roman title is going to do the same, and she'll have, he'll have full custody up. Well, full custody of. Yes, he will. Well, he might not, but that's what he said. Mm -hmm. For the first time in my life, I pictured Brock Lesnar as an old man during this segment. Oh, Just the way he's like, that's all right. You could play along. When they're doing the watch chance and he was in the middle of his promo. That's all right. You could play mm. along. Just but imagine him sat there in a rocking chair with a almost, straw in his mouth. I almost find Lesnar scarier when he's being friendly. Yeah. yeah. Like he's, he's such a scary man. Yeah, a guy going, I'm going to get you. You're like, whatever. Him, him going, <laughs> Yeah. That's, that's all cool. right. We need to mention as well, by the way, on Facebook last weekend, they announced a huge tag team match for this week's Raw. Uh, Becky and Charlotte against Ronda and Bianca. Oh, and what happened to it, Ross? Ronda was going, no, nah, I'm not going to be there. I can't be arsed. <laughs> I didn't say I can't be arsed, but she said she wasn't going to be there. So the, the social media team's probably been fired. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Never mind. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Brock has the dressed up as Jeff Jarrett from uh, GC Dub. <laughs> That's yeah. nice. Yeah. Uh, the Miz introduces Lucha Logan, a.k.a. Logan Paul, in Rey Mysterio's Stolen Mask from Hamlet. The greatest Lucha Dawn history. That's yeah. right, yeah. He did a, he did a cartwheel. <laughs> he was. Look, I have more respect for Lucha Logan than I do uh, Rey Mysterio after beating the, what they call it, mode, the Rey mode in I've 2K22. Not gone me. What? I've not gone back to it, mate. Have you not? No, no. I, I remember talking about it last week and going, yeah. I can't people thinking I'm bad at games, so I'll beat, beat <laughs> all of it. And you go, ooh, what's the mystery? What's the mystery thing if you unlock all of them, if you beat... You know, Eddie in 97, Eddie in 2005, and then Kane in 08 for some reason. Uh, he just fast forwards, and it's like, it's a tag match with Dominic against Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy. Oh. You're like, oh, all that? Mm. Bloody hell. Like, it's so great, I can pass, pass on my legacy to someone else. It's like, you were supposed to be passing your legacy on to Sin Cara <laughs> 10 years ago. <coughs> it's never happening, mate. Anyway. Dom's the man. This Not is yet. the one we've been waiting for. Mm, do you think he's going to turn? Turn, turn, turn. Oh, yeah. Ray says no. Then he doesn't, then he's not going to tell. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Ray and Dom attack, but Ray faces Miz in singles match, which he wins in about, what, two minutes? Yeah, he beat, he beat two time WWE champion The Miz yep. yeah. with ease. Which is who he beat to get that new championship, that one Raw. Was it? And then Cena came back and said, like, I want to beat was you. Was it Miz? And it was a complete waste. That might yep. be the heeliest thing Cena's ever done. Yep. Outrageous! It's a big list. That'd be a good one for you to do. The heeliest thing that John Cena. Yes, I think that's. Pro I think it exists. I think a few companies might have done oh, it. Whoops! No one. John Cena's heel, he most heelish moments. Talk, oh. Do a top ten videos of the top ten videos about. John yeah. Cena's <laughs> yeah. Uh, one thing, Ray earned on. his master at seventeen. By the way, 
is something I missed off on Roman was spoke earned about it. Yeah, earned his mask at 17. Mm-hmm. Which is why Dom hasn't got one because he hasn't earned it yet. And Dom's like, I like that. Dom's 37. <laughs> yeah, Dom is older than we think. <laughs> How old is yeah. Dom? Really? Well, don't 25? they say like Dom's the same age that Ray was. He wrestled Eddie at Halloween Havoc. Yeah. At some point yeah. Out. Was he? Mm. Is he? Makes up for that, yeah. Bloody hell. He's, he's like, I know, but Ray, st- dead. Ray started wrestling like, really early, didn't Almost he? 25. Okay. Yeah. Almost 25, mm-hmm. and he's still not earned that mask. He took <laughs> those lashings to the back, paying his dues to the biz. Randy Orton was world champion by this age. Yeah, Randy Orton in was those, getting suspended in those at this salmon, age. Oh, they took pee. weed off the thing, haven't they? What? Is that real or you not? They could all smoke the Jays. I don't know. I saw it on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. No, I don't want to see somebody... Doing anything on, I just want to see an actual yeah. news source. So Richard, we might doing a Google in the background and confirming if the if the wrestlers can smoke their J's. I bet the it was wrestlers... weird that it wasn't linked to an official WWE page. I'm like, yeah. come on. I bet the professional wrestlers are so relieved because surely they were following the rules up to this point and weren't smoking the J's. You were allowed to smoke a little J, yeah, weren't this, you? This would be a news thing, like all over the place right now. No, yeah, yeah. It was one tweet that didn't link to anything. Yeah, mm. come on, guys, we're better than this. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> anyway, uh, Dom steals the mask back afterwards. It's an Alexa Bliss t-shirt. Mysterious beat up Miz while Logan. It's not the Wild Arts because I couldn't find... Um... Oh, that looked so much like Alexa Bliss. Oh, God, no, don't say that. Sorry. <laughs> well, that's a good People thing. People are going to go, why are you wearing an Alexa Bliss t-shirt, man? Mm. It's because I have, I have heat with Ronda Rousey. Uh, What's wrong with that? What's wrong I with Alexa, wrong Bliss with Alexa Bliss t-shirt? Because it, it's not Alexa Bliss, though. It's Alexa the Fiend mm. Bliss. I'm like, oh, no, please. I used to have an Alexa Bliss t-shirt. Which but, one? What would you wear? I don't know. The, 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 the goddess era. Oh, nice. Okay. And then I realised how pathetic I looked in it. <laughs> so I got rid of it. It's not right for a fat fella to be wearing a woman's t-shirt. For a, a, lady, a lady wrestler. You should have got a man's size. <laughs> 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 it's it WrestleMania wrong, week. Wrong vibes, isn't it? Yeah. Terrible. We see what happened earlier today when Seth Rollins met with Vince at Titan Tower. Oh, my. No, I know. I know. This I was know. Oh. a slap in the face, this. Mm. Do you want to say it? Well, basically, right, he goes to the Titan Towers and sees Vince McMahon and says, oh, I need you around WrestleMania. You're going to fire me? Yeah, you know, fire. Before that, before that, he goes, Ha! Ah, secretary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an appointment. Ah! And then he's like, yeah, he's in. Ah! Yeah, like, he... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what happened to this man? He's on MD. <laughs> okay, Seth, we want this to look real, you know. Oh, God. Like, we're looking for, you know, neorealism, <laughs> circa Italy in the 50s. All right, okay. <laughs> I'm an appointment. He, he, right, what is this? He reacts to literally everything and he's touching everything. He's like, ah. He's like, it's like a blind man. Ah! That's not blind, that's cocaine. He's on his He's the burgers. Oh, he's so, in the fairy up, wall. Let's put up a poll. What drug is Seth Rollins on? <laughs> is it A, uh, cocaine? <laughs> is it B? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Uh, top all of them is coke. So, yeah. And then he gets in, and first of all, it's okay, it's a meeting with Vincent Mann, and it's just like the Austin Theory bit. It's a four-camera setup. Yeah. Just sitting down and talking. Yeah, yeah but this was scheduled, though. We're going to accept that. It's what? It was, it was a scheduled meeting. Of course, they're going to have some sort of camera work there. Yeah, but, but this is a big WrestleMania moment. This is, we've been waiting uh, a month now, a month for Seth Rollins to confirm his road right. to WrestleMania. And the way he could have done it was just by asking Vince. <laughs> now, as, a, yeah. as someone, who, you know, we watch Raw every single week we do around this table. And we have been along for the ride with Seth Rollins. We've been in there, in the trenches with him. Devastated for him. He's not going to WrestleMania. And then to learn... <laughs> All he could have, all he should have done was ask Vince. Pathetic. They don't know how to tell stories anymore. <coughs> they don't. They don't. It just disregarded everything. Especially when Vince is involved. Yeah. Why does Vince not sell anything anymore? Why is he always so unimpressed? Because he can't. He's he's can't. He's just, <laughs> that's, that's as much as he can do these days. He's like, that's why Seth's Guess doing all this because he's actually oh, puppeteering Seth Vince a, at the same time. Seth had to carry this. He was he was trying so hard. Bless him. Uh, they've they've done this with so many WrestleMania storylines now. Vince is always involved in at least one, and it always is worse off for it. The Becky one, where she had to apologize. The Kofi one, where one. he kept taking him out of the match for no reason. Charlotte Flair. Yeah, putting Charlotte in the match. You've got the... the Shane pa- Vince for the the thing in the box. The lock box. Mm-hmm. And then he, and well, that was all right until anyway. after WrestleMania. Yeah. When <laughs> Shane lost the match, but got control of Raw anyway, and we didn't find out what was in the lockbox. We're box. telling stories, the, kids. Yeah. The other one is uh, this year, and it's not as damaging as the other ones, but Pat McAfee had to apologize. Why do they always have to apologize when someone gets a head of steam behind them? <sighs> I, I don't know, but this 
this was like everything I disliked about the modern product in one bit. I'm trying to be positive, but like those other bits in the show and WrestleMania will be good. There will be good bits, but this was just like I, d- I hate Seth. I hate the editing. Oh. I hate Vince. Oh, 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 oh. I hate myself for watching I like this. Seth. Seth was what? good. No, this version. Ah, I yeah. laugh. Yeah, he's a heel. Hey, what? And he wears weird things. He's not. He's a face. He's basically he's not. He's oh. a face. Every he's, time he comes out, he's, ah, he's, like, do you I when, can relate to that. I'm an idiot too. Yeah. No. <laughs> do you remember when MSK went on that spiritual journey and it was Riddle at the end of it? He was oh. their spiritual leader. Yeah. If if Jack at time did that, they'd find Seth at the end of their rainbow. Yes. Because he laughs and he wears weird clothes. Yeah. I would love to actually. I want to see that Seth and Jack at time as a three. I thought it was a fascinating insight as to how Seth Rollins, sorry, Seth freaking Rollins, lives his life day to day. <laughs> and Becky gets annoyed. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. See, when I said all those things about why oh, they don't feel like a couple, it's just because Seth just can't emote. <laughs> What's your beef with the man, Seth Rollins? But why is he the man? Why yeah, do you well, like him so hang much? On, I feel a bit. I felt bad for them during that because imagine being with your significant other in front of the world and being told they've got no chemistry. Them. Oh, be awkward as hell. You wouldn't want to do it, would you? I can mm. sympathise with them for that story. All right, fair enough. Then but, what was the excuse for this? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I can't think. I've got no answer for you. Okay, I've got no we'll, answer we'll, we'll move on. This then. was a piss take. Yeah, a slap in the piss. Yeah, I, I hate it when I get slapped in the piss. Aye. Don't worry, though, the next segment will redeem oh it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Almost. It was a bad week of wrestling, lads. It was Almost. A bad week. That's what I'm saying, but it might be a good WrestleMania. Yeah. Um, Almost faces Eric of the Viking Raiders. Mm. They're obviously taking time off their busy schedule from looking like idiots on SmackDown, looking <laughs> like idiots on Raw. Immediately beats him by count off after knocking out the ring of a clothesline. So was this... This was planned, I think. Do you think yeah, it, was it was planned, but then people like, it was so bad and so quick and so sudden that they were like, maybe he was injured, but oh, they would have announced it no, probably. They they so they're trying to like, ooh. I was giving it the Will Smith and um, Chris Rock thing. I was like, it worked me. I don't know. I don't know which way. I just think they've got no stock in the Viking Raiders at all, yeah. even though they really should uh, do. Or almost, uh, uh, if he has one move. <laughs> and that's that. No, he, he kicked uh, Aziz in the face last week. He's got at least two. He kicked Ivar in the face when he tried to get in the ring. Yeah, well, yeah, there you yeah. go. Oh, sorry. Got two, kick. that and that. Yeah. Sorry, he's Jim like, Cornet. He's like, <laughs> he's like um, you know the game Quop, where you've got to make the guy oh, run down yes. the thing. <laughs> that's exactly what he is. I feel bad. I'm going to try to successfully attack. But, and then uh, I feel almost so goes, bad. It can't be easy what am I going to do at WrestleMania? Dominate! And they have to wait. Oh, Bobby Lashley, he dominates as well. And knocked, he knocked him down. He got the Bobby Lashley pop. He did. Want to say. He did. <laughs> yeah. He knocks Bobby. almost off his feet, kind of. And then he points at the sign. And I Not don't know what that kind means. of, Matthew. That was the WrestleMania moment there yeah. on Raw. Yeah. He got him off his feet yeah, for the first time. Yeah, after they big enough, he's going to be knocked off his feet. I'm like, that can't <laughs> be right, can it? later, boing. So like, what, all right, well, great. So what now? I who, think it's Bobby doing who wins? A, a Hogan slam. Do you think? I think that's why Bobby will Can, he, can yeah. he do that without almost his head like touching the floor? That's what I Jim yeah. when AJ would give the Stars Clash to Cena and his head would be on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like... Ooh. Bobby can because he's big. I still no, think he's almost a win though. Hmm? You think almost a win? Do I think no? I can't call this one. Almost is I think almost is the heavy favourite, but I can't see Bobby winning. I don't no, I, I think they realise they need to take a step back with almost. I and... think this is a bad match. Because I don't think either one should lose at this point. But Lashley's come yeah. back from injury and has just lost the belt. And almost mm. is to the moon. You know what? It, you're right. It is a weird match for them to do. Yeah. But I still think Lashley's gonna win. Okay. Because almost can barely wrestle. Oh. So Oh, that's so harsh. Imagine being... Sorry, I thought one match clothesline. Right, there Imagine we go. being that tall. It can't be easy. I know. Oh, poor him. I'm 5'7". You can go to hell. I'd, I'd rather be 5'7 than 7'1". All right, no, I'll, I'll, tra- I'll trade you, Jack. Our <laughs> world is not built for him. Imagine him sit, sat at this table right now. He wouldn't be able to get his legs under. Because his feet's too big. <laughs> <laughs> You're a piece of S-H-I-T, you. <laughs> I'm not. I'm a lovely laughing human being. at people being. for looking old. Laughing at Omos for being too tall. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm laughing for bad at wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> It's been good tall wrestlers. <laughs> Crash Holly. Do you remember when you once... But they can't sit on an airplane comfortably. <laughs> was, oh, that's what I was been thinking about. He's stinking up my precious time watching this bloody wrestling show. While we're on the concept... Oh, well, while we're I on... hate you, but... Oh, it must be so bad having a custom-designed shirt. Ooh. While we're on the, the topic Why? of Matthew lobbing zingers about, you once... It was like... what? It, it wasn't a zinger because it kind of... It was about me getting recognised in Rise Bigs. You said I start a flash mob every time I walk down Grey Street, and I found it really funny. You, you said what? You said you once oh, said I start a flash, flash mob when I walk down Grey Street. Oh. And um, Jack Atkins did a similar one the other day. Did he? Uh, I'd put on the song "Where Them Girls At" by Flo Rida, and he said, "This is what Jack says to the taxi driver and I." And I thought, <laughs> <laughs> 
was like, we've seen you in your in your what's the word I'm looking for here? Your natural habitat. Oh, just dancing surrounded away. by no, no, no. People going, my God, it's Jack. No, no, no. <laughs> dancing away. God, that's, I, that's I hope they of... play a song that I know and Jack knows. We can sing and dance it together. Oh, stop it, man. This is this is declined year on year. To be fair. Oh, he did another one today. He pulled uh, Aiden's pants down in the office upstairs Jack today. Yeah, Jack Atkins is his. literally um, <laughs> the metaphorical. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Naked in the office. Bloody hell. Uh, he's we well, had a green light on in the office upstairs, and All Aiden right. was like, "Oh, I don't really like this." Oh, Aiden. Aye. Then what well, about? I think it was Fraser. Like, oh, this would be a great wrestling entrance theme. It'd be wonderful to come down the ramp to this one. Billy Connolly. Then. And Aiden was like, <laughs> yeah. oh, hey. Aiden was like, no, it wouldn't be. It's not very good. And then Jack Adams goes, "Aye, that's because you come down the ramp to Vera Lynn. We will meet again." <laughs> The silly old man wow. with his wow. he's, <laughs> he's had that bullet in the chamber for a while, clearly. He just goes, I've peeked there. That's enough oh from me. He's got God. Yeah. No, I can imagine Aiden walking out the like, <laughs> That's why he's still in the charts. God. I love how the bit, the, the, we, we take a break sometimes for the wrestling boring us for you to rant about people you work with. No, that was a good one. That was a good it's one. Not, uh, it, it's, uh, you know what? It's because of that bloody lockdown. Of course it is. You, mi- you don't realise how much you miss the office camaraderie. The yeah. banter. Until it comes back and it's it's very nice, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah. we're so lonely. We're missing the people that annoyed us yeah. during lockdown. But it's so. not even annoyance, is it? We're all friends. Oh, no one annoys me in the office, but there's a lot of zingers being locked Ooh. up. <laughs> it's just playful banter. Of course, of course. If you're going to be dumb, you're going to be tough. Just prisoners of banter ban. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. You need to go to Guantanamo Bay for that, Joe. I am the Archbishop of Banterbury. Yeah, very good. Backstage, Banterman. backstage. Reggie proposes to actually go back to oh band, go back to band of puns. Uh, proposes to Dana Brooke, and she says yes. Uh, they turn off to avoid an attack by Akira Dozawa. Oh, run and off, sorry, I say sorry. They run away. Yeah, run off. Dozawa then proposes to Tamina, who also says yes. Our truth watches on and says he has an idea. Well, your they, da- they danced away like it was Beauty and the Beast or something. You know, one of those scenes where they're in the big. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and as we were watching it, Ross went, "Wrestling is great." Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's good that Tamina is no longer leading on to Zawa because that was getting a bit too much. But uh, it, you know, love acts in mysterious ways, mm. and I would say it's too <laughs> soon for Dana and Reggie and Akira and Tamina. I was going to say, but Akira and Tamina, <laughs> <laughs> they for each other. But who knows where that is? Are we going to have ceremonies at WrestleMania? Oh, yes. Two-hour kickoff one show. One wedding on night one, one yeah. wedding on night two. That's two hours of the kickoff show there. I wonder yeah. what our truth plan is. Is he going to propose to someone? Well, because he said he's got a plan. Yeah. And he was watching from binoculars, like yeah. five feet away. Mr. Steel, yo, girl. Ron. Oh, Jack. Ron. <laughs> Trey Songz. <laughs> oh. no, it doesn't matter. Our truth Yeah. Give me the green light. Roman Reigns cuts a promo about Lesnar beating him at WrestleMania 34 and says that his family didn't want him to wrestle anymore. But now, is he rhyming? But now he's turned the tables and become the longest reigning champion in 35 years. That people pay attention to this because obviously everyone's yeah, probably out his, his reign, this one reign is longer than Brock Lesnar's yes. unending reign yet a few yes. years ago. And Who says he'll take Brock's out Sunday. Was that Hulk Hogan then? It was, he's the fourth, isn't he? It's Hogan, Bruno, mm. and... Be Bob. Bob. That six-year reign. The Builder. Oh, the more Bob. I watch a Bob Backlund, by the way, the more I struggle to imagine what those six years must have been like. Because <laughs> you go, Backlund, he's so amazing, technical wrestler, and you watch all his matches and go, oof. Well, he's a ba- Matthew he's- shoots on Bob Backlund. He was a baby yeah. face, wasn't he? For he's that? 76, I wouldn't dare. <laughs> was he a baby face for that reign? Yeah. 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 He was like the original Cena, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, he but, was like, people didn't really like him. But. Yeah, Bruno said in his interview with Kayfabe that because attendance went down, that was when do we have started stacking their shows and have like Andre and Snooker and whatever also filling up and not just having like because he used to be apparently used to be Bruno's here. All right, cool, buying tickets. But oh, I was like, Bob. Mm. So <laughs> anyway, that's going. Bruno, Bruno said this. Bruno said Bruno this. like the Kevin Nash of his day in the shooting interview. It was lovely to everybody and affectionate to everybody, but he hated Buddy Rogers. It was so great. <laughs> Oh, so great, the, the the Billy Graham and everything. Oh, that Buddy Rogers. <laughs> so one guy he reserved all his hate for. That's reminded me of Steiner's promo where he just, for no reason, just starts having to go at Ric Flair, saying he stole Buddy Rogers. Oh, remember Bruno on Nitro came out. <laughs> <laughs> but you, Buddy Rogers, no one watched you. They all turned over the NWA and watched Harley Race instead. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, the team of Sasha Banks, Naomi, Liv Morgan, and Rhea Ripley beat Natalia, Shayna Baszler, Carmella, and Queen Zelina in an eight-woman tag match. Rhea gets a pinfall on Zelina. Apparently, as they're running the back afterwards, uh, Liv got stuck in Rhea's trousers. That's oh, right. really? On Rhea's trousers, not in. Getting I think dragged she along. Said in. I missed this. Then they went. They did like 
the you know, they run in towards him, right. grabbed him, went the back. Apparently, he had to be pulled out because he got stuck in. Uh, that reminds me of. Uh... This should be good. Oh, Jack's having a thing. <laughs> the, t- the angel and devil on the shoulder going, nah, man. You know, s- it. You know sometimes years later, you think of something embarrassing that happened at school. Yeah. Um, so mine, mine, my default one for that, and it's not too bad in the grand scheme of things, but I was walking, it was like, you know, in between lessons when the corridors are just rammed. Mm-hmm. And I was walking along and I think a lad from the year below walked past me with like his gym bag, like a sport, he must have had PE because he had like his big sports bag. And it, it had like a padlock on it. Like for, he must have just put his locker padlock on the side of his bag for some reason, but it was open. And it somehow, or it closed around my belt loop. And I was just getting dragged. And he was he was younger than me, but he was a bigger lad. And I was getting dragged down the corridor by the crotch. <laughs> and I was just like, what are you doing? And he thought it was me being at like, like bullying him. He's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, no, it's not my fault. And then one of my teachers helped us and laughed at me. I was. You must have looked like when a, I was the Liv Morgan of the situation. Yeah, you must have looked like when a cat it uh, gets its young and and like walks away out of danger. <laughs> yeah. But the cat in this instance is a kid a year, a year lower than you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that memory, Jack. That's all right. I'm I'm I have a certain kinship there with Liv Morgan for that. <laughs> Feel bad for her. Oh, where we at? Kevin Owens cuts a promo on Steve Austin, saying that he won't be face to face with Stone Cold Steve Austin. It'll just be Steve, the podcast host who's been drinking himself in oblivion for 19 years. He comes no, say he 19 years, 19 <laughs> years. He's like, yeah, he's never been appeared since. Owen says that he'll accept the passing of the torch from Austin, but if he tries to get funny, there'll be a stunner with his name on it. Crowd was really into this. Yeah. He also said there'll be a KO show in the main event of the Saturday night bit of WrestleMania. Mm. I hoped he meant, like, hypothetically. But I still think it'll be a match. This Rich, Rich Eisen podcast has made me believe and I hope it's making you believe too. I think there'll be a match. Because why would they... If they put it in the main event slot and it's not a match, that's a letdown, surely. They yeah, can't, probably. They can't be banking on a single stunner, send no. the crowd home happy, Austin no. poses. No. That can't be the end of no, WrestleMania. Surely not. Of course it is. No, what no, what no, else no, is going no, to happen? A five-minute think... match. Yeah. Five minutes. Seven-minute match. What if it's a 22-minute classic? <laughs> What if it's a Broadway, Austin, a 60 minute? Austin hits a Texas Destroyer. <laughs> oh. No, no. Well, it's going to be like every other bloody Austin appearance in the last 19 years. This is a main event of WrestleMania. This isn't just Raw at the start. Yeah. This is at the end at WrestleMania. Yeah, with a knackered bloke with straw for a neck. He wasn't done anything for year, decades. Would He's you, been trained. Would you be satisfied? Did he what? Wrestling. That podcast hand. He believes. I believe. In what? Angels. <laughs> do you, do you, Fair would you take a 10-minute elongated squash of Kevin Owens? I wouldn't have any match or any segment or any 10-minute oh, whatever okay, okay. because this whole thing comes down to Austin looking good over Owens, Aye. and I'm sick of it. I am sick of only, only in WWE would they be using the fossil fuel to help the dinosaurs look good. It, uh... <laughs> it should be the other way around. <laughs> the only reason they should be doing this segment is by having Austin make Kevin Owens look good because Austin will be mm. teary-eyed, by God, I've missed you, on Raw, and then he'll sod off to do podcast, and then Kevin Owens will be back there with nothing but his thumb up his bum. And the I'm rest not, of the month's I'm going, not, well, I look good against Austin. I'm not blaming, no, Austin. Won't. Not blaming Austin for this, for taking the paycheck, but it's yeah, WWE's blame. philosophy that's at fault. Yeah. yeah. I reckon it'll be a 10-minute barn burner where Austin will get plenty of offense in, but a stunner from Kevin Owens will get Kevin Owens the win. And signify a no, 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 you don't no. think this. You're then, just being argumentative. Yeah, Kevin then, Owens will beat Steve Austin. And then signify the passing of the torch or the stunner in this case no. to make it rightfully Kevin Owens's. It's been his for years. Listen, you're just saying, look, listen, in action, Bronson. Listen, <laughs> in action, Bronson. I am, you know that's not going to happen. I am so convinced. I'm going to do a Sam Driver. But no, oh, here we not go. a Sam Driver because yes. a Sam Driver did not. You speaking need of, to put some in action. Line. No, I'm not going to eat a hat because that's just silly. What are supposed, you going to do? You're supposed to eat hats. Come on, Matthew, what are you going to do? One of those, on the the, uh, nine-hour podcast we're doing next week, (laughs) I'll start off, get out of the way. If anything other than, let's see, yeah, if Kevin Owens, uh, sorry, I'll say that again in English. I think Steve Austin will just beat Kevin and look good and uh, stand up, whatever. Even if it's a match or a KO show, anything. Austin will come out on top. Yeah, anything that, that will happen. If Kevin Owens gets the pin, I will eat one of those bastard hot peppers because I hate them. Uh, you, you can even choose it if you'd like. We'll look oh, no, don't let us choose it. Oh, well, we'll get on the company card. Okay, then. 
We'll make sure. Well, get them I'm, ready. Amazon's best. Actually, don't get it ready. Get it's just not going to happen. I get a bit funny when like hot sauce and that's around. I get full of bravado. I don't want to be here for that. I don't I, I'm telling you right now. Do you remember I, I was I'm trying to be gone. so solid on the video me and you did? <laughs> and it didn't work because it was too hot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll tell you now, I'm not good with spice. If I go, I'm an Indian, I'll order a korma. So nice, you order one of these peppers, nice, this will be nice. this will be you going, ha ha, and people hopefully so enjoy me being in pain. Is that only if it's a match or is that just if, if Owens is on top? If Owens comes out yeah. on top. Yeah. So if there's a match, you'll eat a hot chip. It, if no, there's no, a match no, no, no. and Austin if, wins. I mean, what, sorry. I think Steve Austin win. is just going to. No, I'm not going to. No, 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 this has to be no, fair. No, I'm the independent. No, stop it. I'm the independent adjudicator. I'm not going to. No funny business right now. The Sam Driver conventions must be a I need to do that laptop restaurant thing. Oh, exactly. I have to. Well, I will do this then. It's because uh, we'll to, to, to bring back the reputation we'll of the ones for a go for Indians. With me and my laptop. With we'll bell, bell peppers. <laughs> oh, no, hot, they do it though. In a vindaloo. We'll loudly a vindaloo from the, in, from the. What? The Italian? You'll be. No, no the Indians. 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 I was going to say. What? what? He's going to Italian. Oh, that was like combine the two punish oh, combine the two punish. Yeah. That's not going to work. Why? For me, brother. Hello, hello, Luigi. Can I have a vindaloo? <laughs> It doesn't have to be a pizza place, Rim. It's just him sat at a table by himself, isn't it, in a restaurant? Oh, a few, and there's really weird restaurants that does Indian food had, and Italian. A few months ago, I had a curry pizza. It I felt awful. It, I, felt, I was nearly sick. Um, it was bad. Bad crap. Yeah, I don't trust those places that like, yeah, we a do we do whatever food pizza. you want. I might know. I want you to do one food. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> mate. Yeah. Anyway. So that's it. So that's that's all. That's some hype for next week. Uh, Austin Theory beats Ricochet in an untitled match. You bum, Ricochet. <laughs> <laughs> I know what... There was a nice setup for the ATL finisher, A Town Down. Peace up. Yeah. A Town Down. Fantastic. Austin Theory. Ricochet's push disappeared like Jay Lethal allegations. Oh, that was a bit out of the blue, to be honest. <laughs> We're not even Sorry. on AEW anymore. Roll. <laughs> um, what's going on? Yeah, what's going on with Ricochet? What's going on? The raw, it's raucous out there. I don't know if they can hear this. I can't think. Well, I can't hear I myself. I can't think, think. straight because <laughs> they're having too much fun out there. By the way, Tom, Tom Campbell, Campbell is still commentary. doing Cultomania, and it must be a riot because all we can hear is them laughing. Um, but we're here to have more fun by speaking about Ricochet's depushed push, aren't we? Yeah, that's why fun. actually has this happened. No, it's just because he's not as important as the other people. But like it's, the it's a bit theory. extreme, though. I reckon like the um, lads on SmackDown. Those reports of him being the second top babyface on SmackDown are a load of crap. Yeah, were never true. He was only briefly, and then yeah. And the IC title means nothing. Yeah. So you take away that second biggest baby face thing, he's just the <clears throat> IC champion. Do you think it'll mean more once the top belts are unified once no. again? No. Okay. I mean, yes, I not it? When was the last <coughs> time it meant something? The Miz 2018? What, the IC title? Yeah, I'd say that. Yeah. 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 Four years, that. Yeah. Four years. When Reigns and Jericho were getting at it? Maybe. Maybe. Was before that, wasn't it? No. Uh, roughly the same, yeah. Same oh, yeah, because yeah. he beat Miz for it. That's right. Yeah. Uh, didn't Miz beat Reigns? Only beat Jarek. No, they beat Reigns. It was I the, the classic uh, MSG. Oh, the heat. The yeah. heat. The bloody Reigns heat. That, that little man got. That, that, was oh. the, that was the best part of that um, yeah. whole thing. Was Miz driving across New York and arriving. Yeah. That's right. It was class. I forgot about that. Miz is good. I like Miz. I like Miz. Good, good man. Yeah. Uh, Branca Belair cuts a promo on Becky Lynch, who interrupts with a pair of scissors. Shades of uh, not in the Hall of Fame this year, Sid Vicious, to cut Belair's <laughs> hair. Instead, Belair hits the KOD and cuts off some of Becky's hair, who freaks out when she realizes backstage Becky says that Belair, you know what she says, because it's the same word that all the women in wrestling call it one another You're one a point. Bitch. <gasps> That's right. Demonetized. <laughs> um, this told me that the injury thing last week was legit, because this was the segment that would have happened. They just pretend there was no gap in the middle, mm. didn't they? With the, the, I'll get your hair. And then there we were next, this week yeah. getting the hair. This made me worry that Becky's going to cut off Bianca's hair at WrestleMania. Ooh. And after the, the Oscars, when black people's hair became a talking point because of the whole issue around it and the whole Chris Rock joke and everything. I'm a bit worried if that happens, like, what's the response going to be? Do you know what I mean? A white woman cutting off a black woman's hair. Mm. So I hope Becky just tries to win the match instead. Mm. Yeah. Maybe I'm think maybe I'm worrying too much. Hmm. I never thought of that, to be honest. Did you? I t- hadn't thought about that either. Maybe I'm overthinking. You with hey, your media degree fine. may see, see things differently. Maybe maybe like the glasses. My media degree. They live. Excuse me. I'm trying to help you out here, Jack. English you should liter- be quiet. English literature degree. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, Drew McIntyre. Oh, oh we're moving on, are we? Why not? Can this be about Becky Lynch's new hair? That looks good, doesn't it? It looks sick. I thought her old hair looked sicker. Okay. Right. Okay. I thought her old hair was luxurious. Hmm. I don't know why she had to change it. But she's got the Amazonian thing, she had up. Huh? Oh, she like, looks like a skater. Like oh, she, of course, that's why you like, like it. It's like Hayley P- 
Paramore Jones over there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I forgot her name there. Haley. Haley. Williams. It? Haley Williams. That's mm. the one. Mm. Paramore Jones. <laughs> Drew McIntyre faces Happy Corbin and Madcap Moss. Now, how did that match? But... Why, before the match with just one of them, is he having a match with both of them? Because Madcap Moss. Is not even a real boy. <laughs> That's what that means. Yeah, he, he was the handicap in this match. Uh, but Corbin <laughs> abandons Moss, who was easily beaten. Corbin returns the ring and blindsides Drew before seeing, stealing his bloody sword again. Yeah, but you see what happened uh, there, Matthew. Drew never ever uses that sword on anything apart from yeah. going, yeah, at the start of his entrance. So it's really crucial that <laughs> someone else has it because he can't go, yeah, oh. You forget what to do at the start of his entrance. I've got some sort of botchamania random for you, Matthew. Oh, goody. Just try and incorporate... You're going to have to do the work. I've just got the outline. But do you know the bit in Aladdin where it's like, he's got a sword, you idiot. We've all got swords. And they all put that oh, with Drew Oh, that's there good. Go. Yeah. Thank you, Jack. That's all right, just pitching ideas. Oh, you know. I will get you a meal deal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, this is another sign that they're going to break up, though. Mad Cap and Happy. Oh, what, what was what, the joke backstage? It was, uh, what are you going to say after you take a Claymore at WrestleMania? It kilt. Oh. Corbin did not. He did not look happy. Maybe. Unhappy Corbin. Yeah. A I new think gimmick. Should, I think he should have reacted like um, Charlie Nichols on Soccer AM. <laughs> well, maybe you should. <laughs> you got belly to bellies and you nearly <laughs> broke your neck. So I think it should be like that. Oh. You should go to Spec Savers. Yeah. This, uh, it's. It, <laughs> Some that clip was good. Symptomatic when you have that many people involved in that many matches at WrestleMania and you have a build to get to WrestleMania. Yet maybe in a. Well, yeah, you are just going to have all the same people involved in the build as the match because there's that many matches. Is, does that make sense? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's, it seems also like. <laughs> oh, God, I was I can just hear Tom shouting Tom. in the background. The, um, the lack of roster depth because she's like, all right, have some jobbers here. And you're like, we haven't got any. Yeah. Like, oh, all right, well, I guess you guys are losing then. But I have a match on WrestleMania. Oh, well. If only they had a bit of a bigger roster, you know? Uh, <laughs> they've reaped, now they're sowing. Edge cuts a promo in a dark room next to a set of scales. He says that WrestleMania is AJ Coke? Styles' judgment day, <laughs> and his fate is already sealed no, because he, day, he was on the front cover of the judgment day pay per view uh, poster. Uh, yeah. This was like 2015 Bray Wyatt for me. Too cryptic. Just Ooh. words, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. Woo! Edge loves metaphors and imagery. So, a big film buff. <laughs> I've also seen Lost in Translation, but I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Do you, uh, Matthew? <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right with it because I think he was needing a change because it, it the you know it was run out of steam of hey guys it's Edge it's like yeah you've you've done that for a year now yeah. so he's back to. to oh, back to changing his ways and being all evil got a new theme because he went I'm not having some of that rubbish crap you're giving everybody else uh, so he had Alter Bridge making a new song imagine Edge coming out do, 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 do. yeah I'm Edge I'm panic so much <laughs> Titan just says I've the word then. Edge I don't know what I've done oh. that was good I like that joke there I'm is a little bit of my that, edge. Hmm? It, the new sting at the start is like you think you knew me or was it you think you know me, but you don't? You know. Yeah. You don't yeah. know. You, you don't know nothing. Yeah. <laughs> nobody tell me nothing. No one knows nobody, nobody. what it's like to be the <laughs> edge man. And the song kicks in. Nobody does it better. You should come out of that. Oh. You should come out of the spy you love me. <laughs> I wasn't looking. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The two sets of men's tag team champions. By the way, I watched the UWF, Herb Abrams UWF show. Mm. And they've got uh, Ivan Koloff coming to the ring. And he's got the James Bond theme, like, do, 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 right, do, do. Okay. And you're like, oh, clearly Herb requested the theme from Russia with love. <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't understand what they meant. <laughs> mm, nice. Anyway, uh, the two sets of men's tag champions face each other in a non title main event. Street Profits interrupt and attack RK Bro of the DQ, while Boogs Nakamura brawl the Usos. SmackDown teams fight the back, leave Not Riddle to hit a pair of RKOs on the Street Profits. I am looking forward to this. So, oh. in the main two, but like, Bit negative about the other show. I'm really looking forward to the Raw tag team title well, match. We'll find out how much you're looking forward to it at the end of the show. Yes, we will. The Street Profits <laughs> trajectory. <laughs> you look there at the camera. <laughs> Thank you, and or deck. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the show show. <laughs> I, the, the Street Profits are weird at the minute. You think? There's not been an official heel turn, but now it's 
been three or four times where they've been the sort of de facto heels of yeah. the no, 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 yeah, I kind of agree with you. They got a bit of an edge to them, but they're not like, like, yay, we lost. Like, no, nah, um, we it, did beat you, you guys know. clean before that great three-way. Well, I think that's more happy accident than you're reading into it. I don't think that's by design. I think it's just... So they've, been the party, they've been the party poopers, Matthew. They used to start the party. Glasses in the air. Now they put the glasses down and they want to fight their mm. heels. Kind of. No, uh, no yeah. they, want, <laughs> they want the smoke and then they want the tight titles. They can have the smoke now. All the Jays. <laughs> it's a that's not true. That was one <laughs> one guy. To, oh, I, I tell you, a lot of wrestling fans deserve to be lied to. Oh, wow. Is everything Okay. I've been fine. Okay. You've been calling people idiots at I home, think, laughing I think along with Seth Rollins. I'm calling people idiots. I'm very sorry. Yeah. I think it's. I think it's just. I've noticed. Matthews. But you shouldn't fall for. You got to tr trust. You trusted news sources, like for example, Cultaholic. Oh yes, I've got a news source though. We well, don't we're a news aggregate. It's um, very um, aggregate. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. But, then it's, but then that's good though because we, we you wouldn't trust any old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You filtered through these dodgy news sources and put them up. You shouldn't just trust somebody. Shout out to Aiden Gibbons and the team. There you go. We're helping people they're not get... dead, uh, they're upstairs. We're helping people... <laughs> Stop it. Oh, God. We're helping people get better. <coughs> We're all about the, the improvement. Yes. Yeah. NXT 2. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Come on! See, this is your bit now to be like me. Here we go. Imperium beat MSK. What, uh, no, hang on. I love NXT 2.0. I don't roll my eyes at anything. This is my favorite part of the podcast. <laughs> No matter what happens, they do something <laughs> Ross weird. Ross got so excited he swore <laughs> about NXT 2.0. They do something weird and we have a laugh about it. And that's what You're wrestling's right. about. Yes. You're right. It's when you turn the Andy Kaufman. I can't remember where the joke begins and ends. <laughs> Imperium beat MSK and LA Knight in a six-man tag, during which Gunther and Knight brawl to the back. The Kree brothers come out afterwards to stare down the tag champs. Mm. Two two big things to take from this match. First and foremost, LA Knight getting the sympathetic babyface booking because he's that popular and he's the only one people care about in the arena. They're um they're apparently struggling to sell tickets for Stan and Deliver. Business was down with Kevin Nash, Diesel, Shawn Michaels, mm. name them all. Ah, ah. Business was down there. You then. knew I was going to bring this up. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all in the Hall of Fame now. Yeah, yeah 20 years time, we'll be there. Hall of Fame. For that, bit, that, right. that bit of the match. <laughs> Sorry, you can, what was your other thing? Sorry. He's got his own version of the people's elbow. Did you see it? It's carrying on now. Yeah. It's catching on, sorry. Yeah. I ever like that oh. other wrestler. That oh, Who was it that did the people's Dwayne, elbow? Dwayne, The Rock Johnson. That's right. That's now, right. I've got to say, <laughs> this people's elbow, or LA elbow, or whatever, was just further proof to me that it's a bit, there's a bit of smoke and mirrors going on with these reactions. <laughs> oh, Cody Rhodes confirmed that, Steve. <laughs> because. Oh, that would be the funniest outcome, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Ron Breaker wins. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Cody and NXT. Cody and the extension. Terror. Uh, the extension. The ascension. <laughs> the extension. <laughs> We are the <laughs> next. <laughs> Just makes them sound like the blokes who like put your mum's conservatory. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jack. Thanks. I had to fight that one. Oh right. Anyway, um, oh, I've got a bit lightheaded. What are you talking about? Oh yeah. So where else are you talking about? So, um, I the early night. The confidence. He licks his hand. He licks his finger. He licks his hand. <laughs> 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 he licks his finger. <laughs> And then, it, and then he's so confident that they're going to... The whole vibe I get from uh, him is, I know they're going to shout my thing. He goes, uh, L, A. And even before he... Bar night's barely happening. He's off towards the ropes. He's like, night. I don't need to stick around and make sure they're going to say it. Of course they are. Is this the first time he's done it on TV? Yeah. How did he know they were going to do that? Because he does that all the time. Yeah. This is the first time the elbow was happening. Do they always shout LA night when he does... Yeah, they do. Yeah. He gets yeah, on the ropes, didn't he, to start? Yeah, man, he does the... Uh, okay. How good is it going to be if they do the NXT stand deliver the real show, real people? And it's just nothing. He is going to get obliterated, right? <laughs> but it's fine. Do you think he is? The bigger picture here is. Do you think he's going to uh, Andre gonna slam him? He, no. Okay. He's going to get twatted. Really? Yeah. I'm yeah, not yeah. sure. Oh, I think Gunther's going to get the the lion's share of the crowd response. Because it's just the sports bit of sports entertainment, <laughs> <laughs> and Gunther is good at the sports bit. If I was. If I was doing a predictions on this, I'd probably go for Gunter as the safe pick, but it's not the one I'd feel safest in. I think there's a chance because they're clearly really behind LA Knight. Raw comes around though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait, me for Monday. What a night that's going to be. Hey, no. Yeah. 
LA Night Raw. Yeah, I was about to say, say uh, yeah, LA Night Raw. It's gonna be Raw. like Jericho's debut. Yeah. Welcome to Oh. Oh, Austin's in the ring cutting a promo. The millennial clock <laughs> starts <laughs> counting down. Because he's a spry 39-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was one of the top comments oh. on Reddit. There was a, yeah. there was that thing you sh you found it on Squared Circle. Oh, I, someone else yeah. has said because it wasn't me or Matthew. It wasn't me either. Saying this, oh, this Ellie Knight fella's catching on a bit, isn't mm. he? He's got charisma like the Rock, like the Rock. <laughs> it wasn't you or me. It was not. Oh, I, I, I promise you, I've got better things to do than having old accounts on Reddit. I was about to say that's the face of a man with a burner account, but no. <laughs> right. um, yeah, because then the, top, the, the wrestling channel. It was it was, it was like, username no, not Mafu. It was like he could really go somewhere with this. And the top reply was just, he's 39. <laughs> <laughs> but then people, uh, then, then an argument started, yeah. people were talking about, well, DDP did it. And then people were like, well, he was a one-off kind right, of thing. Right, right. But Elliot and I, I mean, he moves really well. He's not, old, you know, he's not old. And to bring it back round, as we've proven, uh, 39 he's found it, in he? 2022 is a lot oh, that's different the, to... That's the 19 of 1984. Exa exactly, yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, I need to try and pinpoint when we start calling him the Rock because that it's been it, it's NXT 2.0. I, I feel like the entire time that's been a thing. Yeah, yes. you, you started doing it. It's like, oh right, yeah, you're right. He's the Rock because of because it wasn't during magnetism. the feud with Grimes. No, when he was a heel. Well, it might have been when he was still a heel, but just not. No, as it was early, a heel, yeah. Not as early as the feud with Grimes, though. Yeah, I think was... it might have been just after the feud with Grimes. Mm, yeah. That was still black and gold, wasn't it? When yeah, he was driving around at night time. Yeah. Yeah, no time is the right time. Yeah, now they made Grimes do the bits, and it looked like it was recorded like in England because it was so grey and dreary. He's <laughs> like, "Ah, uh -huh, well, I'm gonna make you like mow my lawn," and he's like, "All right, does it?" Well, uh, oh, you, you really, it. you really enjoyed it. <laughs> I actually like those bits. That was the the bit. And Teddy Biashi left as soon as yeah. his family got <laughs> in for yeah. that massive scam. The bit where um, they're playing golf with the Grizzly Young Veterans was my favorite bit because. Ellie Knight like misses wildly and Zach Gibson goes, how does he even have the decency to smile? <laughs> <laughs> Those were good bits. Yeah, they were. Uh, anyway, move on. Backstage, Dakota Kai finds Wendy Chu's pillowcase torn apart. <gasps> no. Who's done it? And also, I don't think she ever appeared. Oh, is she dead? Oh, yeah, she didn't appear. She, she was not. Yeah. She no, wasn't there. It got resolved towards the end, but she wasn't there. Yeah. She was toxic attraction, wasn't it? Hey. Mm. Yeah. They hate pillows. <laughs> Earlier this week... Imagine if Wendy Chu comes back next week and she's been toxic attractionified. That would be funny. She's coming out looking mm. like, mm. you know, the hair and whatnot and makeup. Mm. And I thought you were going to say if she came back as Mei Ying. Oh! <laughs> yeah, why not? Where's Boa? Ma <sighs> he had his magical powers and he burned the face of Solo Sokoa. Then yeah. did he... And he lost to Solo Sokoa. Yeah. And we're not, I don't think we've seen that him. That was it, yeah. yeah. That, um, the only key match with the brawled and the, mm. the big the, dirty door. Did have the match door. with them... Um, who was um, the very uh, polite attacker? I'm going to come and get you now. Oh, oh um, um, Dante Chen. Chen. Yeah, yes. Dante Chen. Did he face Boa? No, I think he faced... No. Um, oh, uh, it was Duke Hudson. Well, oh, no, no one ever go. forgot. <laughs> That's why you forgot. <laughs> Dumb uh. bastard. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a sexy bastard now. He's changed. How great will Wendy Chu and Dull Hudson be as a tag team? <laughs> Let me tell you something, Wenton. <laughs> Earlier this week, Tatum Paxi tried to help out at the Diamond Mines gym, but was thrown out by Ivy Nile. Ivy faces Tiffy Stratton and wins after a steamy distraction from Sarai. Oh, no, not like that. Not like that, because oh. I thought you might think it was oh. a steamy... No, it was literally... There was dry ice. She carries a smoke machine everywhere she goes. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah maybe that's what she's it was. On the, she's on the J's. Do you really... <laughs> That's why so <laughs> she gets so high she thinks it's she's so bad. Powers. I feel so bad if a wrestler was watching this go, oh, it's legal. Ross told me in the podcast. He had a hat on. He knows what he's talking about. And then it's, it's busted immediately. Austin can't turn up the kids to Mania because <laughs> he got caught with a slip. <laughs> like what? It was on Twitter. I'm like, no. Because he follows Tubman. This can all happen. Oh, we can no. spoil Richard, WrestleMania. tweet out right now. <laughs> hey, WWE superstars. Uh, Get those J's in your mouths, bros. And she... That's how they say it, yes. <laughs> Get those marijuana pills ready. Get those cool cigarettes in your gums. And Nelly Spot. <laughs> Get those J's in your mouths. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, backstage, Master Champa talks about NXT B. Oh, by the way. <laughs> oh, go on. Why hasn't Tiffany Stratton used the necklace to her advantage? This is the question. I'm just reading like a chat, <laughs> 
Why hasn't she? Because she sucks. She nicked the necklace that oh. transforms you. Yeah, she hasn't used it yet. <laughs> no, hasn't used it, no. Must only work oh, on if she put it on, would she become like a powerful warrior? <laughs> yeah, she would evolve into it. <laughs> she puts the J's in her mouth, yeah. <laughs> It was yeah. the, it was the, the, the enthusiasm. <laughs> He's nearly it. tearing up. Hey, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Swen oh. laughed at <laughs> oh. Backstage, Tommaso Ciampa talks about NXT being there for him throughout all the highs and lows. You know what makes you high, Jack? <laughs> he reveals a steel chair of his NXT debut written on it, as well as the date of standing and the liver, saying basically, yeah, that is his end uh, date. Later, Tony D'Angelo cuts a promo about moving up on the food chain NXT and says he wants to remove Champa to become the Don. Mm. Mm. So, uh, this is another one that I can't predict. Because I, I think Tony should, in theory, win. Yeah. But they've swerved us before with Champa beating, uh, Gargano beating Champa to stay and all this. So they've done the fake leaving of NXT before. But do you think Champa is, actually? If I had to put my money on it, I'd say Tony. Okay. Yeah. I okay. make the most sense. Emotional goodbye. We'll all cry. Yeah. Imagine if the <coughs> thing came. Is it? Imagine if this was the main event. The thing came up on the screen, and Gargano came back just to ram him in the board again. Remember oh, those days? Yes. Those hell scenes. Matthew would uh, hate it. Oh, I loved it. I realized, no, but you'd hate that they would. Their feud would resume. <laughs> oh no, I hated that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this was a good promo, though. Yeah, it felt real. Well, Chambers, because it was. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, it was really serious. He <laughs> mentioned. <laughs> he mentioned like real like tragedies from his life yeah, and yeah. stuff. It was really. Come on, no way. Yeah. It, it really stuck out on all the other. Silly bollocks is on the show, and he's there like, Yeah, when this happened, this happened. I'm like, All right, Chris. Yeah, so I never thought of it that way. All the stuff that goes on, and he's there just spitting truths. Yeah, yeah, it kind of sticks out a bit. Yeah, it does stick out, yeah. yeah. Left turn, Tony. Um, no, it's a massive. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> mm. Dolph Ziggler and Cora Jade get video packages ahead of Stand and Deliver. Dolph talks about his experience advantage over Braun, while Cora talks about growing up as a wrestling fan. It says here, What a loser. Well, yeah, she's got the loser thing, hasn't she? Like the yeah. girl in 2K career mode. Who got bullied in the school canteen for, um, right. for being a wrestling fan? That's Cora Jade. Can, can you yeah, I'm having a look, by the way, because terrifyingly, Dolph Ziggler also mentioned that. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. He's doing my uh, WrestleMania press. I mean, it's uh, my 18th, I believe. He's doing all the press for the media, and the media was uh, Corey Graves' podcast. Uh. <laughs> that was funny. But then I went, wait, hang on. 18? Hold my heart. There's no way that's real. No, it wasn't. 18 was a gross mm. exaggeration. But okay. And go through them all. Um, if you want, CP nah. is one of the. Oh, you no, might no, be no, backstage because 2004 it works out, hasn't it? Is that 18 years ago? He wasn't there in 2004. Oh, right. Yeah, but maybe he was backstage. You know, oh, the bring, maybe the, he was. Bring, in, like, Edge was before. backstage yeah. too. Oh, you count that? Well, he seems to. That's like Vince Mann uh, counting Don't all the people who work the in the messenger. stadium. <laughs> Just trying yeah, to work out his maths. Right? Obviously, his first one was uh, as part of the Spirit Squad. Mm. That was May 22. I'll carry on. I'll just um, stop there. But no, it's not 18. So Cora Jade... Um, can you tell her, she's a baby face? I can. Um, <laughs> she, first of all, relatable, because I've also got terrible handwriting. For, I was like, oh, I've got that in common. Also, I like the cyclical nature of it, because she was like, I was sat in maths class. Or math, because Americans just say math. And um, she was like, but I wasn't concentrating. I was writing how I wanted to be a wrestler. And then at the end, she was like, there's four of us in the match, so the odds are pretty slim, but I was never that good at maths anyway. I was like, oh! That wasn't that bad. That was man. quite good. That was quite good. I hate me. <laughs> Ross, man. Why is that, Ross? Because she, can you tell she's baby face, right? Yeah. Underdog baby face. The baby face of an underdog persuasion. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she was going through all the champions, like, oh, Sasha Banks had a fantastic run. Bailey, Bailey uh, Asuka, and she Charlotte. Gets but I didn't like her. Oh. All right, Cora, we get it. You're a wholesome person who doesn't like the heel. So what's wrong with... So what's the difference... <laughs> Please don't answer this seriously because one <laughs> one's the, one was a far better wrestler. But what's the difference between her and Bailey when she was an NXT babyface? She Bailey's, was a, down the line. There's no... Like, it's not as... Oh, this is going to sound weird. I don't know how to put it in the words because I'm not that clever. It's not as overt. Oh, uh, it's too... It, it's too on the nose. It's mm. getting uh, It's getting your leg. What happened to her in, in, in War Bailey's, Games? Bailey's felt authentic. Maybe. Cora's, Cora's... Cora's does feel more forced. She was... I mean, she was locking lasses in bins a couple of weeks ago. And Bailey that, that, would never have done that's that. A good, that's a good side of Cora, Jade. That's the redeeming side. That's the redeeming <laughs> the Alone Cora. side. The bins. <laughs> yeah. But what happened in War Games where she got some sort of injury and it's like, oh, well, there you go, sympathetic babyface stuff. It's just these things keep happening where it's just like, oh, that means she's the sympathetic babyface and they're just all adding up a bit too much. Yeah. Right. Bailey mm. was... A sympathetic character in the ring is able to do so. They'll pretend that Cora Jade is 
before she actually is before doing she, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the that one. makes sense. Yeah. That's the golden I, ticket. I feel bad, but I should clarify. Like when I said one was a far better wrestler, I just mean that Bailey is. It's not that Cora's bad; she's just inexperienced. Whereas Bailey is a class wrestler. Mm. Oh, I can't wait for it to come there back. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you didn't even soon. pretend that Bailey was a good wrestler. She, she was one. And just the mention I'm of I'm not Bailey. saying Cora won't be, it's just that she's clearly. Yeah, she's like 12, so like, how are we going to be? <laughs> they just need to hammer it down a bit, you know? Hammer yeah. it down. Hammer it down. Doodle doodle. Doodle um, doodle. Speaking of Bailey, Andrew Hodkinson nearly made myself and Jack sick on this table oh, yesterday. What, what did he say? With his first pitch oh, on I... the WrestleMania 38 pitch. Oh, it was, like, it was like Game oh, of Thrones. Man. There was stuff. I, I, I was getting blindsided. Dizzy. Dizzy by the end of the it, it, was, it was fantastic. It was good. It was good. Got rave, repl- rave reviews in the comments. So that is on the channel right yeah. now. Just like plug it there. there was so much I like the long convoluted on ones. Oh, look this at was... The, this it's was not a... just when you're doing it, but also the look of disgust you get from the other uh-huh. people that, when you're you doing it. We the, might as well end the, the series game. now. Because that will never get longer and more convoluted than that pitch. But Someone it had a fantastic end. Someone's putting their coat on. I can't wait. Ooh, a coat. And Josh Briggs and Brooks Jensen beat Legado del Fantasma clean. Disgusting. Strange. Don't know why that happened. Speaking of strange, <coughs> what? Uh, who was getting the pummeling in the corner? But Wade, <laughs> speaking about oh, Will Smith's yeah, big cock energy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just sounded like two people are just having at it in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th- this was the match where it happened. I just, I, it caught me off guard, so mm. it did. Not impressed by it. You already said it. Did I? I'm just saying this is the match where it happened. Yeah, but, uh, it was yeah. weird. It's great. I, I don't know but what else it. to add to this right. segment though, because it's awkward. The big lads beat the smaller lads. Keep my name. Oh, sorry, go on. The big lads beat the smaller lads, even though you could argue yeah, that like, the big lads aren't quite as good as the smaller lads. And Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, I thought that the guy would get in the push, but hey, those make-out the, sessions, the, man. Uh, Whoa, the rings. Fallon, is it Fallon Henley who's with JB and BG? She's getting really? a new name soon. Oh. I saw this on PW Inside of this week. Oh. Yeah. I forget what it was, but she's getting a new name. But okay. Is there, yeah. um, well, BJJ. She, was, she wasn't really involved, <laughs> so I don't get... I thought they'd further that storyline with mm. the whole... She attacked Electra, didn't she? I thought the, the but I thought the romance aspect would get further. Uh, you know, just Never bubbling mind. under mm. before we get hit with the incest. Oh God, all <laughs> <laughs> building hype. They are gonna do it, and it's gonna be <laughs> terrible. Uh-huh. Maybe they'll make it work though. Wait a minute, if they're, li- <laughs> if they're watching them. us, if the wrestlers watch this, and clearly they do, and they hear us talk about the Rock, and <laughs> what happens if we spot mm. that and that happens? The way NXT 2.0 has gone so far, you can see them getting in a relationship and then finding out. I think we're more likely to go down the classic um, uh, Christian and Jericho, Trish Stratus, love triangle mm. storyline with Briggs as the Christian, Brooks as the Jericho, and Fallon as the Trish. I don't know which one's which. Which one's uh, Brooks, Brooks, kind of Brooks is the naive one. Brooks who, is Who's never kind of kissed a lady. Yeah. And, Br- and Briggs is the... Sex machine. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> but they both love brawling in bars. So, yeah. 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 Very relatable. <laughs> Backstage, Indy Hartwell and Persia Broder argue again over who was the hotter partner. The great seller that stand and deliver. Can't wait. This promo. Can't wait. Hey, it hey, was hornier than Wade. Lads, <laughs> you, you better put your Texas best on for a big D showdown. Oh, yes. Hey? Speaking of D. Yeah, great. <laughs> do you get it yet? Why do these, these two, why do they keep hanging out? It's not healthy. Yeah, yeah, they don't like each other anymore. They yeah. don't like each other. Just yeah. go your separate ways, lasses. That's what women do. They just hang around each other, people they hate. <laughs> is that you lampooning WWE's view of women? Uh, yes, of course it, just it is, sound, It just sounded like you were just saying your oh, own views. I would hate that to come out my mouth. Christ. <laughs> Please move on. Let's move on very fast. <laughs> it, uh, we need to put a bet on, though, because we'll be starting to speak about next week's NXT. Will we have seen a live sex celebration with the winning team? No. Mafu? No. I'm going to go with yes. I think they'll... I'd stand in the I think they might disappear backstage for some steamy action, but we won't see an in-ring. The winning team at Stand and Deliver mm. puts a air mattress in the ring. <laughs> spend Conrad minutes. Thompson's like, hey, memory foam. <laughs> spend Best mattress I've ever had. <laughs> spend 45 minutes. <gasps> <laughs> that was the mattress. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> What a, what an episode this has been. <laughs> this has been a great, great podcast. The Wade Barrett influence. Uh-huh. Oh, Mandy Rose and Toxic Oh, yeah, that'll calm us down. Could have promo <laughs> in the ring. Mandy says she's going to cement her legacy as the greatest NXT Women's Champion of all time. Toxic Attraction revealed that they were responsible for attacking Wendy Chu and says there's mm. nobody left to face them. Dakota Tai attacks, but gets overwhelmed until 
Raquel Gonzalez mm. goes up to save the day. The old friends reunite and hold up Toxic Attraction's tag titles. What rubbish storytelling! No, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. oh yeah, oh yeah. I was legitimately buzzing for Dakota. And I mean, Raquel. I was nice. It was like I was like, yeah, great. It's like, wait, this makes any sense. <laughs> the week before WrestleMania, we got WrestleMania. Yeah, there's All been right. an injury somewhere. I think Wendy, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and they've panicked and thought, oh, well, they were once together, yeah. even though it mm. doesn't make sense when they get back together. I'm, yeah. I'm hoping the Sammy Owens. Few, yeah. like dynamic was like yeah whatever Just I'm hopeful for Dakota because she's really good. as you were saying recently she's really really good and the gimmick just hasn't been good for her so Rubbish. I'm glad that she's back with Raquel they were yep. an exciting tag team Raquel never got too affected she actually she went from being the champion to buddies with Cora <laughs> yeah but that was like that was the 2.0 change so oh yeah, yeah you're right yeah, it was true. funny though it was funny. He's had a good laugh along the way. We went to that adventure park. That was good. Oh. I'm scared of heights, so I better get the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, this was a uh, this was a weird segment. It's, 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 yeah. aye, it was what it was. It was what it was. Cora Jade was not. That's a thing as well. Why isn't she devastated that Leave she's been shafted? No, I'm not gonna right. <laughs> get her. She got shafted out that singles oh. championship match. Yep. It's now a four way. Well, she's just plucky. Yep. She's so she's so not... much pluck. She doesn't give a pluck. <laughs> I'm bad at maths. She should give a pluck, though. No, too much pluck for that. No <laughs> plucks left again. Is this going to get demonetized? Yeah. Maybe. Nah. Richard Tubman make the call when you come <laughs> the end. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why would it be? We keep our language nice and moderate during NXT 2.0. Yeah. Next segment, come Tuesday. <laughs> What's new both. theme, by the way? A menacing oh. come Tuesday. Come, 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 <laughs> come, come. come. Uh, beats Bodie Hayward with Jacket Time on commentary. Uh, who I, are, said, I had oh, a point. Oh, no. When that little <laughs> announce table got revealed with Jacket Time on there, and come Tuesdays walking down the ramp, I nearly exploded. <laughs> that is too much NXT 2.0 for one segment. <laughs> Bodie um, Hayward with Andre Chase, one of the four pillars of NXT 2.0 oh, oh, ringside. Man. Jacket Time, Kushida being misused. Giro, he's there as well. Ah, oh, this was just too much. I was getting like real Kai and Tai flashbacks. It was that level of stereotyping with with jacket time. It's one just... of whom is one of the greatest junior heavyweights in J- Japanese wrestling history. Yeah, but he likes Back to the Future. I know he does. That's more important. And jackets. <laughs> It's his, just his, his mate likes jackets. <laughs> yeah, his mate likes jackets. Okay, so he likes time. He prefers like an orange gilet, like Marty McFly. Ah, yeah. of course. Mm. I just, it's Ugh. wonderful how the creative process to start a Come Tuesday Kushida feud, I think it's because the attack at the end was. It must be. The, mm. They didn't just think, just have Kushida come down and just kick him in the face or something. No, we must have the Japanese commentary for this match and this match only. Cutting to them uh. sporadically throughout the matchup. It's just fun. Mm. Whoever's writing NXT 2.0 is just fantastic. <laughs> Is it a setup a Kushida? Something like MGF, or is it a setup an Ikeman Gyro feud? Because he ripped up his jacket. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> How disrespectful! One of the commentators shouted that Giro's identity. <laughs> yeah. No, that, that, that sets up a skins match with Tank Abbott as guest ref. <laughs> <laughs> Murder at the end. Uh, I'm not going to say that. I don't put ideas in the head. <laughs> oh Super yeah. Bowl 2000. Another win for our boy anyway. Come Tuesday over Bodie. Yeah. Bodie Hayward, when your stream goes out of 720p, looks like Billy Gunn. Because <laughs> that's what happened to my stream this week. Okay. Is he not shorter than Billy? Yeah. yeah. Just when everybody is. When it, oh, well, when, yeah. when it was like 360p. Okay. You look like Billy Gunn. That's the new form of insult. You look like a 360p. Because <laughs> oh, not only is it a bad insult, but it's insulting your, your bad internet. Yeah. yeah. That's what yeah. we're about here at Cult Holiday. Oh. Crap internet. I thought it was a really good <laughs> match, though. Come Tuesday does his moves really well. Yeah. He looked less bad than last time I mm. paid attention to him. I'll give yeah. him that. And he's got a, 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 not even a secret admirer. He's just got an admirer at ringside. He's other gazed across the across oh. the way at each other. Mm. Oh, my and then obviously because everybody on NXT must be horny as hell to show <laughs> the commentators and some random guy going, ooh. Mm. <laughs> oh. I hope we get to see how Come Tuesday woos a woman. What a weird promotion. That's a man. sentence. That. Just, just how Come the... Tuesday woos a woman. I, I I don't believe NXT 2.0 is actually written by anybody. This no, guy out there. And it just happens. Genius is right, NXT 2.0. <sighs> It'll get revealed next week. Vince Russo has been working secretly for the NXT 2.0 creator. Explains so much. Uh, Joe Gacy beats Draco Anthony with the Wingardium Levio. Oh, God. Thank you. It's all right. Because <laughs> Draco Anthony, yeah. I got it. Yep. Any it did. Thoughts? 
No, uh, just that they're trying to woo him and that Zion Quinn is trying to save him. And mm. I think Drago's going to turn on Zion Quinn and go to the dark side. Yeah. Oh, no. Slithering. This match happened, so it did. Joe Gacy yeah. needs a new finisher. I'm sure we spoke about this before, but it came out of uh, nowhere this week. What does the handspring <coughs> add to the clothesline? A Momentum. handspring. Talk. Yeah. <laughs> Talk is cheap. <laughs> Can well, we that'd be a good NXT? name, Talk. Can we sport? finish NXT? Anyway, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Nikita Lyon squashes Sloane Jacobs. After the match, Lash Legends appears on the Tron and says that one standard deliver is over. She'll prove who, why she's the bigger and better superstar. Yes. Yeah, she will. No, she won't, because Lions will. The Lions will win. Yeah. Um, but that performance deserved two slaps and a clap. I can work out what to do there. That's what uh, Lash Legend oh. said about the performance. No. Oh, oh. And I was trying to work out what, yeah. I thought you were just how trying to brave new things. How did you get a new catchphrase? Yeah. That's, that's stealing from the best, aren't they? That's why they're employed by WWE, because they can do that. How do you get from the second slap two into the clap? Psh, psh, psh. It's three, isn't it? Well, that's two slaps and a clap. Yeah. Anyway. Sorry, this probably confusing Horrible Richard. The... Two slaps and a clap. Yeah. It's good, good black mask, though, from Lions. Good German mm. suplex, good kicks. Yeah, she's yeah. better than I thought good she was going to be. Mm. <laughs> Backstage, the Diamond Mine gets a mysterious text message. The Creed Brothers thinks it's their mystery assailants from a couple of weeks ago. Ooh. Well, mm. it came from the 781 area code, and the 781 area code covers most of Boston's inner suburbs, the Route 128 corridor, and some outer suburbs, especially in the South Shore... South so she buys she shows on a she show South Sh- Shore region. I'm having a stroke I here. I thought it was um, which means New York. Only Lawton's coming back. Jesus, shut up! <laughs> Sorry, it was a razor advert on YouTube. You Sorry, know when Google doesn't really give you a website link; it just puts the bit of text at the top. Uh huh. That's what came up there. Ah. So my well, which team are from there? Who's from Boston? Or MSK? Uh, the, the cast of the Batman in cinemas till this day. <laughs> <laughs> they filmed in Boston. Only um, Lawton's from Boston. Sorry, oh. Biff, Biff Busick. Um, Busick. We're not going to we're not going to solve this mystery, are we? Yeah, the Boston Brawler. Eight Mr. one. one eight. I can't even find anything. I, I, yeah, Google's I've got nothing here. Sorry, pal. Then, good mm. googling the code. Just journalism. All, all I was going to say is, well, he's clearly not got an iPhone then. Unlike me and everybody else who has an Android or non iPhone and have the issues of actually getting a text message either being sent or received by people. Instead oh, of sending SMSs, they're sending the iPhone text, or whatever it's called. Really? Have you have those issues? No. Horrible. I mean, like, I've been sending them to my mum's like, why haven't you talked to on me? On iPhone? Like, you haven't talked to me? No, no, if you talk to somebody who has that. Oh, I might, well, I wouldn't and know. And it says that. you have to se- select it properly, so actually uh, goes to... You know, I've not heard anything, it. no. Oh, it's been a bit awkward for Maybe me. Maybe there's been oh. some serious issues that I've missed, because I can't... I, I wasn't told, by the way, if you send a message to someone with an iPhone, you have to send it a proper way, or wow. that person has to have their setting set right, oh. or they're not going to get it. Business is oh. brutal, man. In the world. Is. Please let us know if that has happened to you. And I will forget about it when you send me a DM. Uh-uh. Uh, Cameron Grimes beats Roddy Strong and A-Kid in the main event to qualify for the ladder match at Stand and Deliver. Mm-hmm. All the other competitors arrive and claim that they're going to win the match. And Grimes hits Camilo Hayes, sparking a big brawl to end the show. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the match. I'm glad the build is finally out of the way. Mm. I think Grimes could do it, you know. Yeah. Just the story that's being told about him telling his late father he'll win a title and then not winning a title before he passed away and now he's in a title match. I don't think he'll win just because I think he's got ready for the main roster. Mm. Oh. Has he already won that belt? The North American. I can't remember now. North American. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's how you feel with LA. Yeah. Oh, no, it was made dollar. No, 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 he hasn't won that Has he not won one. That belt? No. Um, I think that Mello's going to retain, maybe. I think he is, yeah. Mello Mello, who's. Hello, hello. <laughs> if he does go to the main roster, get him in there with Happy Corbin. That's a that's a story on the right itself. Yeah. Wait, why? What, who? Because they're both what? rich. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you haven't really done much with the, done much with the rich thing for yeah. a while. Because he's lost his confidence. Why? Mm. You'll get his swagger jagger back if he gets on the main roster. <laughs> Cher Lloyd yeah. reference there. Oh yes. Oh, okay. You should get some of your own. Yeah, swagger jagger. <laughs> what a tune. <laughs> <laughs> You're a ah. hater. Let it go. Yeah. God, that was a bad song. Wasn't it? I literally don't remember what like... song you're talking about. Swagger, Swagger, Jagger. Jagger. Swagger, Swagger Jagger. Jagger. You should get some of your own. But a bunny. Get your play on. Get your play on. Get your, get your play on. Uh, so what does it sound that? like? The World it's Cup a nursery song. Rhyme. No, it sounds like it's like there are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Or like nursery rhyme. Oof. Yeah. When was this? Ten uh, years ago. Yeah. Oh. Twelve years ago. Yeah. <laughs> 
Disgusting. 11 years ago. But uh, interest. Sorry to cut you off again. Oh, no, go ahead, That's all I've done this podcast. I feel. No, you've been great. Carmelo is on the bump with Braun and Cora Jade. Does that mean anything? Does that mean Cora's winning? This is after Stand Delivered. And does that way. mean Melo's winning? Yeah. Is that all the champions there? Maybe. Out Stand Delivered. Why would they publicize no, that information if it, that was going to happen? They already did that one time at WrestleMania 4. Yeah. They accidentally printed it in the magazine that Bernie Savage is winning. The best WrestleMania. I'm going to Errol Hawani. Barmy, though. <laughs> Barmy. Yeah. Barmy. That's a fantastic. I'm using the Nyla Rose insult. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh man, I totally. Oh yeah, they also did it at um, WrestleMania 35, where in the middle of the Kofi Bryan match, WWE Sharp released Kofi new champion. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Mm, mm, okay. Mm, 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 nah. But I went, why are all you idiots on WWEShop.com during this match? Well, they're just loving the wrestling. They, they want to buy some merch. You know who had me that? Brian Satan. Wow. I remember that. Ryan Say was one of the people who tweeted about it. That's why people don't like him. I'm in trouble. <laughs> anyway. oh. Hey, do be down on my after a little break. Max Caster faces CM Punk to open the show and says, keep back. I'll have your crap in your pants like I'm a Z-Pack. Z-Pack. Yeah. Z-Pack. Sorry, I'm a British. He also made a Will Smith one. He did. Yes. And it was nice. He made all these references. Oh, the Z-Pack. Do you think backstage is like, can I say that? Yeah, that's fine. Can I say that? Yeah. Can I bring up Cole Cabot? No. no All right. Because you know he would have wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Punk wins and is interviewed by Tony Schiavone afterwards. He says, by the time he's done an AEW, he will be world champion. Whoa. Mm. My main takeaway from this is that John Cena has labeled Max Caster, and I quote, he is a better version of what I did. He's really, really spectacular. Mm. Did he say that? Yeah. Where was that? I uh, don't know. Oh. It was at the top of Reddit. Oh, I, I guess he can get no, away. No, that's with... nice though you said that. Though. Yeah. I guess he can get away with praising whoever he wants. Not these days, is John Cena? It's mm. transcending, isn't it? Into, yeah. the ra- into the rap, into the rap game. Yeah, the voice of the moistless. Game, <laughs> game recognized. Oh, what? No, that was the other line. It was like you used to be the voice of the voiceless, but now because you made oh, some yeah. sort of sex reference before now, with your messed up teeth. Oh. Yeah, yeah, ain't got any molars, has he? Oh. I forgot about that. Mm. Yeah, wonder why that is. Was that from something in particular or? No idea. What Everything is, in general. Not having that? enough drugs and alcohol in his life. <laughs> <laughs> Negative effects. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the match was fine. I bet there was lots of Bret Hart references I didn't get. <laughs> no, I think he saves that for the big ones. But <laughs> now nah, this was, yep, yeah, it was just a fine match. Backslash gets to do his thing. Get the, re- the, the oh, 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 it was Smith slap. All right, cool, got that way. Yeah. Um, backstage, FDR tell MGF that they don't want to be involved in his feud with Wardlow because they're actually all right. They're in Wardlow. Uh, MGF says, oh, really? I mean, I don't want to bring this up, but Wardlow used to talk bad about you all the time behind <laughs> your back. <laughs> it is the Pinnacle's catchphrase, and FDR reluctantly join in. We see, see security signs around the arena, it says that Wardlow is banned. Mm. And I was a bit confused by this because it was, a, and it is still a thing, so tell it last night, Wardlow's not on the AW roster page, mm. which I'm, I'm I was like, uh-oh, what's this going to mean for this feud? And obviously, he did spoil his show up later on, but mm. it was for a bit like, is he out? You got work. But he is, he's still you off the roster page. You don't believe. But the MGF hasn't taken down this part of the storyline? Oh, okay. Mark Wahlberg, yeah. But why, why, would he, why would AW take his roster page down? Because he works <laughs> for MGF. <clears throat> and there's been a contract <clears throat> dispute with MGF. <clears throat> and yeah, that's my rationale. Well done, Rod. Actually makes 100% <laughs> sense. I can't remember who, but someone on Twitter did just bring up, well, why don't AW just sign him? He's red hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do that. You give everybody else a bloody contract. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so that was nice. And FDR being more and more good guys every oh, week. Oh, they just seem tired. Well, they yeah. were so yeah. sick of being heels. <laughs> it's weighing them down. They were in North Kakalaki this week, weren't they? Or was it in South Kakalaki? They were in Kakalaki. South, but yeah. it's, it's the Carolinas. In the Kakalakis. It's the Kakalakis. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I love saying that. <laughs> they were there. Yeah. They are good, though, aren't they? Yes. They can't do either way. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They can, go, they can go all ways. Either way. Both ways. Yeah. All the ways. Like, like a roundabout thing. Heel or baby. Bro- yeah. No, I can't say that. You can't say baby. You have to say baby face. Jeff Jarrett said so. That's really? right. Yeah. Your, oh. your, your new pal said, I hate it when yeah. people say that. Well, but there's backstage shots of AW with arrows pointing towards the two entrances. And one says heel and one just says baby. I know. That's why Jeff Jarrett's never been on AW. <laughs> <laughs> he saw that. I was like, nah, I'm gonna. That says, Screw one of the left, you guys. left and right, it's both Ronald's, Reagan's, and McDonald's. <laughs> I'll play in my head right, every Max time I come. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, John Moxley beats Jay Lethal. They shake hands afterwards. Just a match for Moxley. Oh, it was a really good match. It was a good match. Lots of good wrestling. Aye. From Moxley. It was but... a bit, it was a bit like a foregone conclusion of a match. You know but what I thought was interesting? Nothing wrong with that. Regal. Oh, that's right. Regal's commentating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, he was commentating later. Didn't come out. Oh. Wasn't with Moxley, but he, oh, I, did, I don't know if, 
but it just dawned on me then. But like he always just comes out with Danielson, never with Moxley. He's got a favourite. Yeah. Mm. Could this play into something down the line? When Danielson was wrestling, they come on brought up and goes, "Well, Danielson's the, the best wrestler in the world." He's like, "Oh, one of," and he went, "No, I didn't say that." <laughs> no, Excalibur said. He's one of the best in the world. And Regal went, one of? And yeah. Excalibur went, yeah, okay. And yeah. Excalibur went, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You think if you had two kids, you'd, you'd, not, you'd show both of them equal love. But... Well, unless you're in The Lion King. You call one king and the other garbage. Yeah. That's right, Ron, that <laughs> <laughs> Poor Scar. We stand Mufasa. <laughs> uh, FTR faced the gun club with MGF on commentary. No one says gun club here. They're clearly the ass boys. The ass boys. Thank you. Mm. Midway through the match, Wardlow arrives to take out MGF, but he's taken away by a lot of security. And it was great him to speed up everybody backstage. Like final oh, fight on Streets of Rage. The table didn't break for one of them. Yeah. And he just had to lie there just on the well, table. Well, table and Fettis is also not employed by AEW. <laughs> FGR win and argue with MGF afterwards about the commotion. Later backstage, FGR go, all right, nuts to this. Find off these silly battles we're having right now. Me and you, young bucks. Oh, well, lads. Hello, Uncle Brett. <laughs> Bonjour. Because, uh, oh, that was either not even worth bringing up, but we'll bring it up now because it's kind of connected. Mark Bannon and Ric Flair have split up. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Huh? I've never been listened. stuck in a lift with them two. God. How long has that podcast been on? About two weeks. Has it? Is uh, that really? Actually, no, no, a bit longer than that. But, <laughs> you know, I've, I've, I think I've muted or blocked Mark Madden ages ago. I'm just sick of seeing his bad tweets. But uh, Madden, yeah, Madden did reveal that Flair was supposed to be having a bigger role in AEW. Supposed to be managing people and doing all this and stuff. Obviously, he appeared in AAA with Andrade. And then and the third time I was like, oh, okay, that isn't happening. Uh-uh. Dark Side of the Ring happened, didn't it? Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. Rat in the Kitchen sounds like a fantastic show, which was probably oh, during this month. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Six cooks, mm. one person ruining the food. You need to find the person who's spoiling the food. But you can't be too obvious about it. It's Among Us with what? food. Mm. Where haven't we got that over here? That's a good concept. Because I thought, oh, cookery show, right? Ready, steady, cook. Like people who celebrities who can't cook, he's like, no, mm. one of them deliberately can't cook. Yeah, mm. he's a bad chef. Fantastic. I like the yeah, really good. My tune in. Fundamentals and footwork and fun from FTR. <laughs> 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 um, another thing to take away is obviously we watch on fight over here and get to see the ad breaks and whatnot. And fight MJF over. calling Aubrey a human foot and saying she's really really bad, the worst referee of all time. <laughs> no control over the match and stuff. I get. I, I think it, in kayfabe <laughs> that means because she's always stern on the heels, isn't she? But yeah, I so you wouldn't like her for that reason. Thought it was funny. Mm. Human foot. Human foot's a good one. <laughs> wow, very nasty. It is a really simple one, but him calling Wardlow a pig. <clears throat> you greedy little <laughs> pig! <laughs> you pig! Get yeah. that pig out of here, mm. pig! <laughs> Don't hear enough wrestlers calling other wrestlers pigs, do you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the only one I think of was Mickey James, and that was a bad angle. Oh, that was a bad yeah. Uh, this was a good it was a good pig. Good pig like babe. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do Ward. That'll do Ward. <laughs> Backstage, the Jericho Appreciation say uh, appreciation say, oh J A S brag about <laughs> taking out all their rivals. They're attacked on oh, they do last week. Take went, a peek, take where, a peek. Where, where, Let's see who's behind this one. Oh, it's nobody. They did it this week because they went, oh, oh, Teddy Kingston. <laughs> uh, him and Santana Ornotis all beat them down to the ring. This goes on for a while, to be honest with you. A while, yeah. Yeah. Then there was a match proves to be too much, and they get beaten down for quite a long time, really, it says here. And it almost looked like, wait, are the good guys, sorry, Jeff Jarrett, going to get the bad guys a beat down for once? That'll be nice. And then, yeah. heh, himself had to change it. And, all right. and he was the part, turning point. Oh, no, sorry, probably, that's a different segment. We saw two, the, seg- the same segment twice, basically, mm. in, this, in this show. Shades of yes. Punk getting beaten down by MJF and Paige getting beaten down by Cole in the same night. Mm. But one was way better than the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Tony's distracted. Is it? He was uh, avoiding text from Margo Stun. <laughs> I don't know what this. Oh, you know what? That was way too horrible. I'm really sorry about that. A <laughs> bad attempt at humour. Nah, sure, Matthew, you idiot. That was the line. <laughs> You've crossed the line. Yeah. Like, what am okay. I doing? Everyone else can go to hell. Dull but that, that, was, that was inappropriate. Dull <laughs> <laughs> Worst wrestler ever. Steve Austin sucks. But sorry, Marco. Uh, backstage, Smart Mark Sterling announces Jade Cargo's next opponent. Lever Bates. Then Jade says, nah. She was there. She was buzzing. She yeah, said, yay, I'm on the show. <laughs> Stelling says, oh, yeah, you know what? Well, let's actually get you some uh, a good one for your 30th opponent. Mm. Uh, Rina Shafir. Yeah. Mm. Doing bits on dark and elevation, hasn't she? Doing bits. That really went under the radar for me. I was very surprised. Yeah. yeah. Nah, it could be blue pants Her... to brown pants. Her... The poor self seen as mighty opponent. <laughs> a theme is very nice to listen to on a Sunday afternoon. Who's Marina's? Oh, it's very nice. Just very calm and trumpets and that. 
Ah. Very regal. Mm. Not William, though. Don't Aww. be silly. Don't be silly there. Ooh. Uh, Brian Danielson takes on Wheeler Utah. We have William Regal on commentary with uh, him in the mask. The man, man in the mask. mask. Man in the mask. Hello, man in the mask. <laughs> Hello there. Utah puts up a brave effort against Brian, even spitting in his face, which might be go, oh, you dumb, dumb, dummy. Silly boy. <laughs> uh, towards the end of the match, but Brian gets the whim. Nice Don't little laugh. bit of. Grappling was him. over. Wheeler I am su- very surprised about that because obviously he's just being that guy that the best friends know where it's like, oh, Tim, all right, whatever. But all it took was him getting slapped by Regal, having this thing here. Suddenly, I, I think this is the perfect... I'm going to call it the Bugsy Malone theory. You give a little love and it all comes back to you. Oh. If AW do things the fans want, they're more likely when they try something that the fans might not be sure about. The fans completely get on board and they're like, we're going to cheer for Wheeler because that's the story. And I think that's nice. We Utah needs Regal because the mm. perception of Utah massively improved by Regal pointing out things you don't normally think about, like right. Right. Brian Danielson having to go to the ropes because normally he wrestles his way out, but Utah's being so good he can't mm. wrestle his way out. Magnificent. Uh, the yeah. Little yeah. things like the knee strike at the back affecting the way the spinal fluid flows, and therefore Brian can't do his things. Um, just Regal needs to be with Utah and yeah. just saying these things all the time because it made me right. appreciate Utah a lot more. And he needs to be with Christian Cage. <laughs> because his fundamentals are very solid. <laughs> no. and he know what's happening. Yeah, He's just great to watch. We need him to explain Christian's footwork. Some yes. muggles. Yeah. Like me and Jack. Oh, well done. Can, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Like me and Jack can understand. Yeah. Now, Regal was like listening to a uh, person conduct an autopsy on a body and go, this is how he was killed. <laughs> yeah. Nah, beautiful. I agree. Um, it was nice as well, the little bit where he's like, um, uh, 22 years ago, he saw Danielson. That's what attracted it, attracted him to him. Regal, this is. And the same was happening with you in this match. Yeah. They're going to get together, aren't they? Have babies. <laughs> oh, lovers. God, I hope so. <laughs> God, Regal's been uh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah he's been really good. Yeah. Adam Cole and Ho Ho Ho. Red Dragon. Red, Red Dragon. Thank you. Had a mock title celebration with their stolen belts. They're interrupted by Hangman Page, who drives into the arena and attacks. But before that, Kyle O'Reilly just like, I've had too much champagne and sits down <laughs> and no one reacts, so they carry on. Cheers. I liked it. I oh, liked it, it as well. Got a wry smile for me. The, the champagne line got talked over by either Fish or Cole, though, and I was like, oh. <laughs> Didn't even let it breathe. It was like, all right, cool. Probably so Bobby anyway, we're great. <laughs> Bobby Fish never shuts up, does he, these mm. days? <laughs> he's, he's, like, he's just having to be on TV. The, he's been in the background for too long. <laughs> this is the Fish show. Yeah. <laughs> the Fish show. <win. laughs> <laughs> if you talk too much, we'll give you a haddock. Uh, Don't buy a hangman page or arena and attacks. Oh my the, god! Yes. I'm sorry. Oh, oh my god! Very good. That was him. <laughs> How where we go? Give Moxley some love as well. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I love both my kids the same. Honest. <laughs> that was the most blatant one ever. Yeah. This the, isn't the time or the place. The bad guys <laughs> trying to run away. <laughs> yeah. But it's stopped by the Jurassic Express and Christian Cage. They get beaten down and head up the ramp while Page and Jurassic Express take back their title belts. I don't really get this. Just in a weird, like, putting stuff together and people, you know, different people do different things in different segments. Why you'd have Adam Cole and Red Dragon act like the Young Bucks basically do, a bit like big old fannies. Mm. Um, <laughs> wouldn't you want them to be slightly different or at, rather than just be what the Elite would be doing if well, they I, were on the show? It I'm is like, similar, right. but I'll take it because I'm relieved to see Kyle O'Reilly be funny again yeah. rather than... It'd be great if the crowd actually laughed. Von Wagner's pal in the forest. Oh, well, that's true. Wearing his... Orange Cassidy esque attire, <laughs> so I, I'll take it. I think they're obnoxious in a slightly different way to the Bucks, and it's just different enough for me. But your mileage may vary. Surely they had to hold the titles away from Hangman for longer than a few days. Yes, for it to be effective. For it to be effective, yeah. Oh, he finally got it back, just as it yeah. served. But no, a few days later. A few days later, he got it back, and the Tesla as well. That wasn't cowboy S H I T for me. He's a millennial cowboy. They're though. expensive though, aren't they? Aye. Yeah. Flashing that mo- that Wonga around. Tesla's are like thirty five grand for a Model Three, aren't they? Are they? I don't know oh. what it is in America, but over here it's like thirty five, forty grand. Right. No, those horns weren't going to be cheap, were they? <laughs> no. Didn't Bad Bunny have a Tesla? I don't know. Was that the car he had that he said he was? He drove the roll one night and he was like, "Oh, apparently it, it got written off." And he's like, "I'm so glad." Oh. <laughs> No, I think was it was like Tesla. I think it was like a Lamborghini or something, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Oh, it was one of those cars that was like very few of them in the world. So obviously, they give it to a celebrity, so it looks all cool. And he's like, oh, I'm so glad to be rid of that it car. It fits bad money, though. Cowboy, cowboy. Hangman's supposed to be a relatable cowboy, isn't he? Yeah. An everyday yeah. man. Because he's a middle aged depressed bloke. Well, maybe, so. maybe it's because he's 
more conscious of like the environment, so he's using an electric car. Oh, but are they more better for the environment? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, the research. batteries get made uh, and then shipped across the uh, You know, that's when he turns heel. He's going to get that Tesla battery. You hey, thought I, I was being nice. Hey, Adam Cole with it. He's going to throw it in the river afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> then Taz will go, yes, unique spot. Never seen before. Hey, Tesla Jones over here. <laughs> <laughs> After being ambushed last week, Thunder Rosa cuts her first promo as women's champion. She says she wants to be the face of women's wrestling. She says that pillars get knocked down, but foundations stay standing. That was nice. I was like, wow, that's so great. No Vicky Guerrero or Nyla Rose. Uh, Later, Vicky Guerrero and Nyla Rose could have promo on her backstage, but Vicky doesn't bother talking the microphone, so it's hard to get to point. <laughs> she did. She pushed him away. Yeah. Enough for you. I think it was uh, Marvez. I got a bit of a fright when Nyla started speaking because it was that loud. So loud in the mic, yeah. <laughs> and uh, then... Ali takes on, uh, oh, it's a little debut, just a little lone uh, women's wrestler, Tony Storm, yeah, in a qualifying the bump, match the for the Owen Hart Foundation tournament. Yeah. And you can tell it's not WWE's Tony Storm anymore. It's definitely independent and proud Tony Storm because she wins a match. She's back to winning ways. Back mm. to never losing, ever. Penelope wasn't happy. Oh, was she not? Because she stole a retire. <laughs> mm. Tony sure Storm's she... been wearing that. Gear I know. For ages. Wrestlers are weird, mm. aren't they? Oh, yeah, could end that sentence there, Ruby Ross. Soho has an orange and black T-shirt, and Taz is like, well, that's a bit too close to the bone. <laughs> I'm going to sing your song and make a mockery of you every time you come out. <laughs> In the main event, Andrade beats Darby Allen. Sting checks on him afterwards, but is attacked by the Butcher and the Blade and Private Party. The Hardys run in to make the save, of course, because this feud must never end. But to be honest with you, I like seeing Andrade bounce around Darby Allen. Yeah, Andrade putting on some size has really helped him in this little mm. match here. 240 pounds he weighs now, or something Ooh. like that. A big hunk of meat. Um, yeah, him throwing around Derby was lovely. The yes. slaps as well. Maybe that should be my move of the week. Yeah! Mm. The slaps back and forth for Richard. Let's revoke the earlier one, the Brock Lesnar high art, and give it to the slaps instead because they oh. were slabby. Those slaps were slabby. <laughs> yeah, they were... Listen up, Slappy. Those slaps hey. were Slappy. And we called uh, Mean Gene Oakland Jurassic Slap Nuts. <laughs> oh, <great. laughs> what do you think, Jack? I liked it. I really liked it as well. Um, Andrade is one of those ones where I'm like, push him more. It's Andrade because I'm a big fan. But I was worried. I thought Darby was going to win. So I was, I don't know he didn't beat him clean. There was like interference and stuff. Like, was there? Distraction, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So he went outside and then came back and then got bait. Mm. That was it. But um, no, I liked it as well. Yeah. It was good for the Hardys as well to get that, because in, in, in the Kakalaki, mm. that's where they're from, isn't it? That's right. Mm. Uh, so that's it's... where we're from. We're from. <laughs> Shut up. I'm going to put a theme. I think their theme might be the best theme of all time. Whoa. Do, 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 it's, it came on my YouTube the other day. It's, I was sat at my desk. Going, <laughs> Darn it. Like, it came it. on your YouTube, or like via autoplay? Mm. Or you... Yeah, just autoplay. Oh, okay. Um, I just It's timeless, isn't it? Mm. Sat there, even though I've heard it a million times. <laughs> So dunna, dunna, dunna. <laughs> well, they appear to be as well because again, I'm wrestling so weird when it comes to injuries and stuff like that. Because I swear Matt Hardy had his pelvis fused to his spine. It's like, yeah, I'm still wrestling. And I'm Jeff like, has right, done and some just, of the maddest things ever, and he's largely all right. Every year he gets written off, and he's like, nah, I'm here, I'm back. <laughs> Swanton bomb, you can eat all of my back. <laughs> oh yeah, he's not getting the rotation fully this, these days. I think nowadays wrestlers, being the weirdos that they are, probably like that's fine. Killers, Jeff. I think that he's attributed it before is like relative lack of injuries compared to his what he does uh, to go in limp when he lands or something or stay and relaxed, which to me sounds counterintuitive, but oh. you know, fair enough if it works for him. Yeah, yeah, hmm. good for him. Yes, well, a lot of wrestling. Why? And you know what? That was a long bit of talking. It's not gonna be as long as next week. I'm 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 pumped. Big time. We'll have a couple of more breaks than normal, but I'm pumped for a five hour podcast. Are you? Just to, just once, just to say we've done it, and then next mm. year we'll think of a better way to do it. All right. Because <laughs> <laughs> think about next week's so this week in wrestling section has Dynam. Uh, sorry, it has SmackDown, yep. Rampage, Hall of uh, No Night One WrestleMania, Night Two WrestleMania, Raw, NXT, Dynamite, plus any Hall other news bits that'll plus come stand out, and yeah. deliver. We'll have to speak about oh, that one. Stand deliver. Yeah. Stand. It's gonna. It'll be four over four and a half hours. I reckon. Oh my god. Stand and deliver, or A.K. Sam doesn't deliver. <laughs> Stop about the mad. 
Is this robot in preparation when you eat that, that shit? Uh, right? You're on Stone Cold as the Sam match. doesn't deliver. <laughs> he did. Yeah, he money, he, oh, he yeah, did yeah, eat man. a high in the end. Begrudgingly, yeah. years later. <laughs> That'll be me in the laptop. For all the people who remember that died of old age. <laughs> By the time I do the laptop thing, laptops will be obsolete. There'll be some new like <laughs> microchip in your brain or something. They kick you out and off having a laptop. It's like, well, what is this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, that was the week in wrestling. Next segment. Let's have a rummage in our mail bags. <laughs> Ah, it's me doing the refreshed. Ah, Ross is ugh. Oh. Let's have a little old look in the mailbag. Before we do that, actually, should we have a look at what we've been sent? Yes, a I mean, tweet. Once again, I've been providing Tiny Rebel uh, beer brewery, beer brewery, brewery, just with more sales and making them more money. If Richard wouldn't mind yeah. bringing up the tweet from Steve. Ooh. Not a OSW Steve. review. Uh, there he is. There's Steve and Beth Phoenix on the couch, and they're about to drink <laughs> the the old uh, the old chuckleberry that we had in the studio, which me and Matthew, oh. me and Matthew couldn't hack. Jack and Richard okay. were fine. The sour sour beer. Richard took two home for himself. He did. Big can energy there from Richard. Mm. Um, so this is them drinking the thing. They sent it in. So here we go. Right, Ross. We're gonna try and do this with a straight face. Oh no, the Scottish would be. Used mean. to you. Jack, Matthew, and all the other Bonnie lads down at Cultaholic. Oh, Bonnie lads. Oh, what's your sour Aww. faces? Sour faces. Not a, <laughs> not a flutter. What? <laughs> it's all right, man. Good shout. Yeah, fair enough. Mocked. Yeah. What? No. No, they did a training montage before that. We need to do this. That's right, Beena. They didn't drink out the cans. That's, that's, that's fake, that. Whenever we're confronted by someone whose accents I mock on the regular, I'm always like, oh, no. <laughs> And they were, they were, they were, they were bonnie lads. So I was like, oh, yeah, right, they're good. I'm, uh, I hope. I'm glad they sent that in. They've, they've done us there. Yeah. Well, not so much you and Richard. It's more me uh, and Matthew. Isn't but it? I had to really try not to. Much as mean we've got an overdeveloped palate, you and I, just very fancy men. Yes. <laughs> well done. We boss. have f- more. F- oh, shut up. Kavorka is the word you're looking for. That was a Vince McMahon end of that sentence. <laughs> What's happening? Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, here's a look at the mailbag. <laughs> Number one. Now then, guys, how are you go? How are you doing? How are you going? Yeah. Back on t- Road to WrestleMania oh. again. Oh, I now see. Now then, guys, right. how are you doing? Back on hey. Road to WrestleMania. I had news brought to me this morning about that man. Apparently, he's got his own takeaway now. Yeah, um, rate, rate my takeaway. Is it called oh. Rate My Takeaway? No, no. That I mean, just for anyone who doesn't oh, know who yeah. he is. For anyone who doesn't know who he is. I don't know what it's called, but he, he did a whole episode where he went somewhere like in Leeds or somewhere yeah. and had a whole takeaway and then at the end he went now I've got a confession I can't rate this one because it's I own this place what episode's that? The, he had a guest on it who was yeah he had a guest on who was like some journalist bloke and he was getting oh, he was getting slaughtered in the comments I watched that and I turned it off before the end what? what? oh I've got watch this the now was, they were just sat there chatting and I was just like I've got better stuff to do I'll just get, eat, the, eat the takeaway Danny I want to see the takeaway. Oh, it wasn't a good live, journalist. It was, like a, it was like a YouTube premiere kind of when it's there's, there's the live oh, chat and the yeah, chat were great. merciless, man. It was I felt bad for this blow. Yeah. I am at watch I feel bad for that. I didn't go back and watch Do you know one. the name of the takeaway? No, I couldn't uh, remember. It's just some funny name. I can't remember. So it's got like some good ones in Newcastle's like key ingredient. Q U A Y. Yeah. Anyway. Uh I'll find out the name of This isn't okay. the question. this has got nothing to do with the <laughs> mail bag, so I'll carry on. Is anyone starting to feel any worry over the rumoured Roman plans for next year's mania? Next year's mania? And Roman keeping the belt until then. Over the last few weeks, I feel like I've heard his same promo far too many times. I hope there is some big change to the format with Roman soon as it might run stale, especially is if rumoured he keeps the title until the rock match in brackets if it happens. If it's this format until Roman vs. Rock, do we think crowds will start to lose interest? Do they even have a pair, sorry, a year of believable opponents for Roman who he hasn't already beaten in his reign? Personally, I wouldn't mind him losing at Mania, then go on for a psycho snapping run to get his belt back later on the year, just to add another layer to his heel work. I say, if it happens around the Rock match, as Deadline reported a few weeks back that Red Notice 2 and 3... Are going to shoot both movies back to back in early 2023, which might not leave any time for a good build. Hope you are all well, Jordan. Thank you very much, Thank Jordan. Thank you very much. Well Thank you, Jordan. It's a clever Jordan. question. Uh, so there's a bunch of stuff there. First of all, like, do you think Roman can keep his title until next year's WrestleMania? If yes. he overcomes this hurdle this very weekend, then yes. They need okay. to change up the segments, though. 
him coming out and going, acknowledge me, I'm good. If wise man says some things, Uso go like that. That can't last for too much longer. I think he's very good at keeping it fresh at the minute, but it will just run, it will mm. run out eventually. I, I think he needs to... There needs to be some sort... I don't think you should, like, turn face or anything drastic like that. But to keep it fresh, I think there needs to be some sort of new element added. I just can't work out what it is. Mm. Some sort of new wrinkle to the canopy that is Roman Reigns. Dull you, Hudson. Maybe he's the that answer. That is the difference maker. Yes. The problem solver. Incarnate. Solo Sakura legitimately could be. Yeah, could, could be. be. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Um, but it's, something needs to happen. It's the storylines that'll keep him fresh, though. Yeah. If he's got yeah. stuff to talk about that's happened to him, that'll keep it fresh. Yeah. So just storylines will do. I think the, the, <laughs> the bit they introduced this week about him acknowledging WrestleMania 34 and saying, yeah, he beat me up. I think that should have been introduced. Uh, they should have made that more of a theme of the feud earlier ago. Mm. Yeah. I think he, he could keep on doing it. Maybe not till next year's WrestleMania, but for a good long time. Because so far, no one else is at that level. He yeah. is a, such a star attraction now. The whole ensemble of Heyman and the Usos that, yeah, they couldn't do somebody else. Uh, LA Knight, I remember mm -hmm. the family. Mm -hmm. too big for the, the bloodline. <laughs> 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 then, uh, yeah, they could keep it going because he's such a, he has that star power and everything. Crowd's still reacting to him. I think we've got Lesnar out the way, just give him people the feud with, and yeah, keep it doing. Fair yeah. mm -hmm. And uh, no, I don't think the Rock versus Roman match is happening. Do not. We said that about this year's WrestleMania. Oh, no, there was Hollywood. Hollywood next year. Yeah, it's LA, Hollywood next year. I That's guess it. who else is going to be on the card? LA Knight, because it's in LA. Yeah. It will be LA Knight. It'll be uh, LA Knight versus The Rock versus Roman Reigns. Oh, of course. Oh, don't, 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 don't even. Because you imagine. Oh, the, I can't. the electricity. I can't. The Kavorka in one ring. Honestly, look, the, 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 the table has moved three inches now. I didn't have my hands on it. <laughs> LA Knight goes for his his people's elbow. The Rock nips up. He goes for his. Oh, it writes itself. It writes itself. Yep. Anyway, <laughs> hello lads. As it's Vince Voice WrestleMania week, I thought I'd send in a question to you guys. Well, my favorite match of all time is Stone Cold versus Bret Hart at WrestleMania 13. Absolutely. Partly due to the moment Stone Cold gets a second wind and breaks out the sharpshooter. Throughout all my coming years, I think that moment is one that will always give me chills. Which leads to my question, of course. What is one moment in wrestling that will always give you chills slash will always get you hyped up? <sighs> if you want to give this a special WrestleMania flair, feel free to make it only things that happened at WrestleMania. Thank you guys for giving me so many laughs over the years and helping me get through my week. Thomas Graham from Leicestershire. Thank you, Thank you Thomas. Thomas. Thank you very Thank you, much. Thomas. Thank you. I've got WrestleMania 1 and a non-WrestleMania 1. Same. I've Ooh. just got a WrestleMania 1, me. Ooh, look at you. Uh, oh. Do you want to go first, Jack? Okay. Um, my WrestleMania 1 uh, is probably Kofi Mania. Because Kofi yep. was like, when I first got back into it, I was like, he seems like a nice man. Mm. And I, I hope he does well. And it took so much longer than it should have done. So it was just a lovely moment. Um, my non-mania one, it, for like chills sort of reactions, I normally get that more from entrances than from matches. Oh, okay. Yeah. Punks at Money in the Bank 2011 is probably the biggest mm. one because the crowd was just so hot for him and it was in Chicago. Also, um, the opposite way. Like Cena's at one night stand when everyone's just booing him. That's really good as well. Mm. Um, so they're, they're the two. They're the, they're the two main ones. But for a Mania one, when Kofi did it, I think. Cool. Stone Cold's entrance at WrestleMania X7 every time. Oh. The pop, mm. him walking down the way he does, the music, everything. The complete package. Yeah. Yeah. His one at 19 is great as well. The camera behind him. Yeah. Uh, Special mention, round. special mention to X7, by the way. Me, Tom, Jackins, and Sam got together to do the multiverse WrestleMania X7 watch along, because that's where we are in the Cold Wallet Classic Smackdown review. We thought we'd have the, the WCW lads come in to be all, yay, come on, Shane, you <laughs> owner. <laughs> yeah. The boys. Yeah. The boys are there. Yeah, about, about boy, uh, Sean Stasiak <laughs> and uh, Hugh Morris. Oh, great. Did Bob Holly come in. This isn't WCW Town, son. <laughs> <laughs> they just had no memory of that for some reason. <laughs> Uh, I'll say for WrestleMania, every time gets us right in the feels and the ev feeling everywhere in my body is <laughs> Miss Elizabeth and Randy Savage. Get, <laughs> not like that. <laughs> Randy Savage getting together at the end of uh, WrestleMania 7 after Savage has split up. He's turned to the dark side and all mm. this stuff after the Warrior match and being uh, Sherry and just the tease and the tease and then just the big hug. And it's like, oh, every time, man. Yeah. So, so well done. Non WrestleMania. Okay. Beat up Mick Foley, blood his face, going like, "Oh, I'm certainly not in any condition. Mankind is certainly not in any condition to wrestle you with the Rumble Triple H." <laughs> like, I've got a replacement though. Oh, all right, who's it gonna be? 
I think you know the guy. Yeah. yeah. His name is Cactus Jack. She's like, oh. My girlfriend pisses herself laughing when she sees that. Why? What? It's just the same mammy taking his mask off. It's not. Oh. <laughs> it's a darker version in his <laughs> mind. influence. Also got to give a shout out to just the entirety of WrestleMania 4. The best <laughs> WrestleMania of all time. I just get chills for like two, two, three hours watching that. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's medically unsafe to watch WrestleMania 4. You've got to break it up into chunks. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> too much adrenaline in my soul. <laughs> It's like driving a <coughs> driving from the top end of the, top end of Stevenson down Newcastle in neutral. I thought you were gonna say it's like driving the all new Toyota Tundra. <laughs> it's an accelerator. <laughs> that's that's amazing though. Yeah, yeah. That. Anyway, hello boys. I'm watching your podcast after getting home from a night out. Oh, good. Uh oh. Gave off some uh what and sort of dirty kebab. Long story short, I had to walk the final thirty minutes instead of getting a taxi. When I started walking, I ordered a kebab, hey. yes, to be delivered to my home, and it arrived just as I reached my front door. Oh, that's a right what touch. A moment. My question is, what's the best timing in wrestling ever? <laughs> this could be a specific spot, or perhaps some convenient booking, i.e. Mox being able to debut at Double or Nothing. That was good booking. It took me 20 minutes to correctly type this message. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you had a good night. Uh, many thanks, former Liverpool and Blackpool, uh, sorry, Liverpool and Blackburn, fall back, uh, Stig, in Bionbi. <laughs> I don't actually know how to pronounce B- the name. B- is B- it? B- yeah. Hi, Bionbi. Thank you, Stig. <sighs> that's be all, all right. It's amazing now. That's organically caught on with many people. The football, I think. Obscure 90s football. Right. Great. Yeah. We should say their names. But thank you very much, Paul. I hope your head's all right. Yeah. Um, best timing in wrestling. Marty Gennetti return after the barbershop straight away. <laughs> but he didn't. No, he did. Mm-hmm. The mirror. 1992 when he returned. Oh, and the attack shot. Oh, no, it was like a dist. Wasn't it? The- oh, no, I'm getting 93. Sherry's, mixed got, up. The, Sorry, yeah. Sherry's got the mirror in the ring. Sean's going, Oh, I'm so sexy, boy. <laughs> no, that no, was 93 when that, when that came back. I had like the YouTube clip t- said 92 today. <laughs> I shouldn't believe anything I so read on the internet. Is what Actually, you know saying. what? Yeah, I think I'm being silly about this. Yes, you're right. Good timing. Um, yes, and he's sort of like the, looking at the mirror, then the camera sort of changes. And then he does and the. He's, he's there and he goes, Me! He does a little thing with legs. <laughs> That's, That's not what I'm talking about. Just the mirror bit. Fantastic. Yeah. Chills. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Goosebumps. <laughs> I was going to say the unexpectedly good timing of Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks. Uh, who else was there at the start? Hang Kenny Man, Omega. Hang Man. Kenny Omega, yeah. All their contracts with New Japan and Ring of Honor and who else they were with at the time, ending at very, very similar times to oh. help start AEW. Are you saying this and was in motion for a long time? or just They'd been planning it, and according to the Young Bucks mm. book, we planning it, but then it was like, hang on. Uh, As because we were going to be signing with WWE, what had a word with them, and then had to work with Tony Khan. I'm like, okay, let's see. No concrete plans. Might get this pay this much money, or we can do whatever the bloody hell we like and hang out with our mates all day. Uh, okay, and yeah, and then hey, wait a minute, we'll have to ask some of these companies. Hey, Ring of Honor, can we borrow your cameras and stuff? Sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't, no better timing than that, really. Fair enough. Marty Jannetty returning. That's better timing. I've got a WrestleMania <laughs> moment for mine. Oh, go on. Um, it's more of an in-ring bit of timing, and it's the Seth Rollins, Randy Orton pop up off the neck. Oh, okay. yeah. Saw yeah. it again the other day, and I was just like, wow. And it's funny how excited Orton is after that, that he's actually done it. He like does that on the ropes for ages. It's really good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was that this week when that came out on Twitter? Sorry to go back to Twitter again, Matthew. Mm? The whole Randy Orton heels thing. The evil villains <laughs> thing. <laughs> and he gets into the zone. You've seen it? I haven't seen any of the heels oh, thing. Is it any good? I've seen, that, I've seen that clip. Just seen that clip. Of What's the clip? He's just like how he gets into heel mode. He gets all the blood to rush to his face. And he squeezes going, his face. Yeah, just gets all the blood and then starts going, meh, and I'm there. Oh, okay. Scary. Oh, it's terrifying mm. watching him. He looks demented. Heath Ledger-esque. Oh. Very interesting watch. Yeah. It's only like a two-minute clip, but it's very interesting. What a scary man. Interesting. Mm. But Jeff Jarrett won't like it, will he? Heels. <laughs> uh, oh no, heels is fine. Baby is the issue. Why do you, why do you have an issue with that? It's got to be baby face. You got to have the proper etiquette because, as we all know, being British, we're all good and proper. <laughs> baby face. <laughs> baby face, not just what face. What about face? Just face? I don't know. Do you not know. Face. He was good in the A team. Yeah. <laughs> um, oof, God. And that's it. That's it, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you very much for three wonderful messages there mm. from various. Uh, 80s and 90s footballers. Hope you see them on that Hall of Fame pick. Just saying, just saying. If you have any thoughts, queries, or anything that's on your mind, to be honest with you, please, please, please send them to mailbag at gutholic.com. Ah, 
Reese's Piss. I forgot uh, about Reese's Piss. I thought we were straight on to the big question. Calm down, Jack. I know, yeah. Oh, Jack. I've just... Too excited. No, you... My foot's just... I've, I've stepped on the gas. I'm hurtling along oh. the road to WrestleMania. <laughs> Find the G-spot and step on the gas. Oh, God. Hello, lads. The song's been in my head all week. Last week, you stressed how you did not want us to create any hypothetical family members, and because you said it multiple times, I heard you... Oh, I heard you loud and clear. So this week for Risk Piss, I am having you pick which wrestlers you would want as your stepmom. <laughs> Oh, man. I hope you all enjoy <coughs> it. Yeah, now, what man. are the parameters for the stepmother? Is this like the adult movie stepmother? Like the evil stepmother? Supposed to, yeah, it's supposed to watch Cinderella. Oh, no, the adult movie. Oh, was in the... Well, no, yeah. no, no, no. Ne- I didn't even think of that at all. Oh, well, that's what I think the, the Reese's Pieces was hinting at. I, I really don't like to think that. <laughs> I think it's who would you legitimately want to be your actual stepmother. Just in a everyday living with situation. Aye, yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's please go with that. Even Not if the, the one question where your dad's out and No. You're, like... you're cleaning the pool yeah. or whatever. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's happened to all of us. <laughs> Trish Stratus or leader. I'm just you, just Joe? to clarify, this is just this is the, the clean way, not the adult movie way. Mm-hmm. Um Trish seems now they both seem sound. But I think Trish seems marginally more of a laugh. Yeah. Lita has a nice dog, so I'll go with Lita. It's uh, an old dog as well. I'm sure it's like 30 years old. Oh, old dogs are the best. <laughs> uh, Lita, because we could have a stepmom, she could show all the good tunes. Okay. Yeah. Sable or Sunny. Have heard what, of what Frank Zappa, we'll... Lita? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sable or Sunny. Oh, oh um... Sable, Jesus Christ. Nah, no, Sunny. <laughs> Well, they're both... She'd never be there. She'd be in jail. Exactly. <laughs> it, makes, it, makes, it makes the situation a lot easier. Free house. I'm going to go... <laughs> I'm going to go sunny because there's a clip in either Rest of the Shadows or... Yeah, Rest of the Shadows it would be, I think, where she's um, she's playing, like, hide-and-seek with Bret Hart's kid and she just looks like a right laugh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Sable, because it means that Brock's me dad. <laughs> okay. Mm. <sighs> Michelle McCool or Layla? Layla, Michelle's Michelle's the Undertaker's wife, and therefore I have to assume she's a bit old school. <laughs> yeah, know, like yeah, there we go. Stop playing those video games. Yeah, drink this whiskey now. Um, yeah, Layla. Uh, I know nothing about Layla, so I'll I'll pick her to get to know her better. I think she's British. Wow, I can't tell because whenever she'd speak, it would be like a really hello. Like that sounds, that sounds, sounds like she's British. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but like... <laughs> you right. me sleeping. Yeah, it's one of these accents you hear on TV, but not in reality. Come on, Mickey, you slay. <laughs> I'm eating me fish and chips. It's like, <laughs> Where is she from? Uh, yeah, Layla, so I can make fun of her accent. <laughs> and also, because I'm a big fan of uh, Eric Clapton. Uh, hey. His music. And you agree Dana with his Brooke, political views, Dana, do you? Dana Brooke or Tamina. No, how... Eric Clapton hasn't been cancelled yet. Has oh, he's got some bad no, news. No, 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 but he's been like that for years, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. He's, like, he's on, like, recently news and I know him for holding the guitar and that, too. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Music, great. Cocaine. Yes, yeah. exactly. David um, Brooke or Tamina, quickly. It's a horrible question. Probably likes cocaine because it's white. Um, what? It's Eric Clapton. He, everyone knows he's a dick. Um, hey, I'll go for, Tamina. I'll go for Tamina. Dana because that means Reggie's my dad. Oh, oh Tamina okay. all day long. Everyone loves Tamina. Nothing's uh, mean. No, nothing's meaner than to me. Yeah, oh, she's mean. When, when, mean. We're out, when we're out of character, oh. she's the most popular one backstage. Okay. She, she's the glue. She's the shoddy part of the locker I'm room. Too. I'm going to give her two. Yeah, I like John Ball, so I'll pick Tamina. I want to call mum, stepmum, <laughs> whatever. Uh, Jacqueline or Ivory? Oh. I like them both, but the main takeaway I got from Ivory's Hall of Fame speech was that she was a lovely woman. Jacqueline. Because Ivory, in the right to censor, I yeah. couldn't put up with it. She'd <laughs> yeah. be telling you to turn the telly off at nine o'clock. Yeah. yeah. All sorts of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, you know, she was coming because Jacqueline drank that, beer that with the lads. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Go on. No, I haven't I'm, got any good answers. So, yeah, Jacqueline, for the reasons that Ross just said, <laughs> Britt Baker or Hikaru Shida? Mm. Britt Baker. She's a laugh. She's funny. Best of both worlds as well. Because you get free dental care for your, for your life. Ah, That's yeah. good for us Brits, yeah. eh? Hey. 20 odd quid a time. What if what for you, a checkup? What does Shida get you? A kendo stick? Yeah. A chair to not to use to jump off. 
I was going to say, it's weird having AW with me because you only see your stepmom three minutes a week. <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte Flair or Becky Lynch? Oh, come on. Becky Lynch? Yeah. Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch. I've met Charlotte. <laughs> I've met Charlotte Flair. I'm going with Becky Lynch. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. Nikki Bella or Brie Bella? Oh, it's Brie all day long. It's, it's Brie mode. No, Nikki, Nikki. Oh, no. Haven't seen their real life selves on television in their I've real life. Oh, their real, 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 real yeah. life selves. I've not. Brie Bella. I thought Nikki you know, was watch more... You know what's the John Cena one? And... So I've got a personal reason for this one, right? <laughs> mm. So in the early days at What Culture, I stumbled across, I can't remember how, I think someone linked me to it on Twitter or whatever, snitch tagging, I believe it's called, <gasps> yeah. to a fan fiction starring myself. It was one of those ones where the person who's written it has clearly made themselves the the protagonist, you know? So they, it was uh -huh. the first person. It was like, I do this, I do that. And I was the boyfriend of the, the older... Because I know that this was written before Brian and Brie had a son. Uh -huh. But this was in an imagined world where the son was like 18. And I was the boyfriend of this kid. And he was like... He wooed me and took me to the pub for fish and chips. It was really like English stereotyping and that. I read it all, obviously. I was like, this is weird. Um, but I read it all. I wanted to know where it went. And um, Brie was like the... I should pick Brie because she actually was my stepmom in this world. But Brie was not the fun one. And Nikki, I remember in the story, Nikki was off the road because she was injured at the time. So she, so she would babysit me and this oh, lad quite no. often. And, um, and she was like the cool one. And Nikki was a laugh. I'm going for Nikki Bella. You're right. That's brought back so many memories. That yeah, that fan fiction. Yeah, it was great. We're all involved. Well, I've just explained it to you. <laughs> no, we all have our own stories. Oh, I thought you were being sarcastic because no. none of it. Oh, right. um, I was in a relationship with Crisp. You back, were? Back in rock, back in what culture? I was in multiple with Sam. Me and Sam were often paired <laughs> up. And it was always that Sam was Sam was out and I wasn't and he turned me. Oh. Yeah. Oh, sweet, is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm happy, I'm happy that I don't know how I react. Yeah. Glad it didn't cross over to the cult of holic times. Nah. It's happy to see the back of that carry on. <laughs> well, now you've said that, you want to have inspired anybody to do anything. Um, and that's the reason you didn't watch Total Bellas, Total Divas. No, no, that's just the reason I've given that answer. Because I know that I know that Nikki's more fun because I was in the storyline. <laughs> oh, yeah. My pick is uh, whoever wrote that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. I am confident, I can confidently say Cultaholic, Botchmania, and Triple Jump have countless fans who are thankful for all your hard work, and I am proudly one of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Your videos have pulled me out of a dark place more times than I can count. It sounds like some other videos have helped you out of a dark space, if that's your question. Um, I want to give a special <laughs> thank you to the presenters, oh, writers, oh. and editors who make so many folks happy around the world. Oh, he's Much love credit. from Massachusetts, Colin. Thank, thank you, Colin. Colin. And thank you, Colin, for giving credit to not just the us, the faces. The, sorry, the baby faces. The people, of the, channel. the people who get Easter eggs. It's the other people yeah. in the channel as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The people get the Warrior Award if we listen to Warrior. Yeah. So thank you, Colin. Cheers, Colin. Good God, Colin. Uh, <laughs> <sighs> thank you very much for that Reese's Pieces. If you have any things to send to us, you can. Don't worry, you can. By going to mailbag at collect.com. It's Cultaholics. The question. Ah, what a lovely... Road to WrestleMania oh, style podcast we've had. Here we go. And there's just enough time for one big question. Before then, thank you very much to the producers, GDA John, Reno2200, Noah Anderson. Anderson. Yeah. Anderson. That because you were. Red Dragon. <laughs> and Nick Rabi. Thank you very much, you magnificent specimens of human beings. You, we appreciate you going on the producer level of the patron. But now the big, big, big question is... Was it actually Peter Gabriel did big time? Or <laughs> my leg, I can't tell. No, it is, of course, what is going to be the best match at the two-day WrestleMania 38 this weekend mm. somewhere in Dallas? What we should do is find out the best match from each night oh. and then put those two up against <gasps> each other to find out the best match of the entire thing. Let's do that. What a good let's idea. Let's do that for fun. Now, <laughs> let's do the Reactometer, trademark okay. Ross Twiddell. <laughs> okay, so night one, Becky Lynch versus Bianca Belair. <laughs> Singles match for the Raw Women's Championship. We're just laughing there because audio listeners, we've just been watching Rate My Takeaway. <laughs> Strap a 30-inch pizza uh. to the top of a car and drive off. Um, the Becky Lynch versus Bianca mm. Belair. Snip, snip. Oh, mm. yes. Yeah. 
Mm. Snip, snip, oh yes. Yeah. Rey Mysterio and Dominic Mysterio versus The Miz and Lucha Logan. Uh, Drew McIntyre versus Happy Corbin. Uh, <laughs> the Usos versus Nakamura and Boogs, the SmackDown wah, tag It's the Boogs cruise. <laughs> so the Tundra make it <laughs> The New Day taking on Seamus and Ridge Holland. Oh, heck. Oh, bloody hell. They'll all be watching in Yorkshire, glued to their screens, though. As they do in That the is pubs. good. A lad from Leeds is on WrestleMania. Yeah. That's a nice thing. Is yeah. he from Leeds? I don't know. From the Northwest. Somewhat, I, I think know. he's from the Northwest, yeah. Oh, he, Northwest. He, he played rugby league, didn't he? Uh, he's the, the Rhinos, right? Oh, we all hit Rhinos. Oh, Liversidge, West yeah. Yorkshire. Am I making that up? From Thirsk, North Yorkshire, Martin Kirby. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Oh, spoilers, but yeah, Seth Freakin' Rollins versus To Be Announced. It could be Here comes Mr. The Kirby. Money. He's only got three bookings <laughs> this weekend, so he could theoretically <laughs> shove that in. Uh, and then the main event, maybe? Possibly. Yeah? Well, sure potentially. That, yeah, we don't know. These are in Wikipedia order. Charlotte Flair versus Ronda Rousey, SmackDown Women's title. Mm. Oh, yes. I'm excited for that match. I think that might be, that might be match of the night. Is that for the five-star tap or snap championship? <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, I think that is potentially. And, uh, should we also include Austin and yeah. Kevin Owens, whatever it is? It's going to be a match, match. It's obviously not a match. That's why it's not on the Wikipedia page. I'm being announced as a match. Yes. Because it's not a match. It will be. It won't be. My mouth will be my, my lovely words. and unspiced. That so, wasn't the bet you did. You're making it hard for yourself here. No, <laughs> no. Nah, nah. So I'll if, be it's right, a, no matter what. if it's a match, you'll have the chip. Chili. Yeah, if they announce it as a match. Oh, they have a match, yeah. It won't what? Be. That wasn't what you said. Why are you making I'm it hard it. for yourself? Oh. You said if... To make if it fun for the people listening. If, yours was if... If, if they have a match. If, Owens, if it's anything other than That's Austin, not what you said at all. Oh. You said if Owens comes out on top. Okay. I'm trying to make it easier for what's Ross to Ronnie, win. What's that, Ronnie Piper quote? what's that Ronnie Piper quote? Just when you think you've got the answer. Yeah. I changed the questions. Yeah, yeah. Bag out. Yeah. Matthew Gray. <laughs> Who's that your Ronnie Piper? <laughs> I'm trying to... I'm, I'm trying That's to right, save. I'm from Scotland. <laughs> I'm trying to save you. Oh, okay. So if there's a match, you'll eat, the, you'll eat a, a hot thing. Yeah. Wow. Why has he done this? To match it. Anything. Other than Austin going, oh, hell think yeah. Think of what porridge did to you just not a few hours ago. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Oh, That'll be the main event of no next comebacks. week's podcast mm. if it does happen. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, but Tom's trouncing me with the uh, the aplomb you put in his efforts. Obviously, I've got to burn my mouth to make up for it. <laughs> so that's all that's happening on night one. What is going to be your best match of night one? Charlotte and Ronda. Ooh, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, I thought you were right. It's yeah. between you good. Charlotte and Ronda. Can't uh-huh. wait. <laughs> it's between two for me. Um, Becky and Bianca, mm. or Seth Rollins versus Mystery, depending on who the Mystery is. Um, because we don't know for certain who the mystery is, I'll go for Becky and Bianca. I think that'd be quite short, you know. I think Bianca's going to get her own back. Uh, like Becky did at SummerSlam? Yeah. Oh. That's just should, that for the purposes mind. of this, then, should we go for Charlotte and Ronda? If you want to. You can say whatever you like. But how do we decide what goes through at the final if we disagree? Oh, sugar, yeah. Um, <laughs> Matthew, cast and vote. Yeah, just, I, I got to tell you, just looking at that, that is a rough-looking night one Night two's card. better. Uh, Becky Lynch versus Bianca Belair. Okay. It's settled. And it's one I'm looking Fine. forward to. Charlotte can, she can be good. Sometimes she goes into, you know, Charlotteism and starts to like talk and talk and talk or whatever. But nah, Becky versus Banker has got can't miss written all over it. Fair enough. And you scroll down just a bit. Oh, I can see. And night two Queen Zelina and Carmella versus Sasha Banks and Naomi versus Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan versus Natalia and Shayna Baszler. Mm. Four way for the women's tag titles. I, I live for brutality. <laughs> I don't really care about this matter. Joy Knoxville versus Sami Zayn. Anything goes. Anything goes. Da, 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 da. I don't know what that game is. That's circus music. Mm-hmm. No, I yeah. think you're probably Double right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, he's, he's, I think he's circus trained. No, Sa- um, Steve-O is. Steve-O is. He went to clown, mm-hmm. clown college, That's didn't he? Right. Yeah. I agree with Ross in this match. Sami Zayn's a fool. Yeah. He should have kept it a straight wrestling match. Yeah. Silly boy. Dusk, dusk, dusk. Uh, Pat McAfee versus Austin Theory. <sighs> I'm intrigued. A town down. I don't know what else to say. The ATL, the finisher, oh, okay. um, Atlanta. RK Bro versus the Street Profits versus Alpha Academy. Oh, yeah. Triple now threat. we are talking. Yeah. Give it half an hour. Yes. Yeah. Edge versus AJ Styles. Oh, yeah. Give I'm, it half an hour. I'm worried. I'm worried that it will. That, that's what I'm worried about. Yeah. I'm worried. If, it, if, this, if that match goes 15 to 20 minutes, I'll be happy as Larry. But I, I don't think it will. I agree with that. Bobby Lashley versus Almost. Give it half an hour. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop it. I'm, I, I'm oh. intrigued. I think Bob's going to win, but I think... 
I can see Omos winning just because he's on a bit of a push. And your team, Bob. <laughs> I'm team Bob. And your team, Bob. I am team Bob. And I, I don't have a dog in this fight. I have a Bob in this fight. No, I don't have a Bob <laughs> in this fight. So and, I'm team Omos, therefore. <laughs> and then Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. Winner, the, you know, the winner takes it all. The loser has to fall, et cetera, et cetera, for both the WWE Championship and the Universal Championship. Yeah, I'm buzzing. Buzzing for it. More intrigued about the result than the match itself, if that makes any sense. Because I think it's going to be finished spam. They haven't got the best, it is. the best track record, have they, as a pair? 50 50. Mm. Like Lamar. Well, 31 was. No, I mean, just in terms of how good the match is going to be. Well, 31 was good. 31 was 50 uh, 50. 31 was good. All right. 31 was, good. was rubbish. Was bad, so. Steel Cage wasn't good. Steel Cage was nothing. Oh, I forgot about the Steel Summer Cage. SummerSlam match was just a, like an angle, really. What year was that? 2018, wasn't it? Oh, no. That's my no, memory. 2019, maybe. I've got no idea. <laughs> yeah. It all blurs into one. But I, yeah. I think, yeah, obviously I'm, the result. There. I'm far more excited to compare it to 34 for face Lesnar and heel Roman than it was the other way around now. I think it's a far more tantalizing prospect. So is that your match of the night? Uh, I'll pick that one or the Raw Tag match. Raw Tag match for me. You I'll, go Raw, I'll go Raw Tag I'm as well. I'm picking then. Raw Tag go as well. On, yeah, on. best thing on Raw by a country mile. So that means... Oh, we never mentioned, by the way, that Alpha Academy got pulled from Raw this week. It was just the Street Profits uh, and okay, bro. I think it's more just a change. On the well, well hopefully they ran it at the end, didn't they? I, I think they were meant to be in the match or something. Oh, I'm not sure. I, oh. I can't recall. I don't know how that match was. would have been. Look, yeah, would have been that match anyway. No, it, the um, the Boogs crew was running at the end. Oh yeah, oh, they, were, the they were in ringside. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was the Usos bit. No, the Street Profits running. Yeah, yeah. The Street Profits and Boogs and Nakamura got involved. We've but, already. And it was the Usos and Narke Bro. But more importantly... <laughs> anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right, but more importantly, who is... What is going to be the best match then? Are you all right? Flashbacks to school there. Jesus. Got some kid dragging you. And I went back. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was Street Profits. Yeah. And they leant back like Fat Joe. Um, the... That was good. like that. Thank you. The best match then of the weekend... The, are we really going to say the Raw Tag, the raw tag it's a gamble. Championship match? It's a gamble to say, because it could get... Like a shorter time than it deserves. It pro probably will. But mm. the action will be total non-stop. Mm. Out of those two that we've picked, the Raw Tag Team Championship match. But Would I'd... you say the same if Charlotte and Ronda was no, on? No, I'd be saying Charlotte Would and Ronda. You? I think it's going to be really good. Fair enough. They mm. are so good when they're doing stuff like physically to each other, just not speaking. It's the speaking that lets everything down. Mm. But they are mm. good at battering the poo out of each other. Mm. People have said, and this isn't a criticism because she's had a kid, but people are saying that Ronda's lost a step since she had a kid. And she's been out, out of the ring for a while. Really well, how know. can you tell? Say, yeah. Yeah, just People were saying thing. after a rumble showing. Well, I mean, eight, that was a first... That's eight hard eight weeks or something. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah I know. You're right, you're right. Yeah. Um, that's, I think people are calling it way before this actually right. happens. This, um, this will be the test. She, I so. thought she looked all right, even though people didn't like the stipulation with the one hand tied back thing. That was fine. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll go for raw tag then, raw tag. Mm, I'm going to go with the... Uh, Becky Banker just for the sake Ooh, of variety. We've all gone for two. <laughs> yeah. This is what crazy. Like, yeah. Right, because, God, I think Belair's great. She, uh, one of the protected characters, apart from that bit of SummerSlam, I guess, and this is the way of redeeming it. This is the mm. match that we've been waiting to get where Becky's a proper bad person now. They should call him heel in the business. Thank mm. you, Jarrett. And, yeah, this is the match we're looking forward to. Uh, Becky's transformed from being the silly Billy person with goats on to going, what profit the man? <laughs> That was in the last week, wasn't it? Yeah, and I'm like, oh, wow, this is it. This that, should is... have, that should have happened months ago. Yeah. So, yeah, it's got a big match feel over it. And, yeah, not quite the same scale as last year's WrestleMania in terms of all the bangers, but on paper. But, you know what? Still looking forward to watching it. Fair enough. How, can you get that second, that second card up again, Richard? Let's just think, hypothetically, if what happened at last year's WrestleMania happens this year, or the heels win on night two. Oh, my God. What a card that would be. Oh, my God. E, my God. Omos, Edge, Roman, Sammy. Street Profits, <laughs> Alpha Academy, Yeah, Theory, Zayn. I'd love it if all the heels were nothing. Yeah. For most of those matches. Yeah. Why Why is night two always the sad night? It's a lesson, isn't it? Keep them coming back for more. Life um, sucks, and then you die. <laughs> then you die. Ah. <laughs> and on that note. <laughs> and on that happy note, this has been... A lovely little podcast. It has. Together. We've already hyped up the videos that uh, you want to hype up. But next week, obviously, a lot to talk about. So, Jack, what will you have that's WrestleMania related for next I week? I have, well, on Saturday, and I'll probably go live about half an hour before the show itself starts on Twitch, I believe. Uh, I'll be doing 
live reactions for NXT Stand and Deliver. Mm. Uh, I'll also be on What Happened At in the hours following both nights of WrestleMania. And uh, that's all for now. Like, I'm, I'm still working on like the weirdest of series and stuff, but for the minute, because it's WrestleMania week, everything's kind of taking a backseat to Mania stuff. Of course, of course. Algorithm. What you yes. got for us, Ross? Um, I have WTF moments for both nights of hey. WrestleMania. Um, live, well, predictions are on the channel right now with myself and that little baldy Andrew Dingle. If I lose, I'll retire from predictions and reactions forever. <gasps> oh, I've, been no. doing it for, I've been doing it since the start. Oh. And I've won every single one for ages. So I put big stakes on the line because I'm confident oh. winning once again. It's going to be easy. I gave Andrew a consolation prize, a portrait of me posing oh. like Shawn Michaels in Playgirl. <laughs> I was clothed though, don't worry. Oh, it wasn't right. too much from. Um and then uh reactions, cut down reactions with myself and Andrew on the couch will be live on the channel on Monday for night one and Tuesday for night two. That is it. There'll be a WrestleMania. Every single WrestleMania tier list, some point oh. over the next week, it's gonna be shot over a couple of sessions. Cause me myself and Sam <laughs> had to do two last time. Yeah. And there's even more now. So yeah. <laughs> um that'll be on oh. the channel. Maybe the weekend after WrestleMania, like next weekend, but I don't know. Yeah. Don't hold me to that. Sandy, we'll give the spoilers away about which tier WrestleMania 4 will be in, but now I'm looking forward to that. Top of the top. For cheese live streaming as well. Yeah. Of course I he, he is. Might be, I mean, he might be doing Raw and SmackDown also. Last time I spoke to him, he said he was doing Raw. But uh, the Always going to rock, rock, rock. Never stop, stop, stop. And, and SmackDown only, tonight, by the way. The only live stream that's different God. is that I'm doing NXT, but that's the only change. Mm. Often, don't worry, for cheese, mainly there. Don't worry. Because there's going to be loads of in-jokes that they share with him that I'm just not going to yeah. be able to get. I'm like the substitute teacher, and I'm just going to be like, right. Yeah, no, it's like, get the I don't want to be yeah, here anymore than you Why am I getting the cat excited? <laughs> All right, cool. But there we go. So it's busy, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Well, you're not watching WrestleMania Live. No, no it's me, uh, Cousin Stag do. Well, I hope you are So I'll be watching some of it, because, yeah, that's actually one advantage of having it two days. I'll see some of the stuff. But Where, um, where are you going? Oh, bloody hell, everywhere. Um, oh. We're going to, uh, I've got the notes written down here, the guide, which <laughs> I didn't need, because, uh, look, we're going to paintball them. Lovely. Uh, of course, doing it at Newcastle. Nothing bad's going to happen there. That's at No Limits. Uh, then going Just to reveal your location. <laughs> a few drinks around the quayside. Then Lovely. point blank shooting range. Oh, it's at good. The gate. It's a good laugh. Wait, is it in the gate? It it's like the outside gate. the gate on the street outside, yeah. Um, I watched England versus Scotland there for the Euros. Oh, okay. And then afterwards, we had a lovely... It's like time crisis, but real, realistic. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. I'm interested in that. And it just says, 9, 9 p.m., pub race across Newcastle in teams. Rules and teams to be revealed on the day. They're coming oh, from the northwest lads, up lads, to north lads, lads. So I'll be like, let's go there. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> it's so. gone to idols, day. Eh? Yeah. Mm. Have fun. What does a pub race entail? Like, pub, neck, on. That's what I'm wondering, yeah. mate. I'm like, oh, no. Who was it suggesting a pub golf thing the other day? I think it was Ashton from Triple Jump. But you kept calling, oh, it, yeah, but you kept calling it pub mini like... golf, and I was like, pub golf. Yeah, mini golf. Uh, mini or, or mini pub. Gastro pub. Gastro pub. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. Well, there's, one on Heaton, there's one on Heaton Road that I've not been in. Yet. Oh, okay. There's one in Morpeth, which is half the size of this room. Literally half the size of this room. That wow. sounds impractical. It's incredible. It's good. Tiny. No, I've never been in. Oh, well, you can't. I've looked. I'm going to see. Yeah. It's always full. <laughs> <laughs> what, two people coming. <laughs> They're always rammed in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'll, I'll hype up for my video thing when I won't be doing that is. Uh, the Cult of Mania, which that uh, Tom has been doing whilst oh. we're doing this live. So obviously that'll be hopefully maybe uploaded to YouTube, I expect. No, I think it should be so. staying on Twitch. I mean, oh, just go on Twitch then. Let's go to Twitch. Uh -huh. Twitch.tv slash Cultaholic. They've been having a right laugh, so I'm assuming it was Apparently great. Apparently went on for a bit longer than expected. So <laughs> Pachita had to show up there. So that sounds like a lot of fun. But obviously there's also WrestleMania, NXT, AW, and everything else like that for you to watch and hopefully enjoy. If not, don't worry. We will uh, dissect it and give you the good bits next week. This has been Jack. This has been Ross. This has been Mafu. Uh, the Hall of Fame is obviously at uh, patreon.com forward slash cultaholic and mailbagcollect.com. Send us your thoughts. That has been Dick Tubman. Hard work there. Are you going to do it anyway? Sorry. No, Stole I wasn't actually. Thank you for help. <laughs> um, and we'll just say see you in a few weeks. We'll have aged terribly. Like the a few weeks. Next week's podcast. <laughs> Put your bets in the chat below. How long will it be? I'm saying around four hours 30. Yeah. What's our longest? About three, three hours, hours, like 40. 40. Like, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll hit four. Yeah, it was like three weeks ago. We'll hit four. Um, I reckon it'll be four and a half hours. Because to review, just to run through the schedule, SmackDown, Rampage, TakeOver, Stand, Deliver, Mania Night 1, Mania Night 2, Raw, NXT Weekly, and then Dynamite at the end as well. <laughs> it's not going to be Dynamite, it's going to be bang. <laughs> <laughs> <Be> None left. <laughs> Yeah.
And don't we sound thrilled for it? We're excited. <laughs> You're excited. Biggest weekend of the year for wrestling. Not to mention all those indie shows that Jack will obviously watch. Yeah. Oh. I will. Of course I you will. Sure will. Cool, man. I've got loads of fight TV credits, actually. That's right. Gotta get rid of them. We'll probably have it on upstairs once the... We certainly will. I'm trying to end the show. I'm talking too much. I do apologize. <laughs> now we say... As we always do, uh, that wacky thing at the end of the podcast, we'll point the screen like WrestleMania and we set the screen. One, two, three. Join us. Join us. Join us. Now then.